Hello, everybody. We are uh, just getting started, Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. And when I say getting started, I mean continuing where we left off. Ha, ha. I, uh, I've updated the uh, alert box, so it should tell me when YouTube stuff goes on. That's something we haven't been doing for the past three months. That's about how long it takes me to get stuff done. Also, in addition... Um, YouTube and Twitch should both be able to see closed captions now. I can't say they're going to be accurate closed captions because it's like dipping into Google's API. But um, both uh, YouTube and Twitch should be able to uh, get some kind of auto-transcribed bullcrap, which is, you know, not great, but uh, is what it is. Uh, Howdy, Strat. Good to see you. I assume you're still uh, working on, um, uh, what is it called, um, Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting uh, for sure to see uh, uh, how you respond to the uh, expansion pack content. Because uh, it, is a, it is my personal opinion that uh, the writing triples in quality. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Hmm. Anyway, uh, let me see here. I'm checking out a few more things. Uh, I see you uh, sent me a Chrono Trigger video. Chrono Trigger is my favorite video game, full stop. Would be Xenogears. Unfortunately, uh, Disc 2 is bad. Um, so, Chrono Trigger dethrones it. Mm. All right. Um, the former, like the, the previous two episodes of Daggerfall that we did, we were crashing quite a bit okay so i think that that was the dynamic music mod and i've updated to a newer version of dynamic music which should fix the crash bug in theory uh we've also added better ingredient loots from drops extra loot in dungeon containers uh bottled blood gotta pet them all instead of you can pet the cat and decorators so we can customize our player homes to look fancy. Fancy. But, uh, yes, we are continuing where we left off. A guild for stealing. You can pet the cat has been removed or altered. It has been replaced with gotta pet them all. Mm. My goodness. Yes. Um, what were we saying? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are currently in the um, Archaeologist Guild. They're all about nabbing cultural relics. The Mages Guild, uh, according to the expanded lore of this mod anyway, the Mages Guild wants to disenchant and otherwise um, break down magical relics. And the Archaeologist Guild wants to preserve their cultural significance. Uh, the Archaeologist Guild was not a part of... Um, what do you call it? Um, the original Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall is a completely, um, uh, what do you call it, mod-added guild. It just has um, a rivalry with the Mages Guild now, um, which is kind of cool. All right, I'm, I'm double-checking a couple more things before we get started, but everything looks uh, pretty good. Let me see. Hmm. We have been given many, many memes They're this, um, uh, this, uh, not even day, but this week, this month. It's, uh, pretty good. All right. Mm. Let's go. We're going to head on out. We're going to go ahead and, um, uh, do, 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 do. um, yes. First things first, we're going to have a chit-chat with her. Uh, she does Daedra summoning. No thanks. I can't believe they summoned Daedra here. Uh, we can get a quest. We're going to give that a try. Probably uh, a, a guild for stealing is where we save it right before we go. Let's just give that a try right now. Uh, get a quest. Ahem. Looking for a break from the action. We need someone to round up a few books across Daggerfall. Won't pay a whole lot. Uh, you won't even have to talk to anybody. Um, you know, they want me to go buy some books from a bookstore. I don't think so, no. I, I, I would like to actually go to a dungeon. Thank you. Um, fee, I'm a field assistant. Here we go. We need someone knows, uh, basic grunts in giantish. There's a document 
Um, in another city that lacked translation for far too long, can you, uh, if you can get it, I'll pay you this. All right, so let's go try doing, uh, uh, going for the document. Yes. Do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> how do you make management position mini games? I know, it'd be like papers, please, almost. There you go. Hmm. Let me see here. Okay. Someone, uh, Indigo Gaming asks, uh, I never got, I, sorry, I never thought about doing a pacifist run with the major skills all assigned to traversal, mercantile, and speech. Wonder how far you can go. Um, a, uh, YouTuber did that already. Um, don't remember the name, but you can look up his linguist playthrough. Yes. Okay. There we go. I, I typed that in. I, I, I responded with the, the, uh, the social medias. Uh, all right. Hmm. Let, let's see. I, I want to see if they can put me in a dungeon, really. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah let's do this. Uh, ancient document that needs in Burgerly, uh, uh, sorry, needs to arrive intact. 25 gold. Screw it. I'm just going to get the reputation because they're going to give me dungeon quests. I, I assume that when at the field assistant rank, they're just going to give me garbage. So let's do that right now. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Okay. Uh, poor thing is centuries old, but it's preserved well enough for you to find Evelyn uh, Kingsley. Find her in Burgley. Uh, yes, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, keep it close to your person. Word is already out about its existence. It'll take. It better take no more than eight days. So um, we have now have a document we need to go retrieve. So first things first, we're gonna cast recall. Uh, actually, I think we have a mark of recall that we can use right now. Let's let's see. It should have like twenty five uses or something. Um, I don't see it around. Oh, there it is. The mark of recall. We can use that to set an anchor here. And uh, let me see here. Yes, so we, we've already completed all the other quests. So we just have eight days to get over there, and it shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, uh, good to see you, John. It's been a bit. Um, I, I've been uh, busy with uh, shenanigans, but uh, quite happy to be doing more Daggerfall, that's for sure. All right. Yes, uh... You like the progression of the modded guilds withholding the good jobs? Yeah, like, I am a field assistant, and they're treating me like a field assistant. By the way, these are all radiant quests. Um, the, the interesting thing about this, like, if you compare it to Starfield, for example, a radiant quest in Starfield just pops up, kill bandit leader in location. No flavor text whatsoever. Daggerfall's flavor text makes or breaks the radiant quest. You know, you know what I mean? Like, uh, seriously, it, like, in order to buy into the fantasy, it, uh, it should be, uh, what the hell? Hold on a second. Let's, uh, let's go look at channel here. That sounds absolutely insane. Ah, yes, this is, uh, doo -doo -doo. okay. People sending me nonsense. Okay. I'm good to go. So we're out and about in the wilderness. Uh, we, oh, did you know we got Sanguine's Rose there? It's a uh, uh, f funny time, yes. Um, we got that as a part of a, uh, a, a random quest that popped up uh, regarding the... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um... I'm blanking on the name here. Uh, oh, yeah, the Great Old One. And it turned out to be, like, a Frost Atronach that was just summoning the dead. And it was uh, using this um, to, to accomplish that. Here's my uh, cart. You can you can see the name of my horse, WinRAR. Very important. Okay. Um, now, we need to find the location... Let's see, it's called, uh, uh, Burgerly. Uh, Burgerly. Let's see here. 
Um, yeah, Sanguine's Rose summons a Daedra that will attack everyone in the vicinity except you. Whoever has the Rose, basically. But uh, the lore of the Rose says it will wilt and then uh, die. And when, when it dies, a new Rose blooms in Oblivion and is then uh, a given... Uh, like, uh, dispensed it back into the mortal realm. Okay. Uh, burgly. The, just to the wilting is basically just a way to explain its, uh, limited charges, I think. Um. Burgly. B-U-R-G. Yeah, there it is. That is... How far away? That's yeah, not far at all. We are presently here. And it is right next to us. So we just go east. Yeah. We just go east and we'll get there. No problem. Let's go. Okay. Enemies are seeking to prevent my travel. Looks like a bandito. Whoop. Okay. So for him, we're going to, of course, equip ourselves. That's pretty important. Then, um... We'll eat all the moldy meat. We are no longer hungry. Um, don't want to have any potions I want to use, so we're just going to go and attack. Yes. Whoop, I'm blind. The thing is that I'm convinced I can take him despite being blind. Do I install quest offer location? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I will uh, practice the ancient art of reload if I don't want to go a long distance. But otherwise, many times, I do want to go a long distance. So, you know, it's um, one of those cases of uh, I want control over it. And that means not installing said mod. Okay, so we defeated the bandit. Let's go ahead and put away our stuff there. Yes, one second pan bandito. No, it's... it's uh, it's one of those uh, Japanese cartoon uh, girl transformations. It's it, we're not actually taking time to put on the armor. You see, it's uh, it's magic. Yes, we are gonna put away all the clothing items and stuff that have been sitting on uh, here for a bit, except for the crown. We're gonna keep the crown. The crown's fun. Um, but like all these other items, we're just gonna put away so that everything kind of. Uh, uh, our inventory is a little clear there. Okay. I think that should do it. What else? Nah, we're, we're pretty clear. Just put the 3,016 uh, away. I paid off my debts, by the way. No problem. My goodness. Uh, uh, yes, I, I banned the role-playing account for excessive role-playing. It's uh, ironic, considering I'm playing a role-playing game, right? Hmm. Okay. That bread looks a bit moldy. It really is. It really is. E e Ebony Warrior? No. No Ebony Warrior, no Umbra. There are some uh, pretty good quests that uh, exist, but uh, they're usually fighting Daedra Lords or things like that. Daedra Lords, for those who are unaware are um, like Dramora, except they look human, and they go, ha, 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 and then they shoot a shit ton of spells at you. Like, just, just rapid fire. Spell, 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 spell. Um, all right, let's see here. What else we got? Uh, my goodness. Let me unequip the armors. Uh, the armor will make us cold, which is hilarious because of what we're wearing, you know? Uh, put on those shoes, and then put our cloaks back on. Okay, this one's slightly used. We're gonna need to get that repaired at our next uh, destination. Yes. Um. <clears throat> anyway, let's uh get going. Uh, yeah, Daedra lords are kind of uh, little nuts, and then there are fire Daedra, ice Daedra, so on, uh, which are not to be confused with Atronox. Atronox are golems created by mages. That got retconned by Morrowind, right? Morrowind decided that Atronox are Daedra. Um, oddly enough, imps, those little flying guys, those were Daedra in um, 
in Daggerfall, but then got retconned to just be ordinary creatures. Um, stuff got all shuffled around. That's for sure. All right, we're traveling down the road. Hell yeah. Hopefully no more enemies seek to prevent our travel. Do -do -do -do. Now then, I think we've arrived in Burgley. Yes. So now that we're here, we just have to go um, try to meet with the lady um, Evelyn Kingsley. So we just have to ask a peasant where she is. If there are no peasants on the road, you can always go into a tavern and uh, find them there. But I'm just going to ask this uh, nice person, excuse me. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm looking for Evelyn Kingsley. Why in Tamriel would I want you to know? Ask politely. Why don't try asking me like a normal human would? Oh, shit. My skills are failing me. Yeah, because I know where... Just because I don't know where she is, I don't want to tell the likes of you. Damn. This guy hates me. Oh, well, let's, let's go to the tavern then. Actually, we'll ask the town guard. He should... Yeah, he base, He's based on our legal reputation, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, hello. Uh, yes, I'd like to know where Miss uh, Kingsley is. I'm going to ask politely. Uh, last time I checked, it was right here. The screaming cat. Okay. So, she, she like, we're right next to where, yeah, where she is. That's cool. I just need to go around the corner. She's right here. So, uh, there we go. Evelyn Kingsley, hello. Uh, of course, my friend. This is the page I was informed of. Marvelous. I was uh, starting to doubt its existence altogether. Well, let me get that payment. 25. As we agreed, off you go. So, that's it. Uh, easy, quick job. That will uh, net me some reputation with the... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Archaeologist Guild. You can see I got five reputation for that instantly. No problem. Now, I am a hussy with the Red Lantern uh, faction, so we're going to be doing um, uh, the, you know, the, the, the not-so-nice stuff later. Um, but that will get us into... It's like an alternate Thieves Guild, sort of. Except you start with the prostitution, and then you get into the, um, the, the spy craft later. Um... It's kind of funny, but uh, that's what they, that's how they, because the Vanilla Daggerfall had the um, Prostitutes Guild in its data files, but they never used it. Like the NPCs that were flagged, were originally flagged that faction, didn't have that faction, kind of. Um, they, like the faction existed, but was unused. And then the NPCs that were clearly a part of that faction kind of didn't do anything. So, um, it, it kind of uh, combines the two and creates a new guild. And so we're, we're a part of the uh, Red Lantern Guild, yes. It's, um... Oh, that, this is going to be our, uh, our our spy shenanigans, yes. Uh, we'll also have to go stealing to join the Thieves Guild later, but uh, our goal is to join all of the guilds. Uh, what kind of uh, quest do they get? Well, um... It, it's the, uh, the text-based, um... What what exactly what you would think, Strat, in the beginning, and then later you get the um, the subterfuge and stuff, you know. Yep. Anyway, we're gonna go check out this old uh, uh, trading post here. Whoa, boy. Uh, let's go bandage. Uh, there you go. Uh, let's see, Apple. You said the Red Lanterns in Marwin's data files? No, the Prostitutes Guild is in Marwin's data files. The Red Lantern just massively expands upon it. Yeah. That, in Marwin's data files, they're literally called the prostitutes. We don't worry about that too much. Yep, yep, yep. That's what you do in the beginning, Strat. Then later you steal more. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yes. Be on that, uh, that grind, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. I need that extra red cloak. We need more red cloaks. I don't see anything else around here, so I'm getting out. Do, do, do. We're done. 
Uh, we've uh, chosen Debella, goddess of beauty, as our patron in the beginning of the game. Yep. That's what we picked. Do -do 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 -do. Mm hmm. Okay. Who else said a thing? Um. Come on. Okay. Moving on. Mm hmm. Said, uh, why do people leave the group when doing Palace of the Dead? I don't know. Um, if you want to hold off on that strat, I will, um, I can get a couple people and we can power through that in a day, like next time. Um, and that will guarantee us insta queues. Like, you got plenty of main quest ahead of you, and, uh, I, I can help you get Palace of the Dead, uh, snap, snap, you know? Anyway, uh, just, you know, not today, because I'm, I'm streaming. <laughs> uh, let's see. This wall. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me uh, figure out where the hell we're going. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get quest in Elding Wall. We, we gotta go back to the uh, Archaeologist Guild now. We're going this way. Good. We're traveling. The wagon wheel makes a loud creaking sound. We have extra wagon wheels, thankfully. Because, uh, yeah, the wagon wheel can break. It's indicating to us that it's... Uh, on its last legs there. You always th see your quest through to completion. Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, w. Here's the archaeologist guild. Let's go have a chit chat with some of the people. Uh, hello there. Okay. Let's see. Guild for stealing. We're going to do the same thing again. Get another quest. Um, oh. Oh. The Cavern of Malua to get a small statue. Good, good, good. Uh, finish in 20 days. I don't know where that is. We're going to find out. Uh, Cavern of uh, something or other. Uh, let's go have a look at the local map. Uh, is it right here? Uh, no, Cavern. Ooh, that's like... Eh, it's a decent distance away. 20 days. We can we can do that. Yep. do do do, do. Um, exclamation point mod list should make the bot, uh, talk. Okay. What are we doing? Do, 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 do. We need to get our wagon. I was being stupid. There's the wagon. Yes. If the bot doesn't deigns to join us today. Ah, uh. Yeah, I don't think Restream Bot uh, will uh, will work on that. Yeah. Ah, uh, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we've got like our our dungeon target is really far away. It's down like right here. So it, it's a distance for sure. But I say we go for it. Yep. With recall, one-way trip. Yeah, exactly. Precisely. There we go. Should be the top article. Because, uh, that's the last thing I did. Hmm. Yep. Let me see. What else? Gonna have a uh, look at the map really quick. Yeah, so it looks like we're heading down this way. We'll uh, head east and immediately drop off an east wick, grab some supplies, and then we'll start cutting cu cross country to uh, Stockworth, and that should be good. Well, we're in the kingdom of Daggerfall, but if we uh, go to the city of Daggerfall, we might be in for some uh, 
unfortunate times because we have a mod that actually adds King Lysandus himself with his Legion of Ghosts, not just, uh, you know, the occasional spawn. <laughs> so it depends on what time of the day we decide to uh, introduce ourselves. That's for sure. Ah, formal brassiere that is just strings. Truly. We live in an age of wonder. Uh, grab a cooked fish. And, um... Always bandages. Always buy bandages. Is that a mithril katana? That thing looks pretty cool. I will never use it, but it looks pretty cool. So, day gown. Oh, a red day gown. Hell yeah. Yeah, I definitely want a red one. Anything else we need along the way? I'm looking for more bandages, really. Bandages are just a, uh... A cheapy, consumable healing item, which I oh, should always grab more of. Yes. Uh, we have plenty of lantern oil. Uh, we should be fine. Okay. Put this back on for now. Would love to be able to get my hands on some purple cloaks. Yes. Formal uh, spaghetti strap underwear when going someplace fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. I, I still remember King Edwin, uh sending me to go get his uh, uh, legendary brassiere from a dungeon. Those were uh, good times. That old man knows exactly what he wants. Yep. All right. Let's see what else we got. Mm-hmm. I uh, never understood how the main story worked. Oh, shit. We got... Uh, oh, nice. Hold on a second. This is a ebony... Uh, colored brassiere. Yes, spiked and everything. We can be Naga the Serpent. Grab one of those for later. We'll end up enchanting those at a later point in time, but yeah. Yeah, this is pretty good. Do, 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 do. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's uh, the main reason I didn't choose to play a male character is because of the lack of clothing options. That's, uh, we'll drop the moldy bread. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, like, that that's the, the only thing that was holding me back from actually, uh, you know, picking out a, what do you call it, um, hold on a second, let me, let me check this last one. Uh, equipment store, laid out and practical, okay. Um, so, yeah, yeah, uh, the, um, I think Kamer's working on a male clothing mod right now, which is awesome. But um, having uh, having a good selection of clothing items is a must now. I've been uh, uh, spoiled by Fashion Fall. Yes. All right. We are going to head over to the King's Hawk Shop. Uh, uh, used merchandise. We're going to check out the other stores, and then we're going to start going cross-country to the next big city. And that may require us to, like, nap out in the wilderness, but that's fine. We are going to go to the Dread, uh, Dread Wolf. Yeah, sorry, Dead Wolf. We're going to the Dead Wolf Tavern to go get some uh, tea. Yes. Damn, look at this guy. Lizard Man. That's, that's pretty cool. Alright, Fashion Frame. Uh, fashion fall. Oh, don't forget about um, uh, Final Fantasy XIV as well. I uh, I keep this particular picture just as a, a good example of um, uh, what. Oops, hold on. Let me, let me move Discord. Discord's in the way. Um, I I keep this picture as a good example. Um. Speaking of which, Strat, there is a thing in your character sheet called an adventurer plate that you can do at any time. And it's like a calling card uh, that you can design so that people can know uh, what you're up to, like, as far as game, the games go. Like, you can set your ac favorite activities and stuff, including, like, main story quest or whatever. Uh, other people will actually go, like, you can right-click on somebody and you can see their adventurer plate to see what they're up to, you know, like what what they like doing. And uh, that that's the, the kind of calling card you can set up. It's uh, very nice, yes. Mm-hmm. 
All right, drink. We're going to have some herbal tea. But yeah. What happens when you let your kids play video games? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. I definitely, um, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Do, 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 do. Weekday, uh, what? Yes, <laughs> exactly. Pretty funny. Okay, we're just looking at this place right now. There's some real questionable adventure plates out there. Oh, some people have gotten uh, straight up suspended from the game uh, for using adventure plates that are of um, mm, questionable uh, content. Let's leave it at that. Checking all the different uh, sections here. What'd you miss? Um, just upskirts and things like that, you know. Typical degenerate content. Uh, bandage, yes. No problem. Okay, we're out. We're leaving. Do, 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 do. Have you had to go to court? Uh, I've loaded a couple times. Uh, where I've, uh, done stupid things either on purpose or as a misclick. Yes. Let's go. Yeah, it's always cool when you're doing a bunch of group, uh, a bunch of group content. Um, what do you call it? You can check out the adventurer plates of uh, your companions. I should be able to pet the cow. Let's find out. Yep, we can pet. You see, uh, gotta pet them all is the new uh, version there. Yep. Uh, d -d 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 Meter Monsters Monsters Expansion. It's called Muix. Yes. It's not hard to get uh, um, banned in 14. Well, yes. <laughs> nice. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, most one uh, replaces their printer every five or ten years. Um, yeah, You Can Pet the Cat was, uh, an original mod, but then it was replaced by Gotta Pet Them All. Uh, replacing your printer, like, we've, I've got some pretty, uh, old printers as it is, so. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Yeah, uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. You called someone a moron in a pug roulette? Well, yes. They overwhelmingly uh, foster positivity, and that is uh, at the cost of censoring people. That is the the Final Fantasy XIV way. They they do not take kindly to uh, quote unquote bad manners, and that's a, a lot to do with um, just the type of mentality they fostered in the game. Yep. Uh, hello, sir. I'd like to sell to you. Uh, no, actually, I don't want to sell you anything. I was just checking your store. This is a, uh, weaponsmith. Actually, let's see if he has anything that we actually want that we can afford. Usually, if someone has something we want, we can't afford it. That's just the unfortunate reality of the situation. This steel staff is nice, but I need, like, a dwarven staff or uh, mithril staff, you know. But I need to check each area for, uh, the high-end... Uh, materials and it's none of those yes the, the Z Z fighting the Z fighting is being caused by uh, multiple mods that add and change things for example like this city has um, all of these materials uh, like th this exterior wasn't made for that interior as I understand it and so the two kind of conflict it's fine though yeah yeah, it's the the transparent windows are bringing the exterior inside, and that's causing issues, uh, which I don't really care about. For example, this Z fighting doesn't bother me at all. Like uh, other people might get pissed off by it, but you know I'm just gonna nab uh, these meats while nobody's watching. Let's get going. Okay, we are uh, heading up to the odd used merchandise through these other stores. So uh, yes. Mm-hmm. 
Do, 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 do. Yep, yep, yep. The dungeon trial raid experience has vastly improved. Well, a lot of it is due to the uh, quote-unquote dumbing down of the healer and tank rolls in Final Fantasy XIV. It's true. Grabbing a fish. Nothing I want here. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Bandages there. How much to the for the wagon wheel? 300? Sure. Buy an extra wagon wheel. My wagon wheel started creaking, so when the wagon eventually fails, I will have uh, a replacement wheel for it. Wagon wheel, wagon wheel. So, uh... I don't know about getting, um... Any sort of um, replacements on my uh, staff? Like I, I haven't seen anything above a silver staff yet, which is unfortunate. Bandages! Hooray! You meant the social element of the gameplay has gotten worse, but you usually heal. Yes, healing actually has the most responsibility in the game. Um. Tanking is uh, has responsibility as well, but it's easier, uh, which is funny. Anyway, the um, the lack of gigantic cues has helped out immensely. Okay, that Khajiit suit is uh, perfect. I assume. Let's uh, let's go ahead and buy the Khajiit suit. Yep. Yep, we, we got the Khajiit suit here. Uh, were airships a thing in Daggerfall? That, that's a mod, and I, I not, don't have that installed. Uh, you find tanking to be more stressful? Depends. Uh, but uh, tank tanks get a lot of uh, outs for things. A lot of outs for bad situations. All right, we got bandages there. Uh, do, 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 do. What else? Oh, uh, a lighter formal brassiere. Don't think I have ever seen one uh, quite that color. We don't need it right now, but that's fine. Mm hmm. Couldn't bring himself to tank anymore after they lobotomized the tanks. I understand that, but uh, simultaneously, I think that there's. Uh, um. And it said, uh, have you fixed your staff? My staff is slightly used. I can use uh, some epoxy. Let's actually pick up some more epoxy. You you made it. You made a valid point. We uh, yeah. We'll, we'll buy some epoxy glue. That's uh, sixty six gold. Yep. Do, 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 do. Yes yes. Warrior is my main tank, just so that I can get it done easily. It's true. No big deal. Okay, before we go out, we need to put on our normal outfits again. Yes, perfect. And then cloaks. Let's actually see about a blue cloak this time. Yeah, that, that's pretty nice. Then uh, put that one underneath. Good. Mm-hmm. Good for stealing, too. Yep. Mm-hmm. A dagger uh, Daggerfall adventure mode style game. Hmm. I mean, there are people who are um, working on Marwin likes right now and Oblivion likes, but uh, I think outside of Wayward Realms, no one else is working on a um, what do you call it? A Daggerfall like. Might be fun. Um, my recommendation would be. To, uh, if you want to make a Daggerfall sized world, uh, create, uh, start off with just some, um, what do you call it? Um, start off with, uh, prefabs. Build the scale of your world out with the prefabs, and then slowly handcraft new prefabs over time. That'd be my recommendation. Because uh, a lot of people have a tendency to build a gigantic scope and scale and then not be able to generate a vertical slice of gameplay. 
So, um, can you pet your horse? I don't think so. I think it auto, I think you use it, but, uh, uh, I know I can look at it and it's win RAR. And then if I go to like interact mode, it just kind of, yeah, you, you, you ride the horse. You don't pet the horse, sadly. Um, what was I saying though? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you, if, if you uh, as you say, succumb to your madness and uh, make a dagger fall like, uh, my, my recommendation is to uh, start off with just like one uh, set of prefabs and don't worry about flushing out the entire world. Rather, build the world to the scale you want it to be using the exact same prefab repeated infinitely. And then um, slowly replace those prefabs in other regions as you feel like you have... Uh, the time and resources to do it. Um, in other words, make a vertical slice of gameplay that is functional first, and then worry about the aesthetics and details later. Because uh, as long as you have a functional, um, I don't want to say template, but as long as you have a uh, a functional vertical slice, then um, everything else can kind of fall into place afterward. But uh, you should definitely establish your scope and scale from the beginning. Or you're going to probably run into trouble. I'm going to go ahead and try to go directly to this crossroads here and see what happens. I'm going to try cutting cross country to it. Uh, recklessly. Camp out. Let's go. You're not well and may not survive extended travel. Really? I'm not well. Apparently, I'm not well. I'm doing it anyway. I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, the game says you are not well. You'll probably die. It's great. So, let's do it. We're cutting cross-country now. I probably have, like, stomach uh, rot or something. Eating all that uh, rotten food. It's probably my bad. But uh, if we just cut across the wilderness, we can get... A little closer to where we need to go. At least I hope. The wagon wheel makes a creaking sound. Of course it does. No problems here. Mm -hmm. By the way, um, if you're still here, Strat, did you manage to get uh, Final Fantasy XIV working in its own launcher? Or did you use the quick launcher? I'm, I'm curious. The quick launcher is a quick fix to most problems that people have with the game and its default settings, but um, I am curious nonetheless. I just smacked into Arcope, literally. Like, I smacked into buildings and such. Ahem. All right. I've noticed any uh, improvement in the 1.0 release. I mean, I've been using... Like, the version before the 1.0 release, and the only thing they fixed... Um, the on, like, the, the only thing holding them back from 1.0 for the past, like, six, eight months was... It was translation. Localization features, right? You, you couldn't make Daggerfall in German or French or whatever. Um, unless you... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um... Uh, yeah, you, could, you couldn't just add localization files uh, in the past. And now you can. Oh, this is the perfect store. This is a pawn shop that uh, has terrible mercantile skill. Here we go. Yep. Let's do it. But no, uh, like months and months and months before uh, Daggerfall 1.0, it was ready to go. So, uh, da Daggerfall Unity 1.0, I mean. Oops. Uh... Okay, I've got plenty of wagon wheels here. But we need to see about selling anything that's moldy. Um, they can just scrape the mold off. I can't do that. whoop de doo um, Maybe time to sleep, actually. Come to think of it. Well, let's go ahead and sell some of the outfits that I picked up that I don't actually want to use. So, like, there, there's a good deal of uh, pieces of equipment that I don't actually want, but have, you know, picked up over time. So, we're in kind of a weird situation there. 
Let's see. I definitely don't need the... Um, let's see, these are extra shoes. Eh, it's fine. I'll hold, I'll hold on to one extra pair of shoes just in case. But uh, other than that, like these shirts, things like that, need to go. Um, I'm looking at the different boots. Uh, let's get rid of these boots. Keep these boots. Uh, keep the casual pants. What else? Don't need brown. Brown is bad. Uh, yep, that should do it. Let's go over to weapons and armor now. Keep my staves. Get rid of all the other junk. We don't need any of this trash. So I've decided. Okay. I'm going to keep the extra steel curious and the extra steel greaves and the extra steel boots. But um, as far as like what we've been selling, I'm looking at everything, making sure we don't have any other issues. Chain helm, no. Nope. We don't need another steel curious either. We're mostly in a good state here. We don't need extra... St We're going to sell that worn steel staff since we have a, a better condition one. Warren is at the bottom there. Okay, 4,000 off that. That's pretty good. Yep, yep. Yes, there are mountains in the game world. Yes. Sorry, uh, you hit a big lag spike. What did I ask? Oh, I was asking you if you managed to get um, Final Fantasy XIV running with the, like, the basic launcher, or did you uh, switch over to the quick launcher? Like, I know you were having issues trying to get into the game and stuff. And I was wondering, because the quick launcher is like the quick fix to pretty much everything, or did you tough it out with the uh, official one? Hmm. Let me uh, see here. Mm hmm. You're on the, whatever the Steam, so yeah, you're using the official launcher. Makes sense. I was just curious, that's all. No judgments or anything. Just, uh, like, oh. Do, 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 do. Is there an op, there, there is a mod to disable NPC nudity somewhere. If, you know, you're, uh, we're, you're playing in a public place, something like that. You don't want people, uh. Getting the wrong idea. Makes sense to me. The in-game launcher disables player. Uh, the, the, the paper doll for the player, not the NPCs. I don't think there's a whole nother set of sprites, yeah. Uh, it's, it's a mod, if, if you want to do that. Which I know it exists, so, you know, no big deal. Hmm. Okay. As for me, I'm uh, I'm not horribly put off by um, the uh, player parts. Definitely not. Not even a bit. Let's see. Okay, it's getting late. So what I think we'll do is we'll check out the rest of the stores and then head to the tavern for the night. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There, there are some people who are just completely put off by uh, any nudity at all. And others who are, um, what do you call it, uh, maybe they're playing in a public place. Or, uh, you know, uh, don't, don't want to be showing uh, boobies to other people. Makes sense to me. That's up to them. Mm -hmm. Oh, a little fountain there. Cool. Let's see what else we got. Residence. Mm -hmm. Odd provisions. You call those people weirdos? Lol. I'm, uh... I, I don't have much uh, room to call other people weirdos. Unless I acknowledge the fact that I'm uh, also a weird. I, I have to do both. Or uh, th th I get issues. All right. You're living in an era where people hate human anatomy. 
Well, I... It, it's not just that. Um, there are... Um, there are a lot of puritanical issues in the United States, especially. Um, you know, where we've been taught uh, that the... Uh, hu or the human body is uh, sinful. It's it's because uh, so someone uh, someone ate that damn fruit. Yep. Mm. Okay. Let's get going. Hello, sir. I need food. Give me grilled hair. It's oh, oh no, no. We need the mystery sausage. There we go. Perfect. Um, turns out we were very full. And we'll have some spruce tea and then go to bed for the night. 11 gold pieces, not too great. Mm-hmm. For a change, it's not because of religion. Well, what I'm... There, there's a couple issues with that. Um, and what do you call it? Uh, a lot of... Uh, we talk about the uh, separations of the churches and the states. But unfortunately... Uh, there's still a whole ton of religious issues that kind of bleed into culture. So, um, you know, while you say it's not because of religion, um, that it's a knock-on effect from religion, basically. It, it, it has seeped into general culture. And so, eh, I don't care. You said the mystery sausage? Yes, yes, the mystery sausage. Mm. Ooh la la. Okay. You tell your doctor you only have one cup of coffee. <laughs> yes, yes, just just one, just one cup. Okay. Here, hold on. Let me this up. Um. So in uh, in theme with what we were talking about. Oh jeez, the color filter is completely off. Like this is not the color in the room. That's uh, pretty damn funny. All right, let's just try this. Let's, let's just see what we can do about this, because I have yellow lights in this room, so this is not accurate. I'm resetting the camera. There we go. Camera's reset. I, 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, in, in keeping with uh, that, we've got this uh, this right here, this this duster. You know, it's it's a great title. So uh, there there you go. All right. Good. <clears throat> As I was saying. I don't know, man. D -d 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 Breaking bad Mexico filter. No, no. The, the lights literally are yellow. It's true. D -d 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 -d. How long does it take to get uh, rid of the dust on the on dolls? Um, don't know about dolls, but on, in terms of, like, these little plastic figures, um, pretty quickly. I was gonna say that the, the backs of everything is probably filthy, but that's a different matter. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah, I was lied to. Uh, I, uh, I was told that my yellow lights, like, it looked like that everywhere in Mexico, but Breaking Bad lied to me. It, it when you go to Mexico, it doesn't look like that. It's true. Yep. All right. Resident Evil Five Africa. Hey, at least it isn't the Fallout New Vegas filter or the Fallout Three filter. The Fallout Three filter is especially bad. Everything's green. But um. Yeah, yeah. No, the blo the. The, the spray here, the spray here is uh, for uh, my keyboard, actually. My keyboard was getting uh, getting too much uh, cat fur in it. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, you, you can see, uh, it's not working there. Hold on. Let me try to bring it over here. Like, like this was in my keyboard. This is cat fur. <clears throat> Hmm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna take a net, save game. Let's go. Mm-hmm. 
aren't you moving just moving dust about yes and that's fine the dust gets uh goes to the ground where it gets uh vacuumed up with my vacuum cleaner it's uh the the, the power of suck let me see here out of all the kingdoms which one is your favorite uh can't access the travel map right now uh, give me a sec. Uh, you're currently unwell, uh, due to disease or poisoning. Right, uh, resting right now might lead to an early grave. Uh, yeah, the, the, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me, man. There we go. Uh, let's see. Is Mr. Sir still around? The neighbor has, uh, given us Mr. Sir. So Mr. Sir has become my wife's cat. Mr. Sir just kind of lives, um... Here now, upstairs, in, uh, usually in her chair. He, yes. He, he, uh, he has bonded to her, the, the, the little, uh, orange cat. Yeah, I like Wayrest a lot, but that, that isn't it either. Arcope, okay, we need to cast some spells. We cast light a few times. Uh, yes, uh, you feel somewhat bad. Stomach rot! It's a permanent condition unless cured, characterized by a slight daily drop in health. Oh, boy. Oh, I certainly love the experience there. I'm going to rest for two more hours. And, yeah, we've slept poorly. Of course we did. Uh, but it should be morning. Hello, sir. I need, uh, I need some uh, leftovers, yes. And then I need some spruce tea. And then we need to go find a temple to get ourselves cured. This is not a good place. Uh, cats are taking over. Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Um, what was I saying? Um, <clears throat> you'd be surprised. Uh, I, I said this uh, on yesterday's stream. But uh, when people were watching my stream... And, and I was uh, using this. Like, people ask me occasionally. They go, uh, hmm. Uh, are, are you just going to be a VTuber from now on? And then I realize that they're going to unsubscribe if I say yes. So I say yes. Then then they leave the stream and unsubscribe. And then I, uh, I go back to live streaming normally the next day. That's, uh... That's my usual behavior. If, if something, like, really matters to you and it's, like, going to make you unsubscribe, I'm probably going to gonna just, like, push you off the cliff, you know? And and, and, and lie to you to do it, basically. But, um, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's um, I, I do have my VTuber avatar for when I don't want to be on, uh, on camera. And, uh... Uh, otherwise, I used to use these. I, I still use these for, like, Zoom calls, right? You know, like like a normal Zoom call when I just want to, you know, do do business, essentially. Um, th these are my headphones, right? No problem. But then I found something, um, I, 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 like, I, I was given these, you know, as kind of a joke. Um, a a because of uh, my VTuber avatar, and I thought, hey, this is a nice medium between, uh... The avatar and the, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, between the avatar and the normal headset, you know, it's, it's a, it's a happy medium. And so I get people going, you know, they make headsets for men too, right? Yeah, I, I get some pretty hostile comments. It's, it's really funny. Um, but, but yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it is the most minimalist cross-dressing you will ever see. And yet, it upsets people. And I find that fucking hilarious. Okay. Let me see here. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. The model of the headphones? Yeah, I got, I, I got the box here. For ya, yeah. It's the, uh... It's the, uh... Yo Woo there. I, I, I still, I, I just, honestly, I use this box as a container to hold, like, my, uh, C CDs and shit. Yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of funny. Like, I just, I have the box here, so I can just show it off. 
Um, anyway, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they good quality? They're decent quality when they are unplugged, because they're Bluetooth when they're unplugged. But they're good quality when you plug them in. And you can plug them in uh, during use, if you look over here. Whoops. Uh, you can see, like, the plug there. So you can have them plugged in and charging while using them. And if they're plugged in directly to the computer, they're actually... Um, uh, they're actually good quality. So it's two different audio devices. One for Bluetooth, one for, um, like, direct plugged in. Yeah. Cat ears for Zoom calls is going to happen. I mean, um, no one's paying me enough to even consider, uh, uh like, a French maid outfit or anything like that. So, you know, it's a case of, uh, the degeneracy will only go so far in proportion to how much I'm paid. Okay. Um, when you turn them on, they actually say, like, Nekone, uh... And then they they have like a little uh, uh like a like a Japanese cat nya sound that that they say in like a uh, a lady's voice when you turn them on. It's true. Okay. Yes. How much would it cost? That that is a mystery, isn't it? Mhm. Mm Your son liked uh, my VTuber avatar when he saw it. That's funny. Oops, there's no path here? That's a dirty lie. Huh. Hold on a second. If the game says there's no path there, a six foot five guy in a maid outfit. Yes, exactly. Exactly. How, how much would a day you have to raise to make that happen? That's a very good question. Oh. Tempting fate there by uh, making those comments, right? Holy crap. Okay, let's go this way. We're going east. You get the no path sometimes too? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Ambush of Tigus? Tigus? Crap. Okay, good news. You have to explain uh, to your wife that this is a guy. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. But no, uh, I, uh, but believe it or not, all of the weird uh, degenerate shit is contained to the internet. I'm actually quite normal in uh, real life. Uh, quite boring, actually, would be the way to really phrase it. Mm. And do you have to staple and feed your horse? No, thankfully. That would be a little nuts. Okay, here we go. Oh, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. Let's do some fireball spam. Okay. Come on. We got one more hit on that tiger. Got it. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, fireball. Oh, jeez. I'm about to die. Okay, uh, bandages. We're going to have 12 bandages. We are a mummy now. And I crashed the game, so no, it, uh, I don't think that the... Uh, I don't think the thing got fixed. So what I'm going to do is I'm really quick going to comment out the... Um, you said uh, slow corruption arc. Why the fuck not? As long as I'm having fun, uh, what does it matter? All right, let's see. For uh, for give me a sec, give me a sec. So, um, I actually have to fix this. So I go to games, go to Daggerfall, go to one point oh, go to data. Uh, it's probably not the bandages. It's probably the audio. Uh, let me go to mods, and then I'm gonna go to the sound. Um. What's it called? Uh, I've forgotten what it's called already. Uh, it should be dynamic music, dyn, for short. We're gonna um, we're gonna disable dynamic music, which I which people have been reporting causes crashes. So I thought that updating it should have fixed it, but um, 
we're going to disable it entirely and see if that works. And if it doesn't, so be it, and we do other things. But uh, it shouldn't be. You said not as bad as it isn't as bad as Oblivion. For one thing, uh, you're almost guaranteed not repeating the cr the same crash over and over like Oblivion does. Uh, that's for sure. All right, give me give me a sec here. So, you want to uh, wish me a great weekend? Awesome. Uh, thanks for showing up. Let's uh, pop out of this. Whoop. Okay. I'm gonna launch the game. And in theory, it shouldn't crash as much without uh, the dynamic music. Dyma dynamic music is great. I freaking love it. But I've I've commented it out, so it do it doesn't count as a mod. Um, uh, like right now. There we go. My goodness. <laughs> right. So. Do, do, do. Okay. Oh, the road is working now. That's funny. Let's see if we get uh, intercepted again. We may not. I don't know. So it seems like restarting the game fixed that road. Very strange. Uh, um, failed to avoid an encounter. What? Oh, it's a woof. I will fight the doge. Victory shall be mine. Arcane arrow. Damn. The wolf is dead. Its small tooth is mine. Mm-hmm. You ever surprised by anything in Daggerfall? Uh, thanks to mods? Absolutely. Still always surprised. Hm. Yeah. If all playing Daggerfall together. Ain't that the truth? Um, you got your squid ship in No Man's Sky? That's great to hear. I'm, I'll be playing No Man's Sky next week. At some point, for sure. I've been enjoying that. I've been enjoying a lot of things lately. Like, lots, lots of fun, uh... Um... What do you call it? Just uh, between Baldur's Gate, Daggerfall, Morrowind. You know, uh, with, with all the mods for uh, Daggerfall and Morrowind. It's, it's always a different game each time. Some people disagree, but, uh, you know. Test 2 MP... Not for a while. So, like people have tried it, and uh, just just ain't uh, ain't materializing yet. No one's dedicated enough. Unfortunate, but true. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Did I play Arena when it came out? You bet I did. Ultima Underworld was a better game, in my opinion. Which is a harsh thing to say, but it was inspired by Ultima Underworld. Daggerfall is when the Elder Scrolls, in at least my opinion, got good. Um, and, uh... I, like, I very much struggle to go back and play both Ultima Underworld and Daggerfall these... Uh, sorry, in uh, Arena these days. For various reasons. Yes. Okay. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. You don't think you'd ever see another player in Daggerfall given its size? Oh, everyone would be traveling together. Like, you'd, you'd be on a, a, a single server, for sure. Um, I remember when uh, I, I, like, I really pissed a guy, uh, not just one, like, multiple people off by uh, stating publicly that... Uh, Ultima Underworld is a lot less of an RPG than um, uh, th than the mainline Ultima series, and that uh, that that really pissed some people off because uh, you know they they like they see RPG as a badge of honor and not a descriptor, right? And and so <laughs> it's uh, really funny because uh, it's more like Ultima Underworld's more of a action adventure dungeon crawler, you know. Um, whereas, like, the mainline Ultima series really are role-playing games. Um, have not done Might and Magic Merge. I've seen people playing it in multiplayer, and I thought, that is freaking amazing. 
want more of that, um, probably will never uh, get around to it anytime soon. Unless I get a group of people who actually wants to do it. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. But yeah, it's six, seven, eight. I've I've watched other people play it, and I thought, hey, I'm pretty sure none of my friends would want to play this, but uh, it looks pretty cool. All right. Yeah, there, there's a um, a mod for it that just straight up uh, lets you play uh, it in multiplayer. Um. Anyway, let me see here. Fighters Guild. Gonna grab a couple of those along the way. Yeah, Arena has open test Arena, but people haven't finished it yet. Like, it needs contributors. More contributors than it has. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm hmm. Okay. Refill my water at the water fountain. Damn right. I still have stomach rot. The permanent condition. I should see about potentially going to the local um, going to local temple and getting my stomach rot cured instead of uh, traveling more days and suffering as a result. There's the school of Giuliano. So I wonder if they can cure me. Logic and reason. Can it overcome stomach rot? Damn, that, that water is bad. I'm gonna try to go around it. Yes. Success. There's the school of Julianos. Hello there. How ya doing? Make a donation. Yes, I will donate a thousand gold. Thank you for your donation. Damn right. I'm getting Julianos to like us some more. Cure my disease, thank you. Yep. Um, 277 gold pieces, sure. Mm -hmm. Anyone play Daggerfall Unity Iron Man? Um, I like the Iron Man game systems that mod that he had for a while, but I don't think I'm going to participate in um, an actual Iron Man run. Uh, that's not for me. All right, so the School of Julianos... Um, what do you call it? I'm, I'm not. I don't need to do any more questing for them. Uh, I don't need to do any questing for them. I just specifically. I donated a thousand gold to their uh, uh, their coffers, and then I got cured, which is great. Mhm. Mm yep. Yeah, Daggerfall felt great when it was brand new because of how expansive it was. You know, I'm, I'm when you're used to text-based games. Your imagination can kind of go wild with uh, areas this big. And when you discover, like, the the bugged witch covens that exist inside people's houses, it's like, oh my god, what other secrets does the game have? They were, it was a bug. Um, but still, it's glorious. Mm-hmm. More bandages. Always looking around to buy more bandages. I think we're out of here. What's this? Good manners in polite society. I'd like to buy that book. Oh, that's 3,000. I can only negotiate it down so far. Hold on. Uh, it, yeah, I, th I think that might be a good idea, though. Good good manners in polite society would be a good book to have. Let me double check to see what books I have. I have, um, I have Mercantile and The Pig Children. Let, let's go ahead and buy that. Fuck it. Um, that's where most of our money's going. We're buying a book on pol uh, polite society. Uh, where the hell was it? Um, there it is. Good manners and polite society. We're buying it. That's a uh, a book there. Yep. Mhm. Mm RPG Doom. Nice. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people are talking about Hell Divers. It's kind of funny. Whoop. Is there a mod to sell soul gems? No. Nope think so. I think you get those from the Dark Brosen Hood. Um, oh, that's that's a cool one. Nice. So that 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 is clipping into some other stuff, but we'll buy it anyway. Um, 
We'll mess with some settings and make it uh, and get it fixed later. For now, we got that. Yes. And then red and uh, blue and red. Blue and red was what I want. So blue first, then red. Cool. Yep, yep, yep. You're missing the uh, Quicksilver Weekend mission. So the, the interesting part is I have a mod that enhances rewards. All like the top Nexus mission is always 2000 Quicksilver no matter what. In other words, um, I get to choose when I want to play without any fear of missing out. Um, do, 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 do. Anyway, we're going in this direction. Equipment store. I don't. I. I don't take kindly to FOMO if I can avoid it. You know. Oh, this is a low-grade shop. I can tell it's a low-grade shop because I'm able to... Uh, I, only, I can only buy bandages in one uh, a piece, and they're also basically free. So, uh, I already got the epoxy glue. I should use that at the next uh, location there. Are you interested in VR? VR gives me migraines, so no. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not... Uh, I'm not demeaning anyone who plays VR. I've seen people play like, uh, what do you call it? The OpenMW VR, and I think that's really cool. That's uh, really, really cool. Um, but um, not for me. Yeah. Do, 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 do. So I think we're basically done here. I'm going to double check these other ones. Pra laid out and practical. Yes. We're almost done. Oh, what's this? That is a war axe. I was hoping for something a little better. Mm, richer. What? That's no big deal. We don't need that. Uh, bandages, yes. Oh, perfect. A different colored formal cloak. That uh, That's what I wanted as well. Yes. Downside of VR is headache, yes. And headache is kind of uh, a deal breaker for me. Yeah, that's nice. Equip those. Mm-hmm. So, let's uh, get going. There's one more place to check out. Is the vintage market? Oh, this is this is uh, an expensive one. Yes. Uh, Anatomy of the Tamriel Races. I think that's for Critical Strike. Uh, I need to study that anatomy of those, uh, those them there Khajiit people. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, Baron Zaya, uh, did that. I'm, I, I know, out of the, the real Baron Zaya. They, they censored that one in Morrowind. Decided it was a little too, uh, far. But, uh, yep. Yeah. Have a good one. Okay. Let's go. So, we're going to head out of town now. We're leaving. Mm -hmm. Medical, too. Oh, medical. Okay. Well, not for me right now. But, uh... I've already spent a huge amount of money getting, uh... What do you call it? Etiquette. So, yes. Hmm. Nope, we're, we're just traveling on through. Yeah, the real Baron Zaya had, uh relations with the Khajiit as a in order to keep her identity secret and safe all right mm -hmm. do, 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 do. hello hello well savage huntsman you find the titles to be older more immersive immersive is very much a um a subjective term very very subjective but for me yes so I, I, I can get just as immersed in skyrim as i can a text-based game so it comes down to do i enjoy more complexity to a point there are some games that are a little too complex but uh for the most part i am enjoying the increased complexity over something like skyrim for example Yes. Do, 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 do. We're traveling down south right now. 
Good, good. Mm hmm. AI Day Gother. Some of them. I find uh, that the memes got a bit stale. Don't get me wrong, there's some good uh, Dagother uh, AI memes, but then there are also just like oh, way too many of them. I remember about a year ago, someone was getting uppity at me for saying that uh, uh, Dagother memes were stale, saying that I uh, I posted too many fanboy memes, um, and, and saying it's ironic that you call Daggerfall memes stale when uh, you post fanboy memes. And I thought that was fucking funny. Uh, I I remember I don't remember who said it. I just remember the 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 statement, because it shows uh, what amuses one person doesn't amuse another person. You know what I mean? Like uh, that that's really what it comes down to. Is uh, Dagother memes are a little less weird than other memes, so you know it it kind of gets. Uh, like, when you use him for everything and anything, it gets stale. But if you have, like, him talking to Tucker, that's pretty funny. Let's see. Do you have Daggerfall on your tablet? Yeah, I really wish that Daggerfall Unity had a uh, Android um, version. Unfortunately, there are issues with that. And right now, Daggerfall just kind of, like, you have to pick your poison. Do you want to use... Uh, Standard uh, Daggerfall, or uh, you know, not Daggerfall when you're an Argonian, yeah. But I prefer the, um, I prefer like the, if we're talking about Dagoth, uh, sorry, the, the being an Argonian thing, hold on. Um, um, there was a like an artist who does mostly porn, but he has some, um, some safe uh, images, and one of them is, uh, uh, N Nervar being an Argonian, and um, like that's way better than the Dagoth or AI memes. It's um, like it, the, just the, the comic uh, strips that that guy makes is, are just way better, um, because as as Zora's like a gamer girl who uh, calls people you know Enwas by accident on the bridge, uh, and shit like that. It's it's really funny. Uh, let me see here. Have I heard about the Wayward Realms game? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me see here. What was it? Um, so, ahem. Yeah, there, there was a guy who was like, um, was like, ahem. Um... I'd like Jaren Hay at once lost games if I am roaming around the huge open world of Wayward Realms and hear a crow asking me to come closer and it has a quest for me. Can that and will that be at Zarek? And then they said, uh... We have had a few thoughts on how to add Zarek in. So, yeah. I, 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 I've, I've heard of it. <laughs> All right. Ahem. Hmm. Okay. De de definitely. <laughs> yeah, Alright, let's just go... Whoa, there's a shop over there. Yes. It's uh, pretty cool. Right. Grab some water. My water skin's already full. No problem, then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> go, go bother somebody else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm confusing the crap out of people b between uh, between the, uh, the 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 crow and the cat boy and all the other shit. Right? I, I do not stick to any kind of consistent messaging whatsoever. My primary goal has always been, above all else, to have fun. This is something a lot of people don't realize. <laughs> is, uh... Like, basically, my personal enjoyment is, is the primary motivator for streaming and making videos. Talking is fun. That's it. 
Yeah, I don't know. That's entirely up to Ted Peterson. He runs the show. And I have, uh, I have a lot of faith in him. Based on all the uh, shenanigans. Alright, we're going to cut across country to Stockworth. Because Stockworth is pretty close. Um, actually. Um, hold on. Mm, no. Let me, let me back up. Okay, so yeah, my goal is down there. And I'm up here. So what I want to do is I want to cut cross country to New Chester. Cutting across country to New Chester will take me about 12 hours. So that's too far. Let's instead drop over to Stockworth. That'll take four hours. So we're, we're going cross country now. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, um, my primary goal is to tell people that uh, prophecy is bullshit. And that um, while you can very often predict the future, you can subvert prophecy pretty well. That's uh, that that's my core message, I think. If if we want to talk about like fantasy, is uh, that prophecy can be reinterpreted and twisted and changed and even outright denied. You said in Daggerfall? No, I'm talking about in uh, fantasy, in general. Yes. If, if you wanted uh, a message from me, that would be my uh, my primary message. Yes. Ah, the wagon breaks down. What? Wagon's broken! You watch Dune 2? Uh, not yet. Um, I mean, I've read all the books, and I've talked about Paul Atreides in um, The Children of Dune, which is a way better story uh, than, uh, like, uh, sorry, it, it not a better story, but it, um, it, it, it complements the story of the original Dune so much more than people give it credit for, I mean. Like, it, 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 it like, people take the, uh, the prophecy of Dune a little too, uh, um, too much. You said Children Dune's your favorite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my goodness. Let me, uh, hit a thing here. Yes. Mmm. Right, right, right. The text is heavy? Yes. Yes, indeed. Ba -ba -ba. What else we got? Yeah, I, I should have... By the way... Speaking of Dune 2, I actually have a clip from Dune 2000. It plays when someone uh, donates or uh, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Uh, super chats or, uh, you know, join, uh, call it subscribes. Um, and when I say subscribes, I mean the Twitch kind. Um, like over a certain amount, it will uh, it will play uh, a clip. Uh, it will play Emperor uh, Shaddam. From the original Dune movie, recast, yeah, release the Sadokar. Exactly. Exactly. Hmm. Yes. A lot of dialogues are in mind <laughs> in Dune, yes. And, you know, that's an interesting thing, is that a lot of the dialogues in the new Dune movies have been cut out entirely. Because they were people thinking. For example, Paul says, I would know the difference. And the guy thinks for a second and goes, Yeah, I, I I suspect he would. You know, shit like that, right? And the movies cut out all that internal monologue. All of it. Yeah. Ahem. <clears throat> Anyway, we've repaired our wagon. We need to put away some things. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is the point of if it all looking the same? Imagination. You remember, remember uh, SpongeBob going imagination. You ha it is up to you, the player, 
to have enough suspension of disbelief to believe that um, Wayrest is different to Daggerfall, despite them looking similar. I need to reload this. My bad. I did, did it made an issue. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay, let's, let's let's immediately dive down. Fuck it. We're we're go we're going to Stockworth. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Yes. Whoops. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't need to do that. I need to need to go back. I I did something silly. Yes. There are people out there who get act. They get actually offended that a game would ask them to employ their imagination, and they say that's for books or that's for um. You know, particular other medium, right? And uh, it's kind of sad because, uh, like, games like this are supposed to be an extension of tabletop. The graphics are a visual aid. They are not an absolute representation. Okay. Let's actually get this done. For, first things first. How are we doing? Uh, we're healthy. It's cold and foggy. Uh, now we click on Stockworth, and we go recklessly, and camp out. Good. We're doing it. Yep, yep. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Yes. But I, I don't doubt that, um, a more modern take on Daggerfall will use a lot of the same assets, you know, and look similar in other areas, you know, the the idea of places looking the same. I don't think a modern take on Daggerfall is going to shake that. I think it's going to be mostly uh, mostly the same with maybe a little bit of variation um, when it comes to modern takes on Daggerfall, just broadly, because of how Daggerfall functions. I mean, it's like people who are complaining about Starfield and all the point uh, about like the points of interest. They told me they should have focused on four planets. Instead of just, instead of a thousand. And I said, if you commit to making one real life sized planet, that is the same as making a thousand real life sized planets. You're still going to have to use procedural generation. You're still going to have to make everything mostly the same. Because anytime you expand beyond what one person can reasonably produce, Within four years, or one person, you know, one one small group can reasonably produce in four years. You've basically, you've committed yourself to the uh, task of procedural generation at that point. And there's no fixing that. Do, do, do. Yep. There, there, there's no uh, turning that all into handcraft. You don't think they use procedural? I don't think um, no man. It's not no man's sky. Uh, I, I don't think uh, Starfield used procedural generation enough. I agree. Like once you commit to it, you have to folk. You have to put it to use. Well, boy. Uh, let me uh, see here. Do we get everything? I think we got everything. Yeah, yeah. We don't need it anymore. Let's keep going. Mhm. Mm Should have focused on space, not plants. I agree. You said the deserts in New Mexico look a lot like the deserts in California. They do. They absolutely do. We're just going to use the wagon wheel here. Fix up our wagon. And we hitch the wagon back up. And we're going south some more. I'm going to save before we go any further, just in case. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, we don't have any artificial intelligence right now. We have machine learning um, and pattern matching algorithms that aren't really good enough for um, to pass the bar of suspension of disbelief, unfortunately. Yeah, we, we don't actually have artificial intelligence. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. B -b -b Ooh, green formal brazier. Pick one of those up. Hell yeah. Green color. Hell yeah. Bandage, yes. What else? We don't need a blue cloak. We could definitely use programmer socks. Lol. Um, 
What else? Another blue cloak. That'd be nice, yeah. Definitely pick more of those up. Mm, gray bra. We don't need one of those. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Mm-hmm. Switching things up. Next area. Laid out and practical. Mm-hmm. Bandage there. Mm-hmm. Bandage there. You don't believe in sentient machines? I think it'll happen when they are able to replicate um, the neurons of the human brain and create an artificial brain. Uh, I think that will be the uh, the point at which we get uh, that. Will it be within my lifetime? Probably not. Um, am I not looking for Elder Scrolls Six? Uh, let, let me go ahead and pull up the uh, uh, pull up the Gamer Matrix for you. Um, I, I posted this before Starfield came out, and people got pissed at me. Because um, I wasn't excited for Starfield. But this is a pretty uh, accurate, in my opinion, uh, way of going about looking uh, at the future, right? As far as uh, releases go. And I, I pretty well believe that uh, I will either be pleasantly surprised or, <laughs> you know... Um, <laughs> do, 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 do. But but yeah yeah. So uh, th this um, this kind of flummoxed people before Starfield came out. Like I ended up I ended up actually enjoying Starfield, but I was never excited for it. And in a similar fashion, I'm not excited for Elder Scrolls uh, Six. I have hopes for Elder Scrolls Six, but hope and expectation are not the same see what i'm saying hope and expectation are different um would i upgrade my pc for elder scrolls 6 uh i've got a pretty good graphics card i would need to get a new pc like a new cpu at this point my motherboard my motherboard is uh kind of at its limit for what kind of cpu it's going to house so i will need a new pc for elder scrolls 6 maybe or not i don't know but uh, that's a different matter altogether. Find more cloaks. Yes. Mm-hmm. You had hope for the last Jedi. Hey, I, I um, I actually looked at the um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Force Awakens, and I realized that the the Last Jedi was going to be bad, and I was surprised by the Last Jedi, but I wasn't surprised because it was bad. Rather, I was surprised that it actually tried to move away from the idea of dynasties, where like your parents define whether you're going to be a a hero or whatever, right? Like, uh, dynasties are such a fucking terrible trope. The idea that uh, your worth in a story is based off of your parents, right? So the fact that they tried to move away from that, um, I was impressed by. I mean, the, the movie was still a terrible, terrible movie. But I'm trying to tell you that, like, I was impressed by some of the attempts that were made in it. Despite it being a horrible movie. Um, like, that, like little, little bits of, uh, uh, here, hold on, let, let me, let me pull up, uh, let me pull up the image here. Okay, so, uh, when I talk about, uh, The Last Jedi, I like to give Ryan Johnson a gold star. There was an attempt. I, I, I like to give him a gold star, okay? Uh, there it is. You can, you can, you can look at the gold star. In the way it is deserved, okay? That's how I feel about The Last Jedi. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> anyway. 
Let me see here. Do, 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 do. All right. Mm hmm. Let's get out of here. We're going. We gotta go take a nap here in. We're in Stockworth, right? Uh, no, we're not. We're in Hallwood Garden. That's interesting. Let's go give ourselves some tea. See if we can travel there. Yes. Heard him say he had no respect for the cannon. Interesting. I mean, like, um, there, I'd say the biggest problem was uh, that they gave Star Wars to the guy who ruined Star Trek. You know, uh, Jar Jar Abrams. Um, that's all I got to say about that. Okay. Do, 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 do. At that point, it was already ruined. Oh, we got to have a peacock pie. Hell yeah. That's right. Uh, drink. Give me some mint tea. And let's see if that's enough. Can I have another mint tea? I don't think so. Uh, excellent. Um. Do, 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 do. Where's my horse? Uh, what, uh, will you do first in Land of Hammerfell in Elder Scrolls 6? Uh, uh, thank you for the, uh, 13, uh, uh Kedalere. Um. I don't know entirely, and I noticed that my, uh. My, my streaming thing isn't going off. It's already pissing me off. It's great. Let me let me check something really quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix something. Oh boy. Uh, anyway, um, what will I do first? That's a very good question. Probably play a um, a scimitar using uh, red guard then, because like I like to play whatever the game is kind of pushing you toward the first playthrough. And then I like to do weird stuff later. So I probably won't be an incredible spellblade in the beginning. Is Hammerfell confirmed? Absolutely not, but everyone thinks it is. And that, that's what's important right now. Give me a sec. I'm hitting the pre-show so I can grab the uh, extra panel. I want to like move these panels around. Give me a sec there. Okay, that should do it. I want to mess with one more thing before I go-go. Uh, um... Let me see. Log out there. I need to log into the other one. Whoa, boy. Um, let me see. Continue. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at a uh, shenanigan here. But uh, call the sneaky archer? I don't think so. I don't think I have to do that first. That's just not a big deal for me. Uh, let me see. Release the Sadukar! There we go. Now it's properly loading stuff like that. I I had to fix the panel because it wasn't loading properly. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, these aren't uh, razor headphones. They're uh, a Japanese brand. Uh, let me uh, let me pull up the side panel there. Uh, the, these are the, uh, what do you call them? The, the, the Yo Woo, uh, headset. Yeah. It's, uh, a pretty fancy headset regardless. I got them as a Christmas present. And so, uh, you know, as a result, I've got my, uh, my, my normal business headphones. Just a standard. And then I got my, uh, my live streaming headphones, which, uh, you know. Okay, let's get going. Ahem. You look exactly like the girl on the box. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Yes, yes. Exactly. Ahem. They're called the Yo Woo. Mm hmm. Gotta check the vintage market there. Boots! They are not great. Clear them. Give me a bandage. Buying bandages there. Hell yeah. 
That formal brazier, we'll pay we'll buy that and uh use it later. Still checking out things. And nothing we have to worry about. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. Uh formal brazier there. Good, good, good. We can leave now. We're going south. We're out, we're out. We're leaving. Do you get a uh, quality stream? Uh, eh, probably not. My goal is pro first and foremost to enjoy myself. Everything else is secondary. Some uh, Sometimes we get uh, the good streams, sometimes we don't. And that's fine. You know, if, if 20 people are watching, I'll still be playing. No question about it. Let's go! Yeah. Whoa, we fell through the world. What a shame. That's my bad. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, ahem. It didn't generate the world fast enough. What a shame. Okay. But, but yeah, yeah. As I was saying, um, I'm not uh, at all surprised that, um, you know, people don't want to watch... Uh, uh, the, the Japanese cartoon video game. Um, uh, or video games uh, at times, you know. And then they get extra confused. Uh, they get extra, extra confused when I uh, pull up my uh, VTuber avatar instead. That, that also confuses the crap out of people, you know. Because that happens from time to time. Yep. Okay. Da, 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 da. Imagine playing dagger for Oh crap, Willow Wisps are here. Okay. Uh yeah, I remember uh what was it? Josh Strife Hayes who was playing uh Morrowind uh when everyone else was uh playing Power World and Hell Divers. Uh there, there, someone sent me a link of Josh Stripe Hayes explaining why he was playing Morrowind instead. Anyway, it, it's just amusing. Yeah, I don't think anyone uh is playing Daggerfall on a grind other than um if they're gonna make a video about it. And even then, you know. Play game you like, don't be grumpy, correct. <laughs> Like, you know those people who, like, stream Call of Duty all the time? And they say, games aren't fun anymore! And it's like, yeah, because you're playing games that get you the most viewers. And that's it. Like, uh, of, co of course you're not having fun anymore. You're, you're not playing games for fun, you're playing games as a job. Oof. Big, big, oof. I mean, let me pull up a different thing on my bobber here. Yeah, I'm at. Let's see. Your experience is the true Nords that come out on top. Ain't that the truth, though? Uh, thank you, Berserker, once again. <laughs> let me, uh, let me, let me pull up the Morrowind meme. I know I have it here somewhere. Um, my goodness. It's uh, really taking it some time to capture. Wow. Um,. Skimming down this list here. Okay. That streaming is hard? Kind of. I I would say that the people who want to compare it to other jobs, um No. I've not Okay. Uh, here we go. Here we go. I've not returned to Morrowind since then. Who'd want to? All that ash and fire. Those dark elves can keep their cuts. Don't forget the bugs. There you go. Don't forget the bugs, everybody. Perfect. 
League of Legends streamers say they have crippling depression? Well, the, okay, so League of Legends streaming's a bit different. Uh, t uh, League of Legends is an interesting... Um, um, an interesting situation because both Dota 2 and League of Legends both have you uh, constantly being... Um, what, what do you call it? Uh, the, like the higher rank you get, the worse of a person you become. And that might go away once you stop playing. But for the purposes of um, of actually playing, it's true. Like, listen to someone who's a really high rank in a match and just listen to them talk uh, and listen to their, uh, like, how, how they react to the match. And they become worse of a person the higher rank they get. And again, they, they might turn back normal. I have not returned tomorrow. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. It was replaying. But just just listen to how they act during that time that they're playing. And you'll realize that uh, League of Legends and um, Dota 2, that kind of game eats away at your soul. Here we go. We got Wisps. Ugh, crap. I pacified that wisp with my uh, with a different skill, but this one's still trying to kill me. Damn. Eh, that ain't working. My silver staff is getting them though. We got him, hell yeah. There's no no treasure on that one, and I pacified the other one. There, there's no work corpse there, yeah. Okay, we're gonna... Jeez, we didn't have any armor on, and my feet are exposed. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's fix that. Let's get out of here. We're going... Uh, No, I don't want to go west. We're going uh, to cut straight across to Stockworth. Yeah. We're traveling. Mm-hmm. Right. You stopped playing years ago? <laughs> Something like that. Competitive gaming brings out the worst in people? I mean, yeah, but I still remember Overwatch. Uh, I, I have a video up somewhere of Overwatch, and it was when the game was brand new, and uh, someone said in the match, we deserve to lose. Then, I, as the tank, ran in, we killed everybody and won. And uh, as I was, as we were winning, and it was showing the play of the game, which was me winning, uh, I was going, "Oh, we deserve to lose, eh?" Troll la 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 la, and I, I just, I just kept singing, "Troll la 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 la" over and over and over. And uh, the guy said, "Fucking uninstall, dude," and left immediately. It was great, and. Um, yeah, I have I have that video somewhere, uh, on uh, on my YouTube channel. It was I I, I was I was hysterical, like uh, that, that is say uh, uh, hi, hi, uh, hysteria. You know what I mean? Uh, like it's just like I I could not contain my utter utter joy at uh, at winning there. Did you enjoy Fargrave? Fuck yeah, Fargrave was great. The actual Deadlands was bad. You love when people get mad about winning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, um... Release the oh, my goodness. Okay. Why is she barefoot, bro? <laughs> and then thanks for the $5 A. Uh, yeah. About that. <laughs> it was, a, it was a, a mistake. Did not mean to show feet. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. What happened? What's this? Uh... Miss, uh, Mr. Dot Kelsey. Ha, ha. Put a space between those. Let's see what else we got here. We're uh, gonna make another save. Save five, yes. And we're going, we're going, we're traveling to Stockworth. We're gonna get there. But yeah, 
No, I, I think I was, if I remember correctly, I was playing the, um, the, the, the lady, the, uh, the, 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 the Russian, like, weightlifter stereotype lady. And I used the gravity attack ultimate that pulled everyone in. So we killed uh, all the enemy team, and then we won. And, um, yeah, you know, it was, it was funny because people got angry, uh, like, or sorry, that, that, the guy who said we deserve to lose got angry about it because he, he, you know, it's like troll, lol, 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 lol. It was a fun time, really. I admit to never getting above diamond for the actual uh, league there. Um, a friend of mine, she, she mained Mercy and, uh, was in Master League and was just like, okay, you, uh, you be the best healer in the world. I'll never hit that level. Okay, let's see. We're in Stockworth now. We're gonna hang out here for the night and then, uh, head over to the dungeon tomorrow, I think. D dungeon's down there? Yeah, we, we're gonna take us another, like, couple days there. My goodness. It's the play of the game, yeah. It was funny. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. My goodness. Yeah, people uh, very often talk about... Uh, oh. Whoops. Hold on, I'm gonna go check up the top there. Ever played Magic the Gathering? Yes! I played from Beta... Uh, to fourth edition. And I'm talking about like the physical card game. Uh, sorry, fifth edition, not fourth. Um, Fallen Empires was kind of not a great expansion, but then afterward they uh, they did Chronicles, and Chronicles is where I dropped the game because like they reprinted all the rare cards, and it was just like, okay, so you destroyed the value in like getting the rare cards. What am I going to do now? And Every time I looked at getting back into um, getting back into magic, um, they like I, I saw oppressive shit like where they would limit your um, uh, limit your number of uh, what you call it, um, which expansions you could use and stuff, in order to force people to buy newer expansions. And I just looked at that and I said. Wizards of the Coast, you fucking suck. And eventually, when Wizards of the Coast went and sicked the Pinkertons on some people, those are corporate thugs, by the way. Um, but when they uh, when they started doing shit like that, I swore off of Wizards of the Coast. Now, if I get something that is Wizards of the Coast branded, I will get it used. I'll use gray market keys. I will do any dirty, underhanded shit to own what I want to own without paying them money or paying them as little money as possible. And Magic the Gathering is done. Yes. My goodness. Uh, don't use meaner monsters. Use Mawooks, which is meaner monsters plus enemy expansion. Yes. Better. All right. Point is that, um, but we, we're, we're gonna get cure disease and cure poison. Grab both of those potions. Hell yeah, that's like a thousand. I'm paying this guy big money. Uh, healing, heal true. That's fine. Good. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is, I will go out of my way to ensure that I give Wizards of the Coast as little or no money as possible, you know? Uh, little money as possible, including none. Stamina Potion, that's good. Buy one of those for 48. Potion of Healing. Ooh, free action's expensive, but it's worth it. Uh, that'll do. Okay. Mm-hmm. Last area there. On shop. Mm -hmm. I've uh, never played Infinite. Not really inspired to, to be honest. Okay. Let me see. Skyrim. Um, I have a 700-hour Skyrim run. Go check out Cellril's Amazing Adventures on uh, 
Should be in the video section of my YouTube channel. If you go back far enough, you can see Cellreal's stuff. Uh, why is it all the same book? The Ebon Arm. This, this guy's a bookstore. This guy's a bookstore. What the hell? Uh, it, it says pawn shop, but I'm pretty sure it's a bookstore. Alright. Mm hmm. But yeah. Do, 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 do. So, yeah. Blizzard is interesting because now they're just an extension of Microsoft. Most of the uh, baddies have been purged. And there are some really disrespectful people who are still there, so I'm told. No, no confirmation on that. Because the people who I did know no longer work for the company. But, um... What do you call it? The like the real baddies have mostly been expelled from Blizzard. Now they're just Microsoft, which Microsoft is not good either. Uh, people like, excuse me, why are you hating on the Xbox brand? You're just a Sony pony. I I've not I not owned a PlayStation since PlayStation Two. Uh, I I swear, Nintendo N N Nintendo fans, Microsoft fans, and Sony fans are just some of the worst people in general. Like, and they always come to the conclusion. It's kind of like uh, the, the American politics. They assume that if you're you're against one, uh, like th their person, that you're you're with the other. And it's like, no, I hate both of you. I, 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 I don't like either of you. Thank you very much. Hmm. Okay. It's a religious war. Yeah, exactly. Use the control. Yeah, I actually have... Um, I have a... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, this modified Xbox controller. It can run on basically everything. It's it's great. It, it, it's, it's Bluetooth, so it... It works on everything. But it's, mo uh, it's modified. So, you yeah, know. Whoop-de-doo. Uh, yeah, it's it's just a normal cup. Yeah. Just, just a normal cup. Mm hmm The regular Xbox controller? Yeah. Yeah, this is this is just a just a modified Xbox controller. It uh Originally, you know, like it, it just runs anything that anything that can operate Bluetooth will work with this. That's it. Uh, the fact that this doesn't come with a battery drives you insane. It's true. Um, hold on a second. Let me see. No, I think I have the battery charger somewhere else. Hold on. Ah. I've got a um, my battery charger is actually uh, Vault Boy. Yeah. It's a vault boy. Okay. Still looking. Bandages. Silver Greaves. Too expensive. I'm not I'm not buying silver greaves. They have the same, uh, they're, they're, they're iron. I'm oh, sorry, they're steel, but then they have, uh, like, a silver overlay. They're basically just steel. Yep. Okay. Checking, uh, the backside here. We go up in this corner. Hmm. Yeah. Starting to get a little cold, a little chilly. Get a haircut? Uh, yeah, I, um, I'm actually, I've stopped getting normal haircuts. Um, my wife just kind of shaves my head these days. So, yeah, just, just normal, you know? Mm. But, uh, yeah, as, as I showed earlier. So the best way to explain uh, the, this particular headset is it's a halfway point. 
between um what do you, what do you call it um uh between my uh, VTuber avatar, right? It, it's a good halfway point between the VTuber avatar and then my uh normal headset, right? Which I use for uh uh for like Zoom calls and and just general business, right? So then uh from there we've got uh like this this is the good midway point for live streaming the video games. You, you know. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Hello, sir. I would like... Is that blood? No, that's not blood. Okay. I was a little confused there for a second. Mm-hmm. Right. Nothing there. It's a vase with flowers in it. Hmm. Nothing over here, really. The globe. Mm-hmm. I don't talk about what I do outside of uh, the live streamies and the videos because I don't want to give the internet the ability to screw with me. So, uh, everything's under pseudonyms. It, that's just a reality. Let's grab these potions and run. Hopefully nobody cares that we uh, nabbed those potions. Ha! Ah! Alright. Oh, there's a Red Lantern Guild here. Hold on a second. This is Stockworth. Uh, let me check the journal. Hold on a second. Uh, bu 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 um, wait, that's a kick. Uh, not active quests. Here we go, notebook. Uh, stock, S T O K worth. Uh, has a red lantern guild hall. Yes. Mhm. Mm okay. So. What do we got here? This way. Mm -hmm. Full time cat boy. Not quite. I mean, if people would like to start paying me that much uh, to do that, I might uh, consider um, tra uh, call it uh, uh, moving over to that career. Yes. Uh, lol. All right. Seriously, though. Jokes aside, we need to go take a nap, I'm assuming. It's 16 there. Yes. Um, yes, yes. It's uh, a okay. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, shoes on. Give me a second. So uh, today are the boots. What? Yeah, I, I almost said the word... Um, uh, what would call it a, a transition, as in like transitioning careers, right? The problem is if you start talking about uh, like cat cat boys and shit, and you use that word, people get the wrong idea. So um, that that that's I uh, that was like, oh shit, yeah, uh, different word. Use different word. Um. <clears throat> anyway. Let me, uh, see here. Um. Um. Anyway. Velcro. Velcro. Yes. Just putting on, uh, shoes. Because, uh, the ground is cold. Yes. Are you from the USA? I was from California originally, but, uh, you know, bit by bit our family moved, and now I'm in Colorado. Over in Denver, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. Just a normal jacket, not a, not a, call it a sports coat or anything, just a, a regular old, uh, snow jacket. It's two layers. Hold on, I'll, uh, I can show this way here. Do, 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 do. 
And if I hit this, like you can kind of see in the middle here, uh, there's like it's a two layer jacket. And the idea is the outer layer has uh, uh, like rain, uh, water resistance. It's good stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's see here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. You've always been pretty good at moderating your speech. No. No, I say the wrong thing all the time. I've just said the wrong thing enough times to uh, be able to stop myself sometimes. Like all skills, you learn most from your failures. And as you know, I have a lot of those. It's fine, really. Okay, incense and soft music. This is a clothing store. Ooh la la, we got a green spiked bra. No, don't need that, that's for sure. Right. I'm trying to see what else we got. All kinds of items. There's a red dress there, don't need that. Okay, we'll grab the gray formal brassiere because that one's good. And the purple day gown. And the, this purple. Okay, good. I think we've, we've got some... That's, uh, that's pretty good. We got a fair amount of purple. I'm very happy about that. Picks a fight with a random chatter. Ain't that the truth, though? Ain't that the truth? <laughs> I, I do sometimes uh, mima, mima, mima. Yes. Dangers of rambling for hours. You're bound to make mistakes. Also, also, and this is something that, that screws with people uh, quite a bit, is that... I, now, now, here, here's something that really messes with people. Okay? This is this is a secret. Don't don't go telling other people. Um, but get this, get this. My opinions on stuff change. And, uh, yeah, that... Uh, that really, uh, really confuses people. Yeah. Because, um... There are, uh, there are very, very few, um... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Deep-held, unshakable beliefs. It, it turns out... I may say something, and then, get this, get this. Get new information, and then change my mind. It's, it's kind of nuts, right? Why don't you make more Bethesda bashing videos? Yeah, um... Because I want to talk about stuff I like. <laughs> it's why my next video is going to be about a game I don't like very much. <laughs> it's called uh, Mega Man X Dive Online. Or offline there? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where the hell am I? Hello, sir. Yeah. I'm gonna, uh, Mega Man X Dive Offline is something I really... Uh, ooh, Orc's Blood. But no, we'll buy this uh, bottle of first star power. Yes. Bethesda bashing is infinite material. I mean, if that's what you care about, right? But you have to understand that as much as I, like, will talk about how the Elder, Elder Scrolls Online uh, fails to achieve its potential in this way or that way, um, I forget about those criticisms when I am not um, playing the game. Or discussing the game, right? There's there's way too many other things to go look at. Rather than, you know, spending all my time on uh, the one game. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna... Let's look at the map. Uh, looks like we can go over to Deerwick and, and sleep there. Yes. Yep, yep. Anyway. My goodness, once you've said all the criticisms, yeah, saying them again is repetitive. It's true, and I do that on stream because, you know, new new people I'm interacting with. 
But uh, people will watch a series and see me interacting with new people and go, wow, he really hates that Bethesda because he keeps talking about him over and over. It's like, well, I'm actually talking to new and different people every time, right? My goodness, you tried soloing e ESO? I mean, I, I enjoy ESO a decent amount uh, when the particular content isn't, you know, really uh, hurting my soul. But that's a different matter altogether. Um, gonna say, um, do, 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 do. so. Oh, hold on a second. Someone asked me a question. Yeah, give me a second. Um, um, I need to type things. I need to type things. Um, there's a mod that lets you save outfits and then, um instantly pick from a menu to equip that saved outfit i forgot what it was called but i'd love it to be updated lol there we go perfect okay um let me see you can criticize the game without pretending it isn't fun yeah you'd be surprised how many people uh, get angry. Be like, he's just full of toxic, uh, uh, you know, like, he just keeps shitting on the game while he's playing it. He obviously hates it. Because people cannot, cannot comprehend the idea of liking an overall experience, but, like, breaking it down and criticizing the parts of it. You know? Uh, let me see here. Wow, I skimmed social media right now. And, uh, that's kind of sad. Uh, like, yeah. So, social media is kind of sad right now. I really wish I could filter, like, um, out a particular topic. But people aren't using keywords. They're showing uh, pictures and, and stuff instead. So, it's very annoying. Do you have any hope for Elder Scrolls 6? So, um, where there's life, there's hope. You should always have hope in the things you desire for the future. Always, always, always hope. But, balance that hope against expectation. Okay, dokie. Um, let me see here. B -b 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 expectation for Elder Scrolls 6, you should follow this chart. Or, or don't. Maybe don't follow this chart. But uh, when I said I, like, when I talked about this chart for, um, what do you call it? Um, 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 um give me a sec. Uh, Starfield. You know, when I talked about Starfield, people got angry at me. Because I was showing this chart and talking about it like that. It's like, yeah, what, what about it? This is how I feel about Starfield, you know? It's like, I'm not going to get excited. Sorry. Like, I, I hope it's good, but, you know, and, and people got, got pissed at me. Because, like, oh, he's, he's so toxic about the game that's coming out. It's like, no, no, you should always hope that the game is good. Hope is great, but balance it against expectation. My expectation is Elder Scrolls Six bad. My hope is that it's good. It's probably going to land somewhere in the middle, and people are going to call it bad, even though it's probably in the middle. That's just the sad reality of the situation. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah, I didn't ex. Uh, I expected Grandma Goku to go first. Really? Yeah. Do, 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 do. This way. Nope. In this direction. Mediocre is the new bad. Yes, for a lot of people. That's true. The real issue is... Um, there are games that commit the cardinal sin of not being bad enough to laugh at. At which point, you just call them boring. My goodness. 
Uh, have you seen the post on True STL where they put a girl filter over your picture and call me the ideal elder? Uh, sorry, the ideal Daggerfall girlfriend. Uh, no, I haven't, but that sounds amazing. Um, I'm not offended by the existence of such things, but I will not seek them out. Um. Yeah, that sounds funny. Okay. My goodness. Bandage there. Just to be very, very clear for anyone out here who uh, doesn't understand. Uh, ahem. I like weird shit, but I am not trans. Okay? I, I consider myself a man. Possibly a man who's a fucking weirdo and occasionally wears, uh, uh, you know, uh, basically cross-dresses for the purposes of streaming. But that is for streaming. It, it is a source of entertainment for myself that probably doesn't leave the online space ever. That is all. My goodness. And what if you were? I'm not. It's that simple. Mm-hmm. All right. We are going to go to Newchester. Yeah, people do not... Uh, a cluster of spiders is interrupt my travel. No! Yep. Hmm. You're only a lady when the camera's on. I'm not a lady at all. Though occasionally, a la headphones, I may dress like one. Frickin' spiders! It hurts! I'm gonna use my rare symbol of toxic clouds. Did not do anything. What a shame. Oh, uh, jeez. Here we go. Oh, they gave me my mana back. One spider down. Come on. We got him. The spiders are dead. Their spider meat is mine. How much spider meat is there? Probably nothing there. Have you ever done a cosplay? Yes. Um, I have both done a... Um, said when no one's watching? You mean when I'm interacting with real people in the real world? Um, I said this earlier, but uh, these are my normal headphones for bu business times. Okay? Yeah. Ahem. For the internet times, we got this shenanigan. You can't find that post on a true STL? What a shame. Mildly disappointing if it was fa fake. Yes. Yeah. Mildly disappointing if it's fake. My goodness. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Mm hmm. Also, have the background on? No. No. I'm afraid not. I hate to say it, but um, the background for uh, serious business is uh, literally just a uh, company banner. That's it. That, that, yeah. I got away with one time doing the Skyrim background specifically like zoomed in right like right here I I, I, I did I did this once like not not the Nordic ruins but like right here I, I what one of the stream uh, not streams but one of the um uh what do you call it uh one of the meetings I use this as my background uh that uh, that's that's a true story by the way nobody noticed yep uh, I have not played Baldur's Gate 3. I'm going to be finishing up Baldur's Gate 1, then playing Siege of Dragon Spear, then playing 2 and its expansion. Then I will consider um, 
three. I, I will consider three at that point in time. But um, I want them to finish up, uh, like, fine-tuning Act 3 first. I've heard, I've heard enough feedback about Baldur's Gate 3 to know that they're massively updating and fixing it. And I'm looking forward to playing a more idealized version uh, at the end. If you are interested in seeing me play Baldur's Gate, then... Um, I would recommend recommend uh, the following playlist. Uh, the playlist is titled CRPG. Uh, and it is... Give me a sec here. Uh, there is the link to the playlist if you are interested in seeing me play the Baldur's Gate. Um, my goodness. Okie dokie. I'm going to close all the other shenanigans up. I think that'll do it. But no. Uh, let me uh, see here. We'll be continuing that tomorrow. No problem. Let's see. Animated background with uh, uh, this swoop. Where did you rank Starfield among all of mainline Bethesda games? So, I enjoyed Starfield for 236 hours, but then I played everything, right? I can replay... Um, I can replay Skyrim. I can replay Fallout 4. I can replay, uh, you know, Oblivion or Morrowind, right? I can replay any of those games anytime, and I can feel just as invested as playing it the first time. I cannot say the same for Starfield. Starfield, I played, and I'm done. Until they add more content, I am actually done. Won't be touching it again for a while. And um, so I liked it, but unlike every other Bethesda, mainline Bethesda game, I'm done with it. Like, there's no desire to replay. I have not played Gothic in years. I remember practically nothing about it. But yeah. That it's just that I just I just kind of shrug and go. Like I can I can replay all the other games. But not Starfield. Yeah, you played Skyrim once and never again? I've got uh, Legacy of the Dragonborn, turns into Collectathon. Brink is not a mainline Bethesda game. Brink is, uh, I played for like eight hours, enjoyed it, never played it again. Lol. Let's see. Do you usually replay those, um, after your OG playthrough? I did with Fallout 4. I absolutely did with Fallout 4. My goodness. Mm, you said, uh... You're a software engineer. You had a guy who had a Quake 3 logo as their background that uh, for years uh, no one bothered. You thought it was badass? Neat. Very neat. All right. Let's uh, get going. So we're going to go ahead and pick up the horsey. And uh, we are going to continue east. We're going east. Is it southeast? It's it's south. south. Yeah, it's got to be south. Then east. Got it. Mm-hmm. So, um... No, it's... Uh, have I replayed Redguard? Uh, yes, once. I I have no desire to touch those platforming sections ever again. Oddly enough, I can replay Ultima 8. I cannot replay Redguard anymore. Mm hmm Anyway. Uh, wait. Hello? Uh, how you doing? An archer. Huh. Warrior. Warrior. Okay. Just a group of uh, friendly adventurers. No problem. Horizon survival is the only way I play Fallout 4 these days. I basically refuse to play uh, anything more vanilla than Horizon anymore. As far as Fallout 4 goes. There's no comparison between Horizon and not Horizon. The sheer... Like, Fallout 4 needed all those extra systems at this point. 
I've done like three or four playthroughs of Fallout 4 without Horizon, but we'll probably never play it again without at this point. It's getting late. Did you buy the license? Yes. But I, I use 7-Zip now, so it's extra... Uh, it's uh, uh, Imagine. Imagine someone actually owns the license to win RER and then turns around and um and, and uses seven zip that's me yep bandage okay another red spiked bra excellent can't wait to get daedric gear and then we'll have a spiked bra underneath great Okay. We're done here. Move into the next one. Laid out and practical. Bandage there. Ooh, nice. A red loincloth to match that red spike bra. I think, uh, yeah, 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 look at this. Hold on. Yeah, red loincloth and red spike bra. That's that's going to be perfect for our Daedric set. Yeah, very good. Yep, yep. Spikes under your spikes, yes. Purple cloak! We did it! We finally, finally found a purple uh, heavy cloak. Okay, that's it. We've 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 done it. It's it's, it's finished. It's, it's finito. We, we equip our skirt, equip our uh, shirt. Excellent. Now it's all purple. Yes. Absolutely. We will use this formal cloak underneath. And yep, we got our purple. Yep. Game's complete. <laughs> Something like that, yes. Uh, jeez. Okay, there should be one more house over here somewhere. No, just those two? Okay. It's late at night. We gotta go to the local tavern. We're gonna go up to that store first. Any news from the Once Lost Games team? Did you not uh, check their YouTube channel? They update pretty often. Okay, find jewels there. Uh, moving along, moving along. Shame there are no dyes in Daggerfall. There is a mod to do dyes. It's just not compatible with the clothing mod I'm using. It works on all the vanilla stuff. The dye mod. Yeah. The Rascal and Baver. Give me room for the night. 27 gold pieces? Sure. Let's go ahead and take a nap. It helps to have a nap. No, not this way. It's night time. I'm gonna cast a heal Sal Bruce. That'll do it. Now we rest until final fully healed, and we should be A okay. It's so like 2 a.m. My mercantile skill improved. Well, let's uh, spend a little bit uh, reading our book on uh, good manners in polite society. We learned a little more about etiquette. Uh, rest. Okay. My mercantile skill went up. That's fine. It looks like we're at 7 a.m., so let's go ahead and ask the guy to uh, uh, give us the royal breakfast plate. And we'll have some mint tea. Let's get going. So, all right, save the game here. And let's continue. We are uh, heading on to the next area by way of wilderness. We're just cutting across the wilderness completely. My goodness. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, would you run a shop in real life? Probably not, but I freaking love Reketeer. Reketeer is great. Let me uh, go ahead and check a thing. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, I'm checking to see if my mod list has everything. Oh, I do not have the actual engine on this list. Let me go. DF shop. 
I'm gonna update the mod list really quick and include the information here. Hmm. Just sworn it was there. Mm hmm. The releases page. Almost there. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to edit the page and go Daggerfall Unity Engine under part. Yeah, playlist, resource packs, engine. Um. Dagger Fall Unity. Adding the link. Good. That should do it. I've updated the mod list now. Exclamation point mod list should get you that information. Should be the top article on the page. I've gone ahead and added the engine link. Okay, let's get going. We're going east. <laughs> That. Yeah. Didn't occur to me that people wouldn't know where to get the engine. How hard is Daggerfall? Eh, kind of like Morrowind in the sense that if you build a good character and you know what you're doing, it's actually quite easy. But, uh, you know, the, the, the game is counterintuitive. In regards to knowing what exactly uh, exactly how to do that. So, let's see. If I wanted to go to the dungeon, it would take 25 hours to get there. So, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to cut across Wilderness to Chester. Chesterworth is 20 hours away. Mm, 13 hours there. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead to Harborn Wood. And that would be a good place to take a nap there. My goodness. Alrighty then. You said the game is difficult, man, but it's really good. Yes, it's a lot of fun. I like it a lot. Um, I don't think there are any functional multiplayer mods for Daggerfall right now. That's another problem there. Uh huh. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Not staggering when fast traveling. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. Other than, um, like, I think it's CPU bound, not necessarily a graphics card. Um, I'm not getting any, like, a whole lot of stuttering, I should say. I better not say any. Not getting a whole lot, that's for sure. Said, uh, thanks for keeping the classics and uh, good memories alive. Well, I'm using mods, so this is like a newer version of uh, aforementioned uh, classics, so... Um, I'm, I'm super happy that, uh, like, I can t continue to get new and interesting experiences out of what was originally classic. Ah, uh, Fallon, thanks for the support. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. I am, uh, quite happy. Okay. One orc down. We got orc's blood. Hell Yeah. Uh, let's see. We can't access our wagon right now. We're gonna have to wait on that orc's blood. All right. Hey, I used to use the Tuturu. Um, I use release the Sato car now because, uh, whoops. How many? Many. The answer is many, many. <laughs> but, uh, I love games where you can do that. Let's see. What mod are you using that adds the blood? It's at the bottom under update. Uh, updates. Here we go. Good. Yeah, I need to actually... Uh, we're going to do like a, a magical transformation. Where suddenly uh, we have uh, armor on for, you know, just, just some magic. There you go. Done. Uh, more importantly, though, we're going to wrap ourselves up in bandages. Uh, where, where's, the, where's the bandages? There we go. Yep. Wrap ourselves up in bandages. It's fine. Okay. Gotta get the other guy. He's back. At, the damaged one is backing off. Getting the other guy a chance to... Yeah, there we go. We got him. Hell yeah. We got it. Mm hmm I did absolutely have Tuturu on uh, in the past, for sure. 
Yep. Mm. Mini series? Don't know about that. Okay. We did it. Just barely. Magic. Yes. We gotta deal with this. Mm -hmm. Is swimming skill actually useful? No. Get a spell called buoyancy. It completely eliminates any use of the uh, 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 of the swimming skill whatsoever. I'm interested in playing Skywind. Yeah. Uh, the best part about both Skywind and Skyblivion is that they are not just lazy ports. They're going to be a completely new experience using, um, uh, what do you call it, using the foundations of those old games. So they, they will be functionally different, which uh, is exciting to me. Like, th there will be different uh, locations and things like that uh, that are not the same at all. Anyway. It's uh, pretty good. Do, 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 do. All right. That should do it. So, um, debating. Oh yeah, we need to put away a bunch of bandages. Ho 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 ho. Uh, wait, did I put away all the bandages? My bad. I know there. There we go. Two hundred and two bandages. Ah. Ah, uh, um, so it isn't shift, uh, it would be control right click, there we go, and we want to keep, we'll put away 159, leaving us with 50 bandages, that's fine, is this the first dress up doll game? Uh, definitely not the first game using a, a quote unquote paper doll. But using mods, definitely, um, definitely now a dress-up doll game, that's for sure. Uh, but that's more what we turned it into, not, uh, necessarily what, um, what it was originally, that's for sure. Oh, where's my crown? Put the crown on. Where's the shoes? Put the shoes on. Cloak and second cloak. Good. We can put away that other uh, slightly used cloak. No problem. We should be good to go now. Uh, yes, the uh, uh, Elder Scrolls II Fashion Fall is real. Uh, speaking of, grabbing the orcs' items, including the orcs' blood. Orcs' blood, orcs' blood. Mm hmm. Uh, Children of Doom. <laughs> Uh, release the Sadu car is from a game called Dune 2000. Yes. New game, Newgrounds had the best dress up uh, games. Yeah, Flash definitely had its fair amount of, uh, of uh, uh, dolls, that's for sure. Okay, as I was saying, uh, that. Uh, uh, Rocksteady and Bebop were the two, um, uh, the two animal people from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I believe. I know nothing about them. Uh, n nothing about what they're doing right now. Sorry. Okay. Let's get going. We are, wait, is that another orc? I'm checking this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dame is a, uh, what do you call it? A, 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 actually a, uh, a rank of knight. Yes. It, it was mostly an honorary position. You didn't really have a whole lot of, uh, dames actually going into battle. They, for the most part, um... Uh, would, uh, like, attend the sidelines of a fight. Whoop, hold on. Need to check where we're going. Yeah, we're cutting across wilderness some more. That's fine. Good, good, good. We are set. 
double check a couple more things. Mm hmm. Yep. Correct. YouTube likes that. Okay, there's a friendly group of adventurers here. Some monks. No big deal. We're going to keep going. Uh, my goodness. Uh, hey, that that's a nice emoji. That that would represent me, I guess. Uh, let me see here what else we got. Mm hmm. Right. What else? What's next? Oh no. Uh, oh no. <laughs> the, uh, the, this is what somebody, someone sent this link here. Hold on. Um, here, hold on. This is, this is the link somebody sent. <laughs> I, uh, I freaking love the JPEG artifacts on that picture. Uh, neither of these is accurate, by the way. Uh, oh, jeez, the orcs are here. The orcs are here trying to stop me. But yes. Neither of those pictures is accurate. It's great. Okay. Gotta be careful. <laughs> you said FF8 isn't that far off. It didn't have those artifacts in it. But yeah. Whatever is... Okay, so let, Squall was victimized by the translators. He had more of a personality in the original, like, Japanese translation. And the localizers decided to... Um, uh, decided to... What do you call it? Um... um they, they decided to change his personality to be more like Cloud. Yeah. He had more, like, because Cloud was, like, you know, what do you call it? Chrono from Chrono Trigger, Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. These were all, like, famous people. Um, uh, said, what was his personality like? He had more to say. That, that's about it. But I'm just saying, like, whatever and dot, dot, dot are uh, the victims of the translations. Oh, boy. Who names their son Squall? It, they, they were all orphans. If you played Final Fantasy uh, VIII, they, they were all part of an orphanage. And then the leader of the orphanage was like, let's make them into child soldiers. We'll conscript them and make them fight and kill people. They, they are the, the, the seeds of the future. We're going to grow them in the garden. And it was great. Uh, freaking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, that's Sid. S Sid did that. Yes. Uh, Sid turned them into child soldiers. It's great. Uh, let's see here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm hmm. Okay. Yet another. Uh, it was me. It was who? What are you talking about? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me see here. You saw what now? I'm confused. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, what was his personality supposed to be like? Possibly. Possibly. Um. I don't know. Um. He just had a lot more lines of dialogue that were obscured in localization by dot, 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 as I'm trying to say. And so, uh, it'd be interesting to, uh, go through that. Yep. Let me see. Do, 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 do. What else? I'm, I'm skimming down this list. All right. That's not a translation, it's a rewrite. Yes. All right. 
You deleted his post and are pretending YouTube did it? I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I am, uh... Let me see... No, I, I have no clue. Mm-hmm. I'm skimming up the list and I don't see anything. Uh, okay. Um, you talking about dynamic music because I uh, installed the update and I still crashed, so I removed it and I haven't crashed yet. We'll uh, we'll see. We'll see how things work out. Yes. Said uh, when you say I know you saw what I said. Um. You have to understand something. I didn't until just now. I had to skim up. Yeah. Cloud being a silent protagonist kind of made sense. He was, yeah. He had, uh, yeah, he had, Cloud had memory problems for sure. I agree. I agree completely. Uh, half of the chat is AI bot, something like that. Yes. <laughs> Tran yeah. <laughs> Translating lines into dot, dot, dot sounds like an easy workload. Yes, yes, absolutely. I have no clue. Um, but no, I, I updated my uh, dynamic music and it still crashed. But I had to skim up. I had to scroll up to find that. So you're like, I know you saw what I said. Like, no, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? It got lost in all the other chatters. Get excited for that. My pattern recognition skills are terrible. Absolutely terrible. I, uh, if there's a chance of me missing something, it's probably like 65%. Uh, Jace. Dead internet theory? It's not a theory if it's true. I mean, it's definitely uh, gotten worse over time, that's for sure. Yep. Okay. So Zarek won't see this comment? Probably not. Alright. Okay. What else you got? I'm skimming a list. Skimming a list. Um. Um. Let me, uh. Let me look at my actual, uh, shenanigan there. I can't read binary, so I'm going to delete that just in case it's something bad. Lol. <laughs> uh, jeez. Okay. Yes. 50% uh, of posts are done by bots and AI now. Yeah. I, I heard about that. It's absolutely nuts because, uh, like, Twitter... Uh, as it is now, like, actually encourages that kind of thing. People, uh, people are paying uh, elongated muskrat money for that. Yeah. Uh, like, you said, uh, do, 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 do. have I tried those mods? I'm not sure, but you can feel free to look at the mod list and, you know. Anyway, let's just get going. We, we are going to fight orcs! Orcs! Okay. We need to hit them with uh, toxic clouds followed by fireballs. Oh, God. All my health just went away. All my health just went away. Damn. Okay. Well, that's all our health and mana. The Orcish Warlord is defeated, and I'm scared... On the verge of death, like one little bit of health lost, and we are gone. All right. Um, hmm. That's weird. It didn't translate the. Uh, um. Uh, didn't uh, restream. The uh, the chat bot just gave up on living for some reason. I don't know why. Very strange. Yeah, the, the chatbot just gave up. And I'm looking at the whole situation going, what is this? Um, 
Okay. The chatbot fixed itself. No healing spells. We got those. We're gonna we're gonna cast them in just a second. As soon as we uh, we got salve brews. Look at that! Incredible. The real answer is use ten bandages. Okay, medical skill go. Next, there should be one more orc here. Oh, that's an orcish vambrace. Hold on a second. My chain uh, is it, which which version is this? Is right? Okay, my right chain spalder is five. My orcish vambrace is thirteen. Upgrade. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. We just went from chain to orcish brigadine. <laughs> that, that is a okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Chatbot was offended by dismissive discussion of AI. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, howdy, DB. Good to see ya. You having fun? Call it, uh, sorry, were you having fun with uh, Sekiro? I know you hopped onto that uh, semi recently, but uh, yeah, dead internet theory is uh, interesting to say the least, especially now that um, we know that there are all of these outlets that are specifically uh, designed to post um, what, what do you call it? AI made articles. Like, uh, that, that's their entire function. Like, there are so many different outlets that, that, that that's all they do, is uh, just post AI articles. I need to put my shoes on. Where are my shoes? They're my shoes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, they do. They absolutely do. Okay. Mm-hmm. The combat's always fun. Cool. Yeah, there's a little less freedom in Sekiro. Uh, than there is in the other, like, Souls-likes. I found, personally. And, uh, that kind of puts me off of it. Not saying forever. Just saying compared to, you know, uh, Demon Souls and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're out and about near Blizzard employees, would you feel safe? Depends on which Blizzard employees. I uh, was friends with many of them for many years. But uh, if you mean random ones who I don't know, then the answer is, is probably not. Like, current Blizzard employees, uh, very, very questionable. But uh, the ones I knew, all but one of them turned out to be good guys. Are you American or something? Uh, what do you call it? In terms of family, I'm half Irish, half Scottish, but, uh, have lived in the United States all my life. Yeah, something like that. My goodness. Um, I've done traveling. Traveling's fun. But, uh, well, yeah, or, or something is a good way to phrase it. We're going to Tamwood. Hour and a half. Okay. Let me see here. The bot's getting its workout doing the the mod list. There we go. Uh, was this DLC original? Uh, this game originally. This game was originally going to have a sequel that took place in the Somerset Isles called Tribunal. My goodness. Mm hmm. Yes, your pure blood American speak American. Nice. Yeah, I, 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 I definitely speak American too. Your wagon is broken. Get off of the horse. Use the wagon. Get the wagon wheel. Use the wagon wheel to fix it. Mm-hmm. I used to have, uh, you know, red hair, but, uh, it turned a bit brown. Oh, there's a bear! Bear! Barely there or something. Okay. Uh, here we go. Gotta use my uh, rare symbol. This is 
what I gotta use. We got the symbol. Got him. Hell yeah, bear is defeated. Oh, we got it. We actually survived. I'm impressed. Okay. We've got full health now. No magiku. We should be fine. Have you traveled to Europe? Traveled to the UK. Um, traveled to Mexico. Uh, traveled to a few islands. Uh, have not uh, roamed Europe, unfortunately. Just uh, uh, just to the, uh, the, the 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 Isles. Oh boy. But uh, a lot of Mexico due to business. So yay. All right, we're going this way. Safe, safe. Uh, bear is defeated. We can leave now. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Tamwood. This is where we're going. Yep. Yeah, uh, originally there was going to be um, an Elder Scrolls uh, 3 called Tribunal. And it was going to take place in the Somerset Isles. And uh, it, it was going to relate to Morgaya's claim on First Hold. Like, Morgaya had, um, what do you call it? Um, wait, wait. You notice a book chained to a nearby wall with a pouch. Bilingual dictionary, target centurion, put 150 gold coins in the pouch, three hours available at a time. No. Do not care. Whoa, oh boy. Right. My goodness. Do you know how to speak Spanish in a decent way? Barely. Just enough to be a tourist. Alright. Ahem. <clears throat> Banyos and computadoras and everything is moy mall when I'm uh, trying to have a proper discussion. <clears throat> All right, let me uh, see here. Ba -ba -ba right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Do you think Elder Scrolls 6 will be better than ESO? Well, that depends on what you're looking for. If you're uh, looking for... Uh, what do you call it? Um, if you're looking for the Bethesda format, I think that it will be um, decent. I, I think that it'll be, a, it'll be a Skyrim again in terms of the, like, the game's format. Uh, if you're talking about, like, the world building and story and stuff, I don't know if it, like, what, like, how much they'll be able to use, like, because the reason Starfield's world building and storytelling is so bad is because they weren't able to lean on the world building and storytelling of Tamriel, right? Um... That, that's the reason Starfield's so awful in that regard. Like, even with Fallout, they were able to, you know, lean on the world building of, uh, what do you call it, a fa the Fallout universe. And, uh, like, Starfield was their first, like, modern Bethesda's first go at um, doing their own thing without leaning on anyone else's work. And they can't do it. <laughs> uh, magic! Thank you uh, for the donation. I do appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> you, you don't have to say anything cool. I, I appreciate the presence. All right, let's see here. Have I practiced writing? Uh, yes. Uh, is it probably pulpy trash? Most likely. But, uh, hey. Um... 
let's see what we got here. Hold on. Uh, blue. Don't need blue. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Another purple cloak. We found a second purple cloak. Yes. I've been waiting for this. More programmer sucks. All right. Mm -hmm. Went swimming with sharks once. I've never done that, believe it or not. Hmm. A uh, loincloth. Shoes. So, yeah, we're getting a different color. This is going to be great. We can be a little more blue now if we want. Ah, that's exciting. Oh, look at this, uh, this dun, uh, you call it Dark Elf Lady. She's got the wink. See? Wink. That's important. Okay. Let's get going. Yep, yep. Okay, one of these skirts as well. Mm-hmm. Let me scroll down this list and see if we can uh, change ourselves to blue. Do two of these uh, blue cloaks. And what else? Should be a... Um, surprised I don't see the... Um, that's a different shade of blue. I don't think I ever got the, the blue-green uh, top. No, I don't think I ever got the blue-green top. I had an opportunity to get it, and I don't think I picked it up. That's unfortunate. We're not going to be able to do that then. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Well, in that case, let's see about just standard blue then. If we can get a standard blue top. That would be, yeah, st standard blue top would do it. Let's try one of these. Put that on, go with those, and uh, some blue cloak. Excellent. This is definitely not out of the ordinary whatsoever. Okay. De definitely no issues there. Uh, anyway. What was I saying? Yeah, I, I didn't end up getting a, a green, a blue green top. So no, no options for that. Yep. Yep, top, top quality socks. Very important. But no, I was looking at the blue-green here and thinking if we could get like a, a matching blue-green, uh, like a top, that'd be best. But I don't think that's going to happen. So let's uh, get out of here. We're going down this way. We got uh, smacked pretty hard by those orcs. We might need to rest in the dirty porcupine for a couple hours. What a great place to visit. Let's see if we can nab anything here. Hold on. The local is chopping firewood. Those are some peaches. I'm looking around at the different uh, shops here to see if there's anything I can nab. And I don't think, yeah, I don't see any potions or anything. That's uh, a, a quick uh, grab and run. So I think we're just going to go back to the uh, tavern here. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's, uh, yeah, top quality content, obviously. There you go. The blue slash blue green. Yeah, it works. It works, I guess. Uh, hello there, Mr. Wickton. I need your room for uh, just a... Yeah, is it, the room is free due to Heart's Day. It's, it's Heart's Day, everybody. That's awesome. Okay. Well... That uh, saves us some problems. Hmm. Okay. Pretty good, all things considered. Let me uh, figure things out. Very good, very good, very good. Hmm. Happy Hearts Day! Mm hmm. So we're gonna sleep for a couple hours. Uh, yeah. I'd say three hours should do it. And that gets our stamina up. Our blunt weapon and destruction skills have increased. Hell yeah. We are now stuck and cannot leave. It's, it's great. This is exactly what I wanted. I, I love not being able to leave. So if I want to crouch, that's uh, right there. So I do that, and I crouch through the door. 
Got it. Mm, why are we not running? What, what? Oh, there we go. Fixed it. Is Sotha still the best? Yes. But then he's also, if you, uh... He's the best if you account for ESO. If you don't account for ESO, he's the least. As in, he doesn't exist. Yep, the room's so small you gotta crouch through the door. It's true. Now, it's the bed. The bed is an issue. The bed is, uh, like, right on top of everything. Uh, bu 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 Okay... Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 wait. EA Play subscription. Lol. What? EA Play uh, instant access to Command & Conquer 2? That is hilarious. Okay, so. Uh, let, let, me, let me hear. There's apparently a thing going on. What did they say? Uh, bu 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 bu. Here we go. Rip to anyone who launched a game in the last approximately 48 hours. EA just dropped 15 classic titles at once and completely took over the front page. Even worse, half aren't actually available to purchase. They're a part of a subscription. Wow, that is awful. Imagine someone, like an indie developer, spent like four years on a game and then went to release it. And then EA just, uh, like, took over the top slots immediately on the front page. And nobody sees their new game. Because they re-released, re-released the old games. Oh, jeez. That's, uh, I mean, I, I went ahead and I bought the uh, Command & Conquer Ultimate Collection because that's awesome. But, uh, I can see why that guy's pissed. I really can. Yeah. Well, it's a freezing. We're going out. We're no longer over encumbered. Actually, hold on. Let's, uh, let's waste a little more time in here. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Uh, I need some food. Give me the ch the Breton pork sausage. That That's what I want. Mm hmm. Okay, then we need uh, uh, herbal tea. The Breton pork sausage and the herbal tea. We're out of here. Absolutely. Let's go. Save the game. Mm-hmm. What's next? Why do people play EA games? Well, I mean... I want Command & Conquer Tiberian Sun and Renegade. And I got both of those games in a bundle. I'm happy. Coppercroft Court. We're going there. Three hours. Yes. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, well, SimCity 3000 uh, is pretty good. But um, I think City Skylines with mods is my go-to city builder. I should play uh, SimCity on the Super Nintendo at some point, just for funsies. That'd be uh, hilarious. The intro for SimCity on the Super Nintendo is pretty good. Uh, let's let's pull it up for uh, fun, I say, as I accidentally closed that. Okay. Uh... No, hold on. It was... I'm just going to pull open the intro for SimCity on the SNES, because I like it. Uh, that should... Do it. There's everything but the intro. Like, so, so much. There, there we go. I found it. Come on. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, let's get going. Take me away to Copper Cro Coppercroft Court. Yep, yep.
It's night time. I'm gonna start freezing. Mm -hmm. A flock of bats have interrupted your travel. Go, batty. Mm, yes. Oh no! 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 We killed two bats with our magic. But we have to be careful because there are always more. We will take their fangs. Their fangs are mine. We're getting out of here. I say. Continuing the journey. Oh god, stop it. Stop it. Uh, yeah, stop. Turn off lantern. We can continue now. Don't want to have my lantern burn out or run out of oil. Okay. Mm hmm. World ends with you. Never played him. Sounds interesting, though. I uh, gotta say, I did not install the Cricket Shut Up mod, but I am downloading it now. Cr Cricket Shut Up. Daggerfall Unity. Here we go. Well, hello. What's this? My stomach rumbles. Camp? I think we found a camp. There's a guy here. Is, is this Coppercroft Court? No, this is just a little uh, area in the middle of nowhere. What the hell? Uh, hello, sir. These guys have nothing to say to me. Interesting. Well, if they have nothing to say to me, would they be willing to give up their fish? The answer is yes. Okay. There's a guy over here. This house doesn't seem to have... Yeah, I can't, can't enter here. Hmm. Climb! Climbing mode. Nothing there. That hurt. Okay. Yeah, we need to raise the volume on the crickets. Okay, shut the damn crickets up. Here it is. Uh, do, 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 do. Got it. Okay, downloading. Shut the crickets up now. And I'm going to go ahead and add that to the mod list. Give me a second. I'm making an edit. Edit. Um... It shut up crickets. And, uh... Alright, I've gone ahead and I've updated the mod list to include shut up crickets. We're going to save on camp. We're going to go ahead and exit the game. And now I'm going to install it. Give me just a second to finish uh, doing that right now. Just going to take a moment. Uh, yes. So... Uh, do, 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 do. I think I downloaded it to my, yeah, my downloads folder, streaming assets, sound, ambient crickets. Okay. So all I have to do is go streaming assets, sounds, um, yeah, sound, and then ambient crickets dot wave. And now there should be a blank sound file where the crickets should be. And uh, that's it. That, that, should, that should be everything. So let me uh, move some stuff around. Uh, we should be good to go in a moment. I'm just going to relaunch the game. It, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm going to remind myself how to relaunch the game. Ha, ha. Where the hell is my file? It should be... Yeah, I'm closing all of my uh, win, uh, we call it file manager windows. Uh, ha have managed to uh, not accidentally open a, uh, a, a fan art window uh, containing all the, uh, the, the, the pornographies yet. Um, I, I believe that happened to... Well, what's his name? The... Uh, um, that one streamer man who I've never watched, but people were laughing at him. Um, let me see here. Um, who, who's Tamamo? Uh, so, Tamamo 
is uh tamamo is uh you know tamamo is uh um uh, uh tamamo yes it's uh tamamo said he showed a a, a lolly folder don't, i don't have any of those um Possible I'd end up downloading something weird like uh, if I if I pull this one open like this is a this is a Shantae image you know stuff like that um like d dubious proportioned characters maybe but uh, nothing that outright looks like a child that that that's not something I'm interested in at all in fact I'm rather repulsed by by it so you know that that you won't be finding me having a folder like that. Sorry. Not even a bit. Uh let's see. Uh stopping by the channel. <laughs> uh let's see. Got you tomorrow. Awesome. Uh yeah, yeah. We we were talking about uh me memory and, and some um um what do you call it? Uh uh, uh call it uh some people who uh who accidentally showed their uh, their fan art folders and stuff, you know? That there you go. Um, was gonna say that. Um, no, no, I, I don't have. Uh, I, I have. I have folders with questionable shit in it. I just don't have anything that 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 person had. I'm pretty sure based on the memes that I've been told. Whoa, boy! Let me finish relaunching the game. I, I want to play more Daggerfall. This is taking a moment. Give me a sec. Ahem. Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, yes. Well, I'd say my favorite. If I if I had to pick a favorite figurine, I would have to be Barrow Key Tier. Uh, the wait is over, Tenno. Barrow Key Tier has arrived. I only accept one currency, Oricon Ducats. If I had to pick another one, I'd go with Ulfric Stormquack. You know the the he's got his scar and everything you can see right there. He's yeah, that's Ulfric Stormquack. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, th those are all good. Uh, now let me actually see about launching the game. I uh, may have done a lot of silly things. Okay, scrolling down. Yes. Do 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 do. We're in a launch game now. Good. Yeah, it's the Tamamo picture, you know. Um, let me see here. Before we do anything else, you were asking about the thing, and it was... Um, um, okay, I, I got it. Your feelings for her are not real. They are real to me! There you go. That, 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 that's the meme there, right there, yeah. Your feelings for her are not real. They are real to me! There you go. Um, that's, that's <laughs> mm. uh, I've never worn a suit on stream, believe it or not. Um, but they they are uh, tailored garments made to go together. <laughs> but um, if you're asking about a uh, about dress shirts and ties. Uh, which are components of suits, but do not a suit make. Um, I would recommend making sure that the clothes you wear are in your size. People very often um, complain about, um, what do you call it? Uh, they complain about um, like their clothes not fitting well. And, well, I mean, a, a secret is don't button the top button. The, the tie will hold it together. Just, like, don't, don't button the top button if it's uncomfortable. Easy peasy. But th there are people who talk about all the time, well, like, I suspect what's actually going on is people don't wear formal clothing very often. And so they, they gain weight. Or they grow bigger, and then they try to put on something they bought like three or four years ago, and it doesn't fit. I th I think that's what's happening with people. Yes, 
That that that's my suspicion. Anyway, hey, yeah, let's let's go grab the fish and get out of here. We're running, we're running, we're getting out of here. Let's go. Save. Yes. Okay, we're going to co uh, Singbrone should do it. It's how far away? Twenty-two minutes. Let's do it. You missed the crickets. Yes. Well, the cr the crickets are now a blank sound file. <laughs> I replaced them. <laughs> uh, Jace. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, it's Hearts Day. Free in rooms. Yes. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Hello, sir. Room for the night. That'll be zero gold pieces. You've bartered it down to that. Well, now. This is fine. Yes. Perfect. Mm-hmm. The room is free due to Heart's Day. That's right. Okay, let's go take a nap. Uh, hello there. Let's, let's talk to this nice lady. Sorry for disturbing you. I was hoping you could you'd be on your way to Singbrone. Uh, cousin, uh, sorry, I can't, I can't do it. Like, she wanted me to go to Sing Brone. I said, no. We're gonna take a nap. We're napping till morning. It's like 3 a.m. right now. It's a little too early to go, so. Uh, let's go ahead and cast, uh... Salve Bruise. And then rest until fully healed. And it'll be like 8 a.m. It should be 8 a.m. This should be great... Hello there, food, bread and cheese, and herbal tea. Do, how many hours do I have on average? I do not have a tracker, sorry. I can tell you my hours in other games, but I do not have a Daggerfall hour tracker, so I could not tell you. Rusty Relics, here we go, hello. I'd like to sell you some junk. Uh, yes, indeedy. I'm gonna sell this man, um, Ah, uh, Lucifer. Thanks for subscribing. Drink anything special? Nah, just coffee. Uh, coffee and some energy drinks. You know, basically, uh, uh, an injection of adrenaline. Just, just, just put that adrenaline right in there, right in those veins. You know, that's it. Uh, pro uh, yeah, procedurally generated quests in Daggerfall. Correct. Um, the difference between Daggerfall, uh, procedural generation and, say, Starfield procedural generation is whereas Starfield goes, go to location and kill target, this one pops up with, like, a full page of text that says, go, go do this thing for this reason, and, you know, like, it, it gives you some pretty, uh, pretty nice fluff text, which is important. Very important. Mm-hmm. Okay. There we go. Uh-huh. Perfect, perfect. So, yes, yes, we, we are A-okay. I uh, should probably turn off the lantern, though. Don't need that. So, access the wagon, sell the swords. Uh, the steel staves are nice. We're going to get rid of the worn one. So, we have three steel sa staves for later. That's 300 uh, golds. I want to check to see if there's anything else I want to sell. All the meat. I'm selling you all the meat. Yes. I I, I am a, I am a very practiced in selling meat. Okay, then. Let's uh, get going. Mm. Buy bandages. Fluff text is... Very important. We're buying more bandages. 
Yeah, as long as they have bandages to sell, I will buy them. I'm checking every corner of the store. Mm-hmm. Okay. You were talking about your eyes popping out of the screen? You, you meant the Dunmer lady, right? Like, yeah. Look, look at her winky face. Winky face. Do, 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 do. Yep. They're, they're definitely picked from a preset. However, there are mods that add a whole ton of extra quests. Tons and tons and tons of extra quests. So if you're asking, oh, uh, does... Yeah. Whoop, here we go. We're traveling this way. Save there. We're traveling... Wait, that's north. My bad. Uh, not a dumbner, nope. Not even a bit. We're gonna cut cross to Bale Castle. It's like two hours away. We're going cross wilderness until we, uh, reach it. Because we could take the roads, but I don't want to take the roads. Are throwing stars viable? No. There are no, uh, throwing stars in this. I understand, though. It's pretty funny. Uh, here is a Morrowind shitpost. Get ready for it. Morrowind shitpost, everybody. This is Happy Women's Day. Okay? There, there you go. Okay. Yep. Yep, so, um, honestly, if you have the opportunity, you should enchant, um, Amalexia into a pair of pants. You there, I must speak with you! My name is Sir Fernbrook, and I am a traveling knight looking for the greatest warriors in the land. I fought my entire life, and with every battle, I've wanted to die a warrior's death. Some may see it as a blessing to live another day, but I would rather go out uh, in battle than die of old age in some cottage. Uh, the only thing I have left is my love of battle. I'll get straight to the point. I'd like to duel you to the death. You seem like a capable warrior. Please give me the chance to die with honor. Yes, I will fight the knight. May our battle be legendary. Okay. We need to immediately get equipped. We are now equipped. Okay. Are we, uh, do we got everything else? Yeah, we're fine. We're gonna, gonna get off our horse. And whoa, you shooting at me? Uh, a duel to the death. Not, not, no A. No A in this, it's death. Let's do it. Okay. So, let's go. Arrows! Bam. This has got way too much health. This is nuts. Mm-hmm. Wrapping the outfit mod doesn't exist as far as I've been able to tell. I asked uh, Kamer about it, and he hasn't seen anyone use it in ages. Okay. Come on. We're going to hit him with fireballs in just a second. Damn right. This is where the fun begins. Death indeed. I'm hurt. That's it. Combat maneuver. Uh. Potion to heal true. And healing. This should do it. Okay. We got this. And toxic cloud time. Resisted. 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 As you strike them down, the knight takes their final breath. With a smile, they pass into the afterlife. I get their loot. 
A holy dagger. That's worth like 2,500. Cool. We got some chain gauntlets. Those are actually worse than our brigadine gauntlets. Wow. Uh, don't care about the pauldrons a whole lot, but uh, I'll gladly take all this loot. Hell yeah. Over encumbered. We are unfortunate. No, oh, no. Night. Uh, yeah, dead. Uh, not clear. Uh, tried to resuscitate. Unfortunate. Eat the bread. Cannot eat the bread. What a shame. Uh, let's go ahead and put these in the wagon. What else is weighing down heavy on me? I'm lo looking around, looking. I'm like, it's, it's got to be all the fish I picked up. Used. Bad condition fish. What a shame. Um, I'm just going to put those away as well. It's weighing me down. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Let's re-equip our cloaks. And we are good to go. Let's go back and loot the knight. Mm -hmm. The mo most sus mod. Oh, you don't know about the anime mod? Uh, uh, hold, hold on. You don't know about uh, the Daggerfall Weeb Overhaul. Oh no. Like the Daggerfall Weeb Overhaul is serious business. Yes. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of nudity, so I, I couldn't click on the other ones, yes. But, uh, yeah, the, the other ones are very, very nudity. But, but yeah, yeah. There you go. This is the Daggerfall Weeb Overhaul there. <laughs> okay. Uh, jeez. Unfortunately, they added uh, lower, like, it, if you take off the clothes on uh, female or uh, male or female character, the the bottom is uh, Barbie dolled, right? In um, in the um, um, in uh, the the weeb overhaul, they actually show the uh, the parts because someone really wanted. Uh, you know, fully detailed, uh, you know, reproductive organs. So, um, what they ended up doing is, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, like, their, their only mod to censor it just adds, like, a pixelation filter, which makes it look pretty, pretty damn suspect. Uh, jeez. Okay, we're good to go. Mm-hmm. The term paper doll. It, but, tabletop. Like, just... Ta ta tabletop video games. Don't you ever have... Like, a uh, little... Uh, what do you call it? That's where it came from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Whoops. We need those shoes. Give me the shoes. There we go. That's better. Um, can, can we get black shoes, maybe? Hold, hold on. Let me look at the different shoe types. Let's try this one. Let's try these. And okay. There we go. That's awful enough. I love it. Okay. What else? What else? Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, what do we got next? We're heading, we're going to follow the road, I guess, east. Always to the east. We defeated the knight, so that's good. We travel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahem. Hold on a second. Um, okay, I'm reading this. The gaming industry would be better off if everyone collectively ignored Reddit. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about that? 
Uh, no business shirt subspecial. What are you talking about? What the hell are you going on about? All right. Um. Wait, wait, I gotta go back this way. And Tweeter. I thought I thought elongated muskrat killed Tweeter. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. Hmm, these are some casual pants. Wow. Already very casual pants, all right. Buy a bandage there. Uh, can we get the spiked one we had back earlier? Hold on, let me, let me look for uh, spikes. Um... Let's try this one. I really like this. That's unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> uh, most unfortunate. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's go. Mm, bandage. Okay, what else? Do, 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 do. I don't see anything else I care about here. So let's just... Uh... Wait, this shelf. Ah, six bandages. That's worth it. We actually found something worth uh, running up here for, yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't understand buying new games when you found old games, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I've said this before. I have enough games that I could play a new game, uh, you know, like beginning to end the, for the rest of my life and not get bored. That said, obviously, I play a fair deal of live services, and I play a fair deal of, uh, you know, old, uh, what do you call it, uh, new-ish games that um, I probably, um, I I'm not that concerned, like, uh, so occasionally I buy a new game. That, uh, But what I'm trying to say is that I don't feel the need to buy a new game just because it's new. I will generally wait a few weeks and or months to buy a new game. Unless it's something I really feel like I uh, like need to play for the social experience, you know? Mm -hmm. FTL's fun. Uh, there's some great mods for FTL as well. Yes. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, I think... Let's see. Purple? Purple's good. Yeah. Purple's good. The longest gotcha you done dailies in. Genshin Impact. Because I've done, like, three dailies in it. Uh... What do you call it? Yeah, it, <clears throat> you know, uh, it's official that I do like Genshin Impact's uh, world and characters. I just am utterly unwilling to do like daily stuff in it. That's all. Um, so you know, I haven't played it in years at this point, but um, I would be interested in revisiting it at some point. Yes. Alright. Uh, my wife got me this amber uh, figure at, at one point. Yeah. It's uh, pretty well executed. Uh, there you go. But no, um, I, I, like, I, uh, I hopped into Mega Man X Dive briefly before hopping back out of it when I realized how gotcha dependent it was. <laughs> Um, 
Let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. We got. Yeah, we got to get down there to the cavern. It's 13 hours away, but we can head uh, over right now. We're going to go east. We're traveling east. It said Genshin Impact needs more culture mods. I saw those mods and I thought, oh my, I like those. I will never use them. That was my, um, yeah. Seriously, that, that that was my reaction. Like, oh my, those are good Genshin Impact mods we'll never use. <laughs> but uh, I haven't played Genshin Impact outside of uh, Cultivation in years. For those who don't know, Cultivation is a launcher that uh, sets up and runs a private server called Grass Cutters, which is basically just a... Um, a Genshin Impact private server. I messed around with that a bit. But, uh... Oh, uh, we got orcs! Orcs! One stuck on the wagon. That's funny. Orcs, where are they? Yoinky boinky. Orcs. Okay. Fuck! Gotta cast a fireball. Damn. Try again. Uh, jeez, come on. Woo-wee! That was, uh... Not great. Anyway. Uh, orc's blood, pearl, leather helmet. We got some loot. Hell yeah. What else? Lots of orc's blood. Uh, that orc sergeant had... Uh, that was a person. There was, there was a dead person there. Who would have thunk it? Okay, can I uh, have some fish? No, we're not hungry enough for that. Go figure. All right. Persistent dungeons. Um, I don't know how well they'd work. I mean, there are enough dungeons to keep you busy for the rest of your... Uh, uh, your, your game, uh, but still, it would be, it would take a, I imagine it would have an issue there, yes. Uh, an issue or two, you said you completed a rescue mission where you killed a Dark Brotherhood assassin, will this affect your reputation? I don't know. That, that is, that is a very good question. I would be interested in finding out the answer. I don't know if your reputation got put into the negative or if it's just still at zero. There are save file inspectors you can use to determine uh, what all the internal values are. But I don't know. The honest truth is I have no clue. So, uh, would be something to check out for sure. I think if you check out the Lysandus' Tomb Discord server, you might be able to kind of, uh, you know, figure it out with the help of some other people there. Lysandus' Tomb is the uh, unofficially official um, server for Daggerfall Unity. Oh, we got a pawn shop. And it's one of the higher grade ones, meaning that they probably have good stuff, and I probably can't afford any of it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, fish. Uh, hello, Mr. Pawn Shop Man. I'd like to sell you all the, the, the meat. I'm sure you'd want to, yes, uh, tr trade in some uh, meat and fish. Don't know how well you'll be able to do with that. Uh, not that that is... That is not good. I'm not selling you anything. Wait, what's this? Vernacular of the lower classes. That's how you get the streetwise skill uh, raised. That's uh, pretty funny. All right. Mm, them there, lower classes. Wouldn't know a whole lot about them, would I? Okay. What else? I remember King Edwear called them the drinking classes. That yeah, was pretty funny. Mm, right. Hello. 
Bandages, I'll take them. Got some enchanting powder, not doing that. Steel brigadine, steel, no, I don't know any steel brigadine. Checking the different uh, shelves. More bandages, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm looking for uh, like a, a staff or something, yes. Okay. Go, go, go. Nothing in there, we're done. We got plenty of bandages. Probably need to bandage up our own wounds soon. Yeah. This guy, you try to sell to him and he just kind of rips you off. So we're not doing that. Crap. Uh, cloak. Yes. Very good. The archaeologist guilds have a uh, base here. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Weird antique shops. A naked build? Yes. You absolutely can do that. You don't have to wear any clothes at all in this game. It is not required. No, a second. Well, refill our water. Let's go. Need to figure out where we're going from here. We just need to continue east. We're going to cut across to Stockworth Manor. I figure. Yep. Let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually uh, downloaded the quote-unquote fixed version, and it still crashed. So I disabled it completely, and I haven't had a crash since. Yep. Okie dokie. We're going this way. Onwards and sideways. How can Daggerfall be fun? This is a chill game for me. I kick back. I relax. I'm talking to chat. I'm wearing pink cat ears. Obviously, everything is uh, perfect. All right, we're gonna get off the road and then we're gonna go manually across. Instead of uh, going north, we're gonna go directly to Stockworth. Uh, just cutting across the uh, wilderness there. Yep. Whoa, adventurers. Oh, they're friendly. They killed a werewolf. Crazy. They're probably gonna be werewolves themselves. I don't wanna deal with that. Uh, let's just go. Let's keep, keep, keep cutting across that wilderness. Uh, the best fantasy life simulator. Yeah, I haven't seen anything that comes close. That's for sure. Do I enjoy Daggerfall or Marwyn more? I enjoy Daggerfall more, but uh, it's it's a very very casual. Oh God, we just arrived in a dungeon. We trespassers beware. We just randomly stumbled across a dungeon, and it's not the one we need to go to. Hmm. I see, I see. Let's go check it out. Sure, there are no problems here. New, done, gone. We just stumbled upon it in the wilderness. Yep. Mm hmm. New dungeon. Ratsies. Rat rats ace. That's right. Evil darkens the corridors. What? Evil. What's this loot? Oh, earring, sapphire ring. We're getting some good loot here. Hell yeah! Turn on those torches. Turn on that campfire. Wait. Hell yeah! We got a campfire. Let's, uh, let's rest for two hours. Get our, uh, stats up a bit. Yeah. Jumping, dodging, critical strike, restoration. Hell yeah. All right. New, new done gone too. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Oblivion XP is, uh, what I use when I play Oblivion. But I haven't played Oblivion in some time. So you may want to ask other people. They might have alternative ideas 
for how uh, they want to deal with Oblivion's leveling system. I haven't played Oblivion in some time. I tried to play it semi-recently. Uh, I do not have smaller dungeons turned on. I know the uh, most of the modules by heart. So, like, a, a module, for example, if we pull up the map here, you can tell, like, that there... If you look at it from top down... Imagine that there are these uh, vertical blocks, and this is one module, and then it connects to a another module, which would be another vertical block, and then another module, which would be another vertical block, and so on. And so everything, like, uh, everything, un when you understand what this room is, you'll know immediately what's down here, what's down there, and what's up above it. It's, um, you know... Ba, ba, ba. Mm -hmm. You hope there'll be uh, mods to add modules. I, that'd be nice, but uh, so far, uh, just changing up the monster and loot spawns seem to be good enough for me. That's for sure. Oh, jeez. Hello there. Whoop. That is a, uh, not a nice person. Yep, that is, that is a warrior. Okay. Damn. Yeah, I ain't, ain't, ain't doing anything to that. Crap. Dual wielding monkey man. Okay, we're gonna use toxic clouds. He missed. Missed again. I'm gonna be using up this symbol. Yeah, I don't have any more charges on it. I'm about to die. Let's try fireball. Damn. Woo, that was painful. Okay, um... We're on the verge of death. We're gonna come back to this dungeon later, I think. Um... But we're definitely not gonna be able to hang out here for now. So, uh... Yeah. Look at, look at my health and mana. I'm, I'm on the verge of death here, so... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the other room and I'm gonna use the campfire to sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna rest at the campfire, and then we're gonna run outside after that. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, that barbarian was shrunk. That's for sure. Let's uh, get going. I think. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're good to go. Let's give ourselves some, um, what do you call it? The two cloaks, one and, let's actually unequip both of these cloaks, uh, put them in our wagon, and then we'll go back over and, uh, yeah, there we go. Now they're in, they're together where I can easily get them. The hell? Where'd the blue one go? I'm, I'm sure, yeah, I, I had the blue cloaks. There we go. It's, uh, purple. There we go. That's better. Brigadine. Let's put away the rest. Anything else we need to worry about? I don't think so. Just making sure we clear out our inventory a bit. That should do it. One, three, nine, five. We're set. Save, go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This, this area is starting to weigh down heavy on me, so I'm going to eat a cooked fish, and then I'm going to get the hell out of here. Yeah, we're leaving. So, uh, that was a fun little uh, adventure we went on. Found a dungeon and everything. I'm going to Stockworth Moor where we're going to take a nap. We're out of here. Yep. Mm-hmm. As I understand it, the dungeons here are ancient. And, uh, that's fine. Like, they're they're co-opting existing tunnels from long ago because uh hammer uh so high rock is in such a a dire state where they can't um they can't really commission the building of new things too much so they're just kind of relying on old things uh ban D ban deet o's uh yeah, ba banditos. We're gonna be fighting the bandits here. 
Here we go. Uh, on. There we go. That could have been... Oh, God, there's so many of them. My, okay, I managed to kill one of them. One of them. With the toxic clouds. Okay, the second one's down. I think we, we got one more to go. Yeah. Rogue Riders are dead. Victory is mine. This is going to be a lot of loot. Yeah. Very good. Mummy wrappings. That's nice. Uh, my wagon's all the way back over here. This is fine, though. We got all kinds of fancy pants loot. That steel helm is, uh, pretty good. So, a as I was saying, do that. Go back over here. Oops. Didn't mean to put those away. I meant to equip them. Ah, ah, equip, equip. Equip. Good. Let's go, uh, grab... But I heard something. Must have been my imagination. Okay. Let's go. Uh, we should have our wagon accessible. Yes. Clothes can go away now. We should be fine. Yeah, we're set. Okay. Can you fight mounted? Uh, it's difficult. You're not that mobile. Like, as far as uh, going left or right. Like, I can't strafe. Uh, I'd have to kind of go forward and back in weird ways. Oh, by the way, did anyone hear? Uh, this is kind of a new uh, thing going on. Uh, according to DB... Uh, here we go. Check this shit out. WB is at it again. Now, they are making their Adult Swim Games division delist a ton of games. Then refusing some of these devs' requests to obtain full ownership. Link to story. In this tweet's reply. That page has links to the games. If you want them before delisting. That's unfortunate because uh, Wasted is a great game. I love Wasted. It's uh, Fallout. Here, hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me let me pull it up. Like th this is uh, one of the games they're delisting. It's it's really good. It's like uh, Fallout Borderlands. It's 1980, and the world is in shambles thanks to a nuclear war. Somehow, only the dumbest humans survived, and you are one of them. What's your damage? So watch your back. Everyone's trying to kill each other because everyone's all hopped up on radioactive booze. You get wasted. Or you get wasted trying. One more thing. Toilet paper is now currency. Radiation totally gave everyone the run. Wasted. Coming June. Yeah. So, Wasted is a really good game. I've, uh... What do they call it? Uh, the the issue is that it's um, going to be removed from uh, Steam and other places. Like War Warner Brothers is basically uh, is it Warner Brothers? It's EA. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, Warner Brothers is uh, making Adult Swim Games Division delist their games, basically. So it's um, uh, there you go. I, I linked it in chat. The uh, the game. And my response was, ahem, here. Wasted is a great video game. It's a shame I'm going to have to recommend everyone get it in alternative ways now. Alternative ways, everybody. Uh, you, you guys know about alternative ways, right? Uh, yeah, like I don't normally advocate piracy. I really don't, unless they force me to. Like, I, I really think people should, you know, buy the games that they want to play. But, you know, when you, when, you, when you delist your games and say, you can't buy those anymore, there's only one option for people. It just, you know, it's the only way to preserve games. You, they don't want your money, apparently. Not, not for this. They want you to buy their newest garbage. Yep. 
with uh, absolutely nuts. Yep, yep. Yo ho fiddly d. Yep. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yep, no alternative. All right. Uh, we switch to Mamos to the burger one. Hmm. Okay. So, uh. Yep. They're delisting all those games, so once they're off, nobody can buy them. Yeah. It's true. I'll go ahead and link my post. So you can get at it if you want. Um. Uh, there it is. Okay, th this is the post he linked, so you should be able to get at the uh, pictures there. Yep, yep. Okay. So they'll have some kind of streaming service for it? That that <laughs> sounds awful. That just sounds incredibly bad. Well, new Dungon. It's not new Dungon. It's Guild for Stealing. Yeah, we're going this way. Mm hmm. Okay. We're traveling through the night. Gonna head to a town. Our goal is to get to the dungeon as quickly as possible. Uh, you know uh, some Steam games can't be launched without the Steam client. Correct. Absolutely correct. Unfortunate. Um... You said same for Epic. Uh, Epic Games is uh, definitely an issue. Uh, you said uh, Warner Brothers. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Wait, we've arrived in Stockworth Moor. So I wonder if we should hang out here in Stockworth Moor or continue on down south. I think we should head on down south. Clockwork City better than Arsenium? I don't... Outside of Sothasil's speech at the end, I would say absolutely not. Not even a bit. Uh, but, I mean, Sothasil is, like, heavily inspired by Children of Dune's Paul Atreides, so... Um, oh, interesting. This guy's looking for... Uh, he's patrolling the town at night. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm going to go this way now. It should take me south. Let's go. There are enemies nearby, it says. I don't think there are any enemies nearby. I'm going to, yep, continue south. That's fine. Oh, the new Fallout um, series. I mean, I uh, I think, uh, actually, I set this up here. I'll, I'll show you my social media uh, list here. Hold on. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Get, give me a second. I know it's here somewhere. Uh, buh, buh. Go to settings and privacy. And then under settings and privacy, I believe I had a mutant block list. <laughs> And so, um, let me, I, there's a lot of ones that I don't want to show you guys because they bring up shenanigans, but, uh, let me, uh, see here. Hmm, interesting. Fallout TV show was on my list of, uh, mute, uh, muted words, but I don't see it there anymore. That's very strange. It got removed. Oh, well. Is what it is. I I had uh, I had it set up so that the Fallout TV show isn't listed on my um what do you call it uh, um isn't listed on any feeds that I go through. So if like uh it, it just skips those posts entirely, mentioning the Fallout TV show. I don't expect for new um. For new TV shows, or adaptations, I should say, I don't expect them to be faithful to the source material. People, um, people get a little uppity when a 
particular um, piece of media isn't faithful to what they are a fan of, right? But, like, for example, like, a Lord of the Rings adaptation. I don't expect it to be faithful to the source material. A Halo series, I don't expect it to be faithful. I expect that they are aiming for a completely different audience that had nothing to do with the original. And they made these series specifically to try to draw in new people. Uh, using the uh, leveraging the brand name as a security to, to get a certain number of people um, there. So what I did personally is um, I've uh, stopped giving a shit about adaptations. I'm sure that we'll end up watching them and that's fine. Like I'm sure uh, my wife and I will sit down and end up watching Fallout together. But I don't actually... Um, I, I don't actually care. Uh, whoop. Anyway, let's see here. Do, 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 do. It's one of those, I'll watch it when I watch it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Let's see. A chronic case of current audience. Lol. That's pretty funny. Okay. I mean, people will be angry about it, and people will like it. But at the end of the day, I'll form my own opinion when it's actually out, as opposed to now when it's not. Like... I only have so much mind share, you know what I mean? To give over to shit that's not out yet. And everyone wants uh, an opinion on something I don't care about. <laughs> that's really what it comes down to. I mean, here's the thing. So, I'm uh, cautiously optimistic about the next Final Fantasy XIV expansion pack called Dr Dawn Trail. But, uh, yeah. Um, that's about it. Like, I, I've got enough stuff for now. So, I, I can't really, uh, I can't really think, like, it's something that's coming out that I am excited for. I, I don't know. It's seven hours to the target. We're going there. Did I like the principal? Yeah. I actually did. It wasn't a great movie. Actually, it was one of those, like, I, I point and laugh at it movies. What well, was the Prince of Persia movie? I, I liked it ironically. That, like, the Prince of Persia movie. It, it was it was bad fun. but But emphasis on the fun part, you know? That's the best way to explain it. Okay. We're going. The music changed. I wonder, did we run into something? We ran into the old Copsley place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Uh, you know, kind of like how people watch, like, Mystery Science Theater 3000 and they laugh at the bad movies. Um, that, that, that was me in the, uh, the Prince of Persia movie. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. But yeah, like people are like hinging on new stuff. So it's going to be very interesting. Like when Dra Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out, I'm going to start playing Dragon's Dogma 1. And uh, people are going to get uppity about that too. Huh, there's a stag here. Hold on. Good. Uh, hello there. Do, 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 do. We're gonna drink our herbal tea. Let's go. Yep, yep. 
I uh, I played some Dragon's Dogma back on uh, when I borrowed uh, the PlayStation for a brief amount of time. I will never own the PlayStation, most likely, but I borrowed it a couple times. What with the Bloodborne and the uh, the, the Dragon's Dogma, but um, I haven't uh, played it all the way through yet. Anyway. I said, what's wrong with it? Uh, just people are like, you gotta, like, I, I want to know your opinion on latest things so I can see if I should purchase latest thing. That's that's the way people have been lately. Good. Let's go. I am not that person, usually. I, I typically will not, uh... Yeah, I will typically not be um, the first to try, first to buy. How do you get so many people that... I don't know. Like, but people want my opinion. They get pissy when I, uh, I don't have an opinion on latest thing. Yeah. It's funny. We're going to have another uh, drink of tea real quick. We're going to each of these places. Excuse me, sir. I need more tea. Get, 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 give me more tea. Mint tea, yes. Mm-hmm. Validate me, exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. They like my one opinion and get mad when I have other opinions? Yes. But I like weird shit. And do I play Kingsfield? Kingsfield 1 is too antiquated for me. Kingsfield 2, I am chipping away at. I, I have access to it, but it is... Uh, again, I'm, I'm chipping away at it slowly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do -do. You have learned to wait a year before buying anything? Yes, but that's not going to put you in the trending tab. Be a good little consumer. Yes. Lune Acid is good. Oh, no! Oh, no! They're dregs! Dregs! Fuck! Oh, no! Oh, this hurts. Got a, got a toxic cloud, this. Got... Uh, Okay, here we go. Don't want to get hit anymore. Still get hit. Yep. Look at that damage. That's crazy. That that's a lot of damage. Okay, uh. Yeah. Okay, killed one droog. Come on. Now nah, I'm gonna have to use fireballs to finish this off. Yep. Uh, toxic cloud, go! That didn't work. Fireball, fireball, fireball. Fireball. Wow. Okay, money! Who would have thought they would have money? Mm-hmm. Yes. Almost like it. Is it Droog or Dreg? So, uh, it's probably Droog. However, the, uh, voice actor in Oblivion called them Dregs. Noting that the voice actors in Oblivion never got proper voice direction and were given the file names to use. So, um, as far as that goes, uh, let's see. I think it was I, um, Oblivion. I'm checking the Oblivion line really quick because that one, that one's fun. Yes, uh, should be right here. Yes, it should be this one. You 
look like someone who's comfortable in heavy armor. Good day. They heard that thieves broke into the Arcane University, the Imperial Legion compound, and the temple all on the same night. Wait a minute, let me do that one again. I heard that thieves broke into the Arcane University, the Imperial Legion compound, and the temple all on the same night. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, yes, indeed. Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah. That should do it. Ahem. <laughs> Moving along. Yeah, Kenshi's a little, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to Kenshi 2 maybe being less janky than Kenshi 1. That's for sure. A little less busted. Okay. Whoa, sound director? You're... Wait, wait, wait. Are you assuming that they had a director dedicated to for sound? What? That's not... Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but, uh... Y you are wrong. Very, very wrong. We're traveling through the wilderness. Gonna run out of stamina at this rate. Also on the verge of death in terms of health. Here we go. Mm-hmm. It's a big burger, yes. Had a couple of those. Yep. Bloom. Uh. Bloom. Intensity. Let's go. Mm -hmm. We did it. We've arrived at our destination. This is the dungeon. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, we're gonna hit a save here. Uh, this is a guild for stealing, uh, seven. We've arrived. Okay. We are going to very carefully put away some junk. And we need to put down a camping kit if we're going to survive. We set up camp at the dungeon entrance. We are going to rest. And hopefully survive. We've arrived! Damn right we have. Our blunt weapon skill just improved. We're going to pack up that camping kit for now. We're going to make sure everything else is put away. Because this is going to be uh, pretty brutal, I imagine. Um, that's it. We are good to go otherwise. Let's do a save under, um, done, gone, zero, one. Mm -hmm. The guild quests. We are currently working for the, uh, astrologist, uh, sorry, astrologist, archaeologist guild. We are a field assistant. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, what else we get? Uh, very good. We are, we are the level four. It's important stuff. Yep. Nothing here yet. I hear bats. Does not unlock. Let's kick! 
Rats! They're all rats! Okay. Come on. Dirty, dirty rats. Okay. Come on. No, haven't played outward. Okay. Grabbing the rat fangs. They all have small teeth that we can use. Okay. What do we got next? A loot pie. Oh, a long sword with unknown powers? Ooh, I can't use that. I'm not allowed to use any bladed weapons whatsoever. That, uh, yeah. That's unfortunate. Mm-hmm. I can hear out uh, sounds like wolves. But yeah. I can't use that. Doo -doo -doo. Yes, dungeon looting exactly. It's true. We we don't know any of the context by which these relics were put there. It's it's absolutely true. Doge! Doges! I need to repair my stuff, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. There's an issue here, and if we look at the staff itself, it's used. Yeah, we need to use some epoxy and uh, fix this on up. Let's do that right now. Enemies are nearby. We gotta back up. We're going back to the entrance. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's uh, use that epoxy glue and, uh, like, repair our stave. Actually, hold on. Seems like there's an enemy. Yeah, it's, we, we can't uh, deal with this yet. There's still more doges. See another doge. I hear rats and bats. We should be fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Belongs in a museum, specifically mine. Yes, that's that. That's our uh, Elder Scrolls. Uh, we call it uh, Elder Scrolls uh, Four. No, Five. Elder Scrolls Five. My bad. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, before we do anything else, let's use epoxy glue on our freaking staff. Yeah, that's good. Repairing our silver staff. And we have no items that need repair. We should be fine. Let's see about using an armor or a hammer to repair the rest of our things. Uh, do, 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 do. The museum is our treasure hoard. Yes. Exactly. It's very silly. Okay. I'm not seeing the armor or hammers right now. I'm still going down this list. Uh, do, 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 do. that's just another steel staff. Don't need to worry about There's the armor hammer. Cool. Let's use it to repair our stuff. Uh, we're repairing everything. Fuck it. And the hammer broke. Fuck. Well, at least we repaired uh, that a bit. Looks like I don't have any more armor hammers. So, uh, that's that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, well, um... I got some more epoxy glue. I got some more pliers. Let's see about the uh, uh, whetstone. No, we don't need anything there. The gold TR can get fixed. Why not? That's cool. We'll put these things away now. More importantly, uh, let's put down our camping kit again. And uh, rest until fully healed. Yep. Good. We are set... We uh, have repaired our staff. We should be good to go. 
Uh, Lara Croft is British Indiana Jones with big boobs and more backflips. <laughs> uh, something like that, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a skull. I hear bats. I def. Okay, you know what? Let's back up. Let's see what's going off here. You said they took uh, Lara Croft's big uh, boobas with the the newest games. I mean, the newest games are like in in turn like. The newest games brought Lundo narrative dissonance to the masses, as in like she is uh, she's washed up on an island, right? And then um, she um, she's all scared, but then she sets about the task of killing fifty hostile enemies. Then, in a cutscene, goes back to being scared again. Yeah, I, I don't really care about uh, the modern games too much. Um, yeah. I would say uh, the original through to Angel of Darkness were the ones I played. But uh, you should check out how uh, the newer... Um, the, the, the newer ones, she constantly says... I need to go do this, or I need to go do that. She says it aloud. She she informs the player of what the player needs to do by saying, I need to find that switch, or I need to push that boulder. She'll, she'll say, I need to do this, or I need to do that. She also has asthma. She will, uh, up, upon any physical exertion whatsoever, begin... Um, Panting loudly. Um, it's very unfortunate. So, um, yeah. Let me see here. Point is, I don't care about the new ones. Yep. Release the Sadukar! Hmm, let's see. Azura Kyle, thank you for uh, subscribing there. That's awesome. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Does not unlock. I'm going to kick that door down. That's what Barry did before they remade the game and Barry shoots the lock off instead. You're almost a Jill sandwich. Okay. Oh, it helps to have a map. Uh, Dungeon of Tristane. Interesting. Uh, we need to break this lock open somehow. I'm sure it won't be terrible. Examine the lock. It is resistant to magic. It is fortified. It is hard, uh, sturdy magic. Re yeah, this... Okay, the lock isn't very complex. So let's give that a try. Why not? Uh, locky... Li licky? Licky picky. Yes, I was going to say locky picky, and I typed licky picky instead. You failed to pick... Oh, yes, we unlocked it. Ho ho! Treasure, gold paste. We got uh, uh, in and uh, sursum. Those are two illegal drugs. We got a dwarven sword, some bandages, prayer beads, and a medium tooth. Hell yeah! So licky picky turned out to be just perfect. Mhm. Mm okay. What? Let's kill it. Damn. Got him. Wolf is dead. Victory is mine. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, the uh, the persistent dungeons mod didn't work out the last time I tried it, so I just gave up. Here we go. Got him. Let's see what's over here first. Another doge. It's working so far. Yeah, definitely glad I repaired the staff. Um, yep, exit the dungeon, save and reload the dungeon. The monsters reappear. Yeah, the persistent dungeon mod doesn't work properly when I tried it. Mm hmm. The tyranny of the cartographer's guilt, yes. Uh, jeez. Okay. We're gonna sell ever to sell, I mean, deposit everything. Oh boy, look at those putrid meat. Not gonna be able to eat that, that's for sure. Give me a fish. Everything else goes. You need more armor or repair hammers soon. Yes. Train your accuracy. I'm sure it'll work. Rest, everybody. You're currently unwell. What a shame. I'm unwell. I've got a disease. Who would have thunk stomach rot comes from eating moldy food? Well, we got it. It's great. So. We rested. We're going to continue into the dungeon. Actually, uh, have we uh, explored enough of the dungeon to use a locator device? Locator devices may only be activated once you've explored a sufficient amount of the dungeon. This is to enable the magic of the device to become attuned to that particular dungeon. There we go. You should use potions, yes. Uh, for for 200 platinum, you too can uh, have a restore potion right now. Imagine Daggerfall playing like a mobile game. Isn't that great? Rats! Blow them all up with fireballs! That rat saved against the magic. Okay. Got him. Next. The rats are all dying. This is perfect. I'm taking their teeth. Hey, look. Listen. You know, in, um... In, um... Elder Scrolls Blades, when you die, the game asks you if you want to use a, uh... A scroll of resurrection to come back. Yeah. You can buy those with premium currency. Add Clippy to a mobile game? Yes. Doge. I'm confident I can uh, whack the Doge to death with my extra large stick. Gold pieces, steel helm, that's fine. Nothing to fear does not unlock. Kick that door down. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Nothing here for us. Gotta keep exploring. Up, up and away. The lamp. Here, but you'll think. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 
too keen on what they did with uh, Heidelin. Just, uh, you know, swap out Enigmatic God for um, Vinat character. Uh, bi big ancient mommy lady, yes. I will say she's eminently more marketable that way. Yes. And at the end of the day, if you can't sell figurines of her, was there ever really a point in her existing at all? Yeah. Let me see here. Fuck! No, 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 Arcane arrow! Paralyzed! Fuck you, I can still cast magic! Yeah, the trial was fun. I've gotta say, it was one of the few trials you could actually do, uh... Like, with... Like an entire party of NPCs. That was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. What the hell? You can use magical... Yeah, you can't swing your weapon, but you can go... Hmm. Yes, it's true. Very good. Very good. Hmm. do 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 Ah, excellent. We can turn off our lantern and we can rest here. Rest here, adventurer. The coffin had a formal cloak in it. Cool. We must find more coffins. Animals have made a home in here. You are currently unwell. I know I'm unwell, it's fine. We are, we are a-okay. We're still resting. Mm-hmm. She was supposed to be the very essence of the star as, uh, yeah, in the, uh, in the earlier lore, but really, they, you could tell Endwalker specifically rushed to wrap up that storyline. Like, they really wanted to just get the Asians out and get it done with right then and there. Which extra, like, you know what? My only real uh, thing I couldn't stand about uh, the, the Endwalker was its lack of, um, what do you call it? Uh, hold on. Um, its lack of a Baja slash Eureka. Yeah. Like, that's my content are the Eureka Baja. And so, uh, the, uh, the happy-go-lucky island just, uh, was all right, but it wasn't content for me. That, it was acceptable. But, uh, not something I loved. Okay. Whoop! That doge scared me. I'm trying not to burn my lantern while I have candles nearby, you know? There we go. You weren't a fan of variant dungeons? Yeah, you know what? I think I, I don't mind variant dungeons as long as, um, as long as they put it into a roulette with the 50, 60, 70, 80 ones, right? I, I, like, as long as there's a roulette for them later, I think it'd be fine. But yeah, the island I, I thought was decent, but 
it wasn't something I loved, and the problem is I loved Eureka and Baja. So. To go from something you love to something you, you kind of don't, uh, that's a little, uh, little vexing. Little vexing. Speaking of vexing, let's activate the locator device. Not yet. I haven't explored yet. Variant dungeons like four dungeons is what I'm saying is they should put that into the 50, 60, 70, 80 roulette as a um, as one of the dungeons you can get into. I don't mind the variant uh, dungeons. I just um, you know that they they didn't quite feel as uh, unless you're doing the the Criterion ones uh, versions. They didn't feel appropriate. I think I'm missing something here. I douse the torch, light the torch out. That's not it. I hear all these bats, and I want to know where they're coming from. This is uh, pretty cool in the sense... Of, oh, I see the way up. My bad. Going up. Going up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at that. One more loop around. And then this goes up further. And I just haven't been up there yet. Yeah, this is the way. Wait. Yeah, str straight ahead. Wait. I'm hearing something. More bats. Where are the bats? Nothing. This way. Mm -hmm. Well, Morrowind had uh, the magic sapping shackles, yes. Rats! Got him. Okay. Fire and war. We're getting a lot of rat teeth. Yeah. How many teeth do we have? Covered in green. 16 teeth. We've been hunting many rats. Hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you were talking about... Um... Uh, I'm looking for it right now. I'm looking for it. Hold on. Make a necklace out of the teeth? Yes. I I'm looking for a very specific thing. Hold on. I'm going to go there. I'm looking for your way. Ah, here we go. Okay. Uh, ahem. Hold on. Be careful playing hashtag Elder Scrolls 2 hashtag Dagafall. Those dungeons are like mazes. The quest NPCs are placed randomly in a selection of rooms. Considering how nonsensical they are, you can lose your way pretty easily. There you go. Ahem. That's, that's the picture there. No problem. Okay. Dagafall. Not Daggerfall, Daggerfall. D different word. Yes. Daggerfall. Hmm. What else? Right. Rats. 
So many rats! Damn! Okay. Well, we're gonna have rat teeth for days. Probably gonna have to go back to the cart. There's no way to access your wagon here. I know, it's crazy. We have a uh, symbol we can use to recall, but uh, that's not quite it. Hold on. Heard something. Imagine dealing with that, but you have no magic, I know. It'd be a pain. Unlock that door. I'm gonna kick this door down. Rats. Filthy, filthy rats. Look at them. They are hordes. Okay. Okay. So many rats. We're gonna have to go back to the entrance in a second. Yep. We did our best. We cannot carry any more stuff. It's unfortunate, but true. There's some loot here. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back for this. We, we, uh, just need to keep on keeping on. Hmm. No, yeah, pest control in the dungeon. We're not there yet. We will be. This entire city must be purged. How can you say that, Arthas? Mm hmm. Can't leave any smelly rat meat behind. Who sells potions? The potion sellers in the vanilla game are the uh, the different religions, with the exception of Julianos. I don't think Julianos sells potions. Okay. The Dark Brotherhood also sells potions, but you know, you gotta be evil to join them. <laughs> We're moving along, moving along. Okay, time to put things away. That's a lot of meat. It really is. It really is. Okay. Well, from here, we are going to use the... We're going to spend an hour studying etiquette. Then we're going to sleep. Yes, I know. We're unwell. It's fine, really. Uh, blunt weapon, etiquette, dodging. Good. Good, good, good. Save the game. Under three. Now we're gonna use the magic MacGuffin. No, still haven't explored enough of the dungeon yet. Mm -hmm. I haven't read any of the later Warcraft novels because I determined that they were inferior to the uh, Warcraft games. Yep. Yeah. So I just shrugged and went, well, these are bad. And then, then you get people like, uh, who, who's that guy who uh, spazzed out going, uh, I spent thousands on these books. 
um, a pyromancer, something like that. Uh, point is that uh, he is a perfect case study for why transmedia franchises are awful. For those who don't know, a transmedia franchise is a franchise that uh, crosses over, like it has it has the same, it has a, a continuous story that is told across different pieces of media. That's what a transmedia franchise is. And it's bad. It's almost always bad. The only time it's ever good is when there is a, um, like a television series that gets canceled. And then the, um, like the screenwriter for the, um, um, for the actual, um, what do you call it? Um, the screenwriter for the actual show basically goes and says, I'm going to finish it in book form because we don't have the funding for, um, for, to finish it in TV show and they've, they've like canceled it. So, uh, what ends up happening is you will get like a television show that goes for like six seasons or something. And instead of having a seventh season, it has a series of books that wraps up the storyline conclusively. That, that is a good example of a, like a transmedia franchise. The problem is when money grubbing assholes, uh, look at the potential to like set books between video games in order to get people to buy those in order to understand what happened to the next game they do it and it's awful it's almost always terrible uh skyrim has that but it, those books are pretty decent um it's the floating city and the lord of souls technically there was only supposed to be one novel there um yeah. Anyway, let, let's let's get going. So, uh, my goodness. Uh, most of them are like Japanese TV shows. Um, but, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure it's been done in the West. Whoop. Okay, let's continue gathering this stuff. It's a very common practice in Japan. When they can't get the funding or uh, a project uh, for to conclude their series, they will very often uh, finish it in novel form. Um, do, 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 do. Yep. Mm hmm. You were interested in those El Elder Scrolls books? So the Elder Scrolls books um, are written by Gregory Keyes, and he's a good author. I can tell you that they are some of the worst books he's ever made, but considering he's a good author, that doesn't mean they're terrible. It just means that his original universe stuff is better, if that makes sense. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. You said they spent like 30% on the first book in cooking? <laughs> Lol. But uh, the second novel uh, wasn't supposed to exist and got, uh, got everyone into a little bit of trouble. The Lord of Souls book, uh, apparently, so I'm told wasn't originally supposed to exist. My lantern flickers and dies. This is a problem. I'm out of oil, aren't I? I've got a torch and a candle. This should be fine. Okay. This should do it. Wait, what? We're fine. Okay. Doges. This torch is probably gonna burn out. Then we gotta use the candle to get back to the entrance. 
I'm confident I can kill the doges with the power of my magic stick. Wave the stick in front of them enough and damage happens. Just yeah, we'll grab oil from the what do you call that? Uh, from the wagon in a second. So this is a completely different module than the one I was in. We transitioned over to another one. Mm hmm. Who are you? No one here. Okay. What else? Fuck. Back up. Yeah, these are the doges from Elder Scrolls 1, the arena. The, I remember the frost wolves that attack you and shoot little uh, bolts of light. Scary. Come on. Hmm. Almost there. How could you murder fluffy looking doges? Easily when they uh, try to kill you. I can hear them. I can hear everybody. More doges. Close this door just in case. I can hear all of them. There are rats or bats, but not a single cat. Those are only in towns. Hmm. The entire Elder Scrolls franchise is on sale right now. Interesting. Come on. <clears> hmm. <throat> hey. Rats. They're fighting each other. This is the perfect time to go. We got Oh, there are bats and rats. Damn. Crazy. Red Garden Battle Spar. Oh, uh, interesting. Rats! I'm on the verge of death here. Jeez, that rat survived. So many crazy creatures. Money. You found nothing useful. Money. I'm only finding one gold piece. Oh, a bracelet, cloth amulet, bracer. Okay, yeah, those are those are worth picking up. But this loot pile. Got it. Rats. Rats. Who says that? It was uh, Knuckles, I believe, who went rah, 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 and then uh, when he failed to find the emeralds, he goes, rats. <clears throat> Let's go. Mm -hmm. We gotta get out of here. Epic Grames store, you say? Oh no. Dead end? It's a dead end. There's nothing in that room. Hostile Doge. Cross the bridge. We gotta go. We're running away now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't really relate to people who talk about their delusions of uh, deus ex mankind divided. Um, I know for a fact that they only made one deus ex game. 
And it was a masterpiece, but they only made one. And so people occasionally tell me about how they made others like Mankind Divided, but I know for a fact in my heart of hearts that there was only ever one Deus Ex game. It's kind of like Mortal Kombat. People keep telling me about other Mortal Kombats when they only made Mortal Kombat Trilogy, like the, the first three games, and then the, then the trilogy like combo that combined the first three. Uh, they never made any Mortal Kombats after that. And so I can't really relate to people who, who tell me about their delusions of other Mortal Kombat games and other Deus Ex games. It just doesn't make any sense, you know? Like, yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. This way. Mm-hmm. Gotta keep going. The Mortal Kombat cartoon was terrible. I love it. Yes. It was awful. Yep, yep. You feel somewhat bad. Oh no, am I poisoned? Uh. You have water to drink, rations to keep you from starving. So what's killing me? I have the plague! A fatal disease. It will very quickly spread through my system. I will not live for more than a few days. Oof. I have the plague. The rats gave it to me. Like, oh, what disease did you get? The plague. Oh, jeez. This way. No. No. Mass Effect Andromeda is the best Mass Effect game ever made, mechanically speaking. It is also the worst Mass Effect story ever made. It is both of them at the same time. Great. I might be able to use a cure disease potion, but I gotta be careful. Gotta gotta wait here. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Cure disease time. I am healthy. No disease. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'd be nice if hunger remained uh, like icons in the corner of the screen. That'd be nice. Okay, first things first. We're going to go ahead and uh, uh, have a look at our skills. We look at uh, minor skills. Looks like etiquette's uh, there already, so... Uh, let's let's get a mercantile skill up. I know we got one of those, so um, we need to go look at our skill books. I'm pretty sure we can get a mercantile book here somewhere. Guide to the markets, yes. Use it. Bam. We spent an hour learning about mercantile. Damn right we did. Uh, let's eat some fish so we don't uh, don't starve. Oh boy, this is not great. We're gonna have to cook some food. Uh, yes. We gotta, we gotta cook some smelly meat. Not moldy meat, just smelly meat. Yes. That should do it. Rest until fully healed. Uh, our running is improved. Are we dying yet? No, we're, we're pretty good. So, uh, we got some meat to eat. Excellent. We're not hungry enough to eat it yet. That's fine. Put the rest of the meat away. Along with all the other items. Water breathing. Uh, yes. Should be fine. We'll have bread. We just ate bread. It caused the game to stutter because the bread is too great for us. Uh, why do I have two landmark journals? Oh, whatever. Um, I need more rations, probably. I don't know if I have enough. Uh, I got three more ration packs. Let's grab all those. 
and pray we're not gonna die. So much putrid meat everywhere. Moldy putrid. I'm gonna sell the putrid meat uh, on the market and see what happens. It's gonna be great. Uh, anything else we need to be concerned? Uh, all the weapons, of course. Yeah. That should be better. First things first. Uh, save under Dungon uh, 3. Let's go. How can it be smelly? Uh, it's it's smelly if you harvest it because rat meat is low quality. The higher the quality the meat. Well, everyone who eats bread will eventually die. Therefore, bread kills. That's what I'm told. It makes perfect sense. Okay. Let's uh, figure things out. Yep, we gotta keep going through. Actually, can we cast uh, our item yet? Locator device. You see a bright disc in your mind where the quest uh, objective is. So we now know the quest objective is that way. We can see it through the wall because the locator device is working. Are those animals rotting alive? Apparently rats are, according to this uh, this particular mod shenanigan. God damn it! I forgot to do a thing. Reload, reload, back at the dungeon entrance. I don't want to run back there. Reload! Okay, so as fun as that all that was, it was all fun. Stop using that damn torch. Pick up two more torches. And we need oil. Oi. Oh, there we go. That should do it. The lantern is now full. We may now use the lantern. My lantern. Save game. Okay. I can see clearly now the MacGuffin is working. Okay, let's travel. Cured the plague? You bet I cured the plague. I'm healthy. Wealthy. Onwards and sideways. Ask if my lantern is right for you. Uh, what? Dude, nothing over there. It's got to be back down then. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I just crashed the game. So we actually did get a crash anyway. I suspect it's horrible hordes at, at work. But that was a much longer time than, uh, uh what do you call it, uh, when I was going through the overworld, because yeah, that was a problem. Whoop. Your doctor says my lantern is right for you. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. A bunch of people going out and enjoying life. Two thousand rats destroy computer. Possible. I hear the rats. I hear the doges. I hear all the things. Yeah, Horrible Hordes has a tendency to uh, crash dungeons, so I'm told. And that's fine. How do you kill that which has no life? To the left. This way to the other module 
I believe. Okay, locator device. Do your thing. It's that way. You won't believe what happened next. Gone wrong. Gone sexual. Okay. This way. Onwards and sideways. We're heading to the quest location right now. I'm gonna kick this door down! Fuck! Thin water. We're gonna freeze to death. Pretty sure. Doge! Doges! Okay. Yarp. What made you play this game? I freaking love this game. What are you talking about? Horrible hordes. For the Huard. Oh no, that that's a way up. But is it a way down? Hit that switch and find out. Hmm. Bell Cat Boy merchandise. Hmm. <laughs> that's that's funny. Mm -hmm. Rats! Back up, back up, back up, back up. Toxic cloud. Didn't work. Fireball. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Mm -hmm. Damn it! Gotta kill that rat. The War Chief Thrall wants you to boycott Todd Howard. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on. Mm -hmm. There aren't any dogs here as far as I know. I'm gonna kick that door down eventually. In the fullness of time. Someday. I'm gonna go check something else out, see if I can get a switch or whatever. Oh boy. That didn't work. I can hear it. It's in the water route. It's got to be in the water route. I'm so annoyed. Hmm. Nobody here. Yeah, this is going to be irritating. Hold on. Nothing. You light the torch. Yeah, it's gotta be in that water route. I'm looking all around and I can't see anywhere else in this module it could possibly be. Underwater pedestal, you bet. 
I'm gonna freeze to death underwater. It's gonna be lots of fun. Expect an early winter with lots of snow. I mean, um, dungeon, yes. Yeah, old screensaver walls. Ain't that the truth? Oh, that's the way back up. No, I ain't doing that. Use the heal spell to stay alive. Okay, what I have to do now is I have to go back to the dungeon entrance, grab my campfire kit, and bring it over. Ahem. Gilder's my favorite. I'm talking about Grandia too. Oh wait, that's Skies of Arcadia. <laughs> okay, here we go. Getting ready to fireball. Rats are coming, fireball time. Fireball time! Okay. Ignoring rat running by. Running. Damn. Okay. Fireball. Verge of death again. Can't use that. Don't know what to do. A health bar is useless. What are you talking about? I'm on the verge of death. I have to be careful. Very, very careful. Or I will die. Okay, so there's three modules in this dungeon, and this is in the third module, it looks like. Oh boy. I certainly can't wait to go this way and regret it. Fireball spam is super important. It's how we survive. We are unwell. Do I have the plug again? I think I have the plug again. Mm-hmm. I do like teleport spells. That's a doge. That door is locked. Run! Run! Run. I don't think I'm going to get back here. I'm pretty sure I'm uh, stuck through the serpentine hulls. Fireball spam is how our ancestors survived. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, indeed. <clears throat> well, I'm very close to it now. I can hear the sound of water. The best part is if I don't have a like a a torch nearby, I'm gonna. Oh God! Did you rats? Filthy rats! You disgust me. That's right. Rats conveying the plague. Pretty sure I got the plague again. Gonna reduce my max health. At least it's not the skeletons from Diablo 1. The the yellow skeleton, uh, not the skeletons, the yellow zombies, the plague bearers. They reduce your max health by one every time you're hit by them. And there's no indicator. You just have to be, look at your character sheet and notice that your max health is one less than it was before. Yep. Okay. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. At least we got candles. 
Up we go. That's where we killed all the rats from the heart. Appreciate me. Watch, listen to my videos since 2016. Uh, let's see. You always thought it was cool, dude. Awesome. Uh, it's great to hear. Thank you uh, for the five dollar, eh? And uh, yeah, if you were entertained, that's, that's great. Okay. Ahem. Let's uh, get going. I don't know where I'm at right now. Okay, I see the module connector, so I have to go back this way. Uh, if I understand this right, I take this route down and around, and then down and around, and I use this module connector here. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Kick that door down! There's a switch here. This is a different hall. To a different place. Can't do it! Wrong way! I'll be back, you filthy rats. Okay. The module goes down and around. This way. Release the Sadukar! Awesome. It's a bit delayed, but it's not that big a deal. At least the bot understands to do alerts at all. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay. Take me down. That leads me... Wait, that, that's too far down, and that doesn't connect, does it? Uh, no, no, it's just right. Have I played Kingdom Hearts? Yes, the PlayStation 2, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Have I played any of the Final Mix, added, like, super additional DLC expansion pack shenanigans where they redo the cutscenes and make them different? Uh, no. I played the original version of Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2, and I thought they were both fun games. I also think that I would probably, uh... I also lost all interest in the series after watching my friend play, um... What is it called? Um... After watching my friend play the DS ones, yes. Like, I lost all interest in the story. Okay. Yes! We rest now. Lest we die a horrible death. We are fully healed. What kind of... We're still... Yeah. He's stifling yawn. That's, that's fine. Let's get out of here. Do, 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 do. Completely ignore the plot of Kingdom Hearts. I mean, I like Aqua and uh, Ter Terra Ventus. Um, like, I like those characters. Just the story surrounding them is terrible. Just awful. You know, I actually liked Kingdom Hearts when it was Sora dealing with Kingdom Hearts. Oh, sorry, with Disney stuff. I thought that was pretty cool. I, I thought that was that was that was good. Um, and then after the first one, it started being about nonsense instead of you know, um, instead of being about uh, him dealing with Kingdom Hearts stuff. Yes. Mm-hmm. No, uh, sorry, Disney stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Aqua Rescue Mission. Can't tell you anything about that. That would be a Kingdom Hearts 3-ism, and I haven't played that. Oh my goodness. Um, ain't no problem. Uh, well, I think you're watching this on a bit of a delay. <laughs> uh... Remember, folks, 
there is a live button on the uh, YouTube uh, window. If you press it, uh, sometimes you'll find out uh, you were like 20 minutes behind. LOL. Okay. Now, let's get going. <laughs> Oh, that, that's pretty funny. All right, we need to put things away. We are over encumbered and uh, make make sure it's red, not gray. Yes, just make sure the uh, <laughs> the live button is red, not gray. You said a 15 second delay. Oh no, a 15 second delay, serious business. Who knows, who knows? Let me see here. Eat the meat. Okay. Uh, said uh, Kingdom Hearts isn't Kingdom Hearts in the Epic Store. I, I've never never played it there. Or should I say I don't? Uh, I don't use the Epic Store, for better or worse. Uh, let's see here. It looks like. Uh, do I have cure? I have cure disease. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna cast that right now. It says I'm unwell, so I'm gonna go ahead and cast myself a cure disease. Uh, time skip. Uh, 15 second delay. Uh, what? Mm, no idea, man. Uh, you found uh, whole line concept internet arguments. Uh, to argue with someone on a completely different time scale. What? Oh, jeez. Okay. Hey, you thought I was ignoring you? I was busy with the game? Uh, don't know anything about that. You said uh, 15... Uh, yeah. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. It's stupid that they haven't released on Steam yet. Eh. Okay. Let me uh, see here. <clears throat> right, right. Let's cast Cure Disease right now. And I think we're good to go. We're good to rest. Yeah, we're set. Okay. Before we rest any further, let's figure out if we can... Uh, looks like we can go with Etiquette and Mercantile. We're going to read both those books. They'll come back in an hour or so. Uh, all right. Let's see... Uh, could I do a vampire playthrough? Yes. Will I? Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I I've stopped. I stopped claiming uh, the free games on the Epic Game Store after I um, I went ahead and I I claimed like 15 of them and then went. I've never played any of these, and so I just stopped claiming the free games on the Epic Game Store. And I'm just like, Epic Game Store is dead to me essentially like if something's uh, on the epic game store i'm just assuming it's uh doesn't exist uh, essentially um not because i'm uh, opposed to uh the store existing but because i never use it let's see i need both of these books and i need to use each book one what one and two etiquette good and then we need to cook cookie cook uh, yeah cook cook cookie we're cooking those meats then we rest and we should be fine okay mm-hmm you've yet to buy a uh, game i've never bought anything on the epic game store yep hold on a second we got a the meat is solid. And now, what else? Um, put away. Is there anything else we need to put away? No, oh, just just the books. Put the books away. Okay, we're, we're set. We're good to go. Let's uh, grab our campfire. We need to pack this up. Okay, our camping kit is slightly used. That's fine. We But the campfire needs to come with us because when we reach the area where the uh, fish are we're going to uh go in the water we're gonna get we're gonna be freezing to death and then we need to 
immediately set up camp and uh, deal with that. So, mm-hmm. Okay. It is super rare to get, uh, yeah, the, the, the call it uh, vampire disease in this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Year-long exclusives. They pay for thousands of copies in advance, so the devs get what they paid for in sales. Yes. I mean, I'm wondering if people have adopted it at all. Like, um, anyone's adopted the Epic Game Store at this point as like their primary, uh, you know, method of buying games. It's uh, super interesting to think about. This idea, you know, have has anyone actually converted to uh, the Epic Game Store as their uh, their primary store? <laughs> We're still waiting. LOL, no, yes. Well, obvious. I I don't even claim free games anymore. Yeah. Doge's unconfident though. Suicide squid is horrible. Yes. S -s -s -swa -swid. Uh, I wonder if I can fireball underwater. I think I can. Your primary still gog makes sense. Good old games is great being DRM free and all. I've got over a thousand Steam games though, so. I'm kind of in a weird situation. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is the wrong way, actually. No. We don't need to go in the cave. The cave is wrong. We need to go through this door over here. Yes. I'm certain I know where it is. Ignore the doges. Ignore the doges. Mm -hmm. You said uh, kids who benefited from uh, the free games, when they start earning their game, most of their games will be on Epic already. That That is a theory. Now, let's see it go into practice in time for them to not shit can the whole thing. All right. Mm hmm. I'm sorry, but uh, Suicide su su Suicide uh, Squid doesn't look like a great game. Like, it doesn't look like an enjoyable video game on the face of it. So I don't actually care what they did with the um, with like the characters and story. Because it looks like a legitimately unfun game to begin with. And um, I, ju I just kind of shrug and say, who gives a fuck? And, and th there's like, there are people who go, Oh, well, The Last of Us disrespected the characters in the sequel. The sequel looks like shit to play. And, and so, uh, um... Why care? That's a slaughter fish. Fuck! That thing hurt. Fireball! That's all I could do. Okay. We have to cast buoyancy. Boy and see. Boy. And see. Here we go. Buoyancy. Damn it. How do I descend? Uh, down. Float down, page down. The door is locked. It's not here. It's not here. It's not here. 
By the way, if you run out of oxygen, you instantly die. It's got to be in that cave, then. Wait. Nope. Not even. Hmm. Starfield utterly fails at being Space Daggerfall, unfortunately. Which annoys the crap out of me. You are completely soaked. Yes. I am completely soaked. The cold is sweeping into your bones. The air is going to make you shiver. Uh, we're doing this. Yep, we can't. We're just, uh, yeah, it's not here. It's not here. So yeah, the uh, the item's somewhere else. That's crazy. It's hmm. No Man's Sky was already Space Daggerfall. Kind of, yeah. Actually. Mm-hmm. Got to be down here. Somewhere. But yeah, the rating for Starfield is awful on Daggerfall, I agree. Successful backstab with a staff? Hmm. Okay, let's go. Onwards and sideways. There's a bridge up there. No big deal. Oh, a campfire of our very own. Excellent. The loot piles are good, but uh, alas, I still haven't found the exit. Mm-hmm. Backstaff, indeed. No, I uh, obviously... Uh, yeah, sho shoved the staff uh, somewhere it ought not be, and that's why they took damage. Yeah. Unfortunate, but understandable. Yes, we cook in order to survive. Okay. Do, 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 do. What do we do now? I'm looking around. Let's see. It's got to be down. I'm going to try going this way. Up and around. Fishing around. Not this. Mm. Du, 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 du. What are you talking about? Go go watch Whispers in Shadow. I finished the main quest in that run. And then I go and retire. Yeah, there there's video on YouTube. You can go go watch. Real. So not down that way. This whole cave section doesn't seem to go where I need it to. This is unfortunate. Mm hmm. The main story is definitely not as long as people think it is, that's for sure. Okay, we're gonna start heading down here. It's gotta be down at the bottom of this uh, series of blocks. Do, 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 do. Okay. Hell, loops back around here, yeah. Could it be further down? Hold on. Looks like, yeah, I don't know. Is there a way? Nothing there. This is a fun dungeon. Like, it's huge. It's a fungeon. Oh, boy. Yeah, so I'm looking at this section. It's got to be in... 
it's straight ahead. It's got to be in this module over here. So I'm just, uh, yeah, the one with the cage. So it's straight ahead. Mm-hmm. Okay. How do you know that this entire stream isn't being driven by AI? Leveraging unethical AI to go uh, play uh, other video games while uh, everyone watches the, uh, the AI-driven slop. Fuck! Okay. Yay. You're gonna get arrowed. Magic arrow. Got it. Mm hmm. Waiting for TikTok streams? I might consider, uh, uh, doing a TikTok video or two and pissing people off that way. Nothing. Let me rest. Okay. Nothing useful. Too charismatic to be AI. Ooh. Okay. So. Go back over here. It's it's in this module. Going going to an adjacent module is not gonna help. It's gotta be in here somewhere. So I'm kinda looking around. Yeah. It's basically straight down from here. Meaning it there's gotta be a connector I missed in the lower section. Or it's a way up that leads down. One of the two. But going past this line, this section right here, is like these two sections is not it. That'd be a different module entirely. So it's gotta be in here somewhere. I found some gnarled fur here. Whoop. TikTok Elder Scrolls lore videos. Hmm. Meow. What? I don't, I don't think so. What ifs, maybe. Might, might have some fun with that. Do some what if videos. A map. The Mastersmith Burial Ground. That sounds fun. I just broke on through. That's terrible. The bats are still here. The bats are still chasing me. Mm-hmm. Disparaging Todd Howard. Jeez. Fuck. Like how I go to kick it and it just walks back. Mm-hmm. Leave Tardius Mandexius alone. Damn. More doges. Explosion! Bats are stronger than wolves. Yes. The woofs are not as uh, strong as the uh, bats. It's true. What's in the box? Nothing. I like how all the stuff is outside the box. Gotta think outside the box, I guess. Uh, anything else? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see the box there. Go this way. Down we go. I think we're getting there. I think we're there. We're very, very close now. I can feel it. I can feel it. 
Water! It's time to save under buoyancy again. We'll cast the buoyancy spell and probably die a horrible death. Let's go do it. Buoyancy. Ah, crap. Run. Further, further, further. Ow, it hurts. Stop it. This is it. Fire, fireball in the water. I'm out of war. I'm out of fireballs. I'm out of everything. I got the small statuette. This is what I got. I've been sent for. Go, 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 go. Fuck, the door is clo The door is closed. You don't have enough uh, lock picking to check the door. I don't care. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. I'm going to drown. I'm on the verge of drowning. I'm going to drown. I'm going to drown. I'm going to drown. If that bar reaches zero, I die instantly. We did it. We survived. Just barely. Let's, uh, let's use the... Oh, no, there are enemies nearby. I can't camp. Can't camp. Uh, can I camp over here? Yes, we can set up camp. Rest. Rest, rest, rest. We're fine. Backstabbing skill has improved. Okay, let's pack it up. We got the small statue. That's what we needed. We can leave now. We can't teleport, unfortunately, but we can uh, head on back. Slowly. Yes. We did it. Oh no, my food's starting to get ripe. Uh, eat the meat. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... We just need to leave. It's easy. Mm-hmm. Hold on a second. Uh... Let me, let me find this. I think it was... Uh... Okay... Superman 64 ending. Let me let me double check. Okay, so Superman 64 ending. Here we go. Um, watch. Okay, watch this. Okay, you ready for it? You did it. You managed to get your friends out of this nightmare. Uh, that's yes, the uh, the Superman 64. That's right. Mm-hmm. Let's get out of this nightmare. Oh, boy. Top quality video game content. I cannot carry any more stuff. What a shame. Get out of here, putrid meats. Hello, teeth. Good. And eh. you know it's funny the ring sections that everyone complains about in Superman 64 aren't that big a deal. It's the uh, brawling sections that uh, are the real pain in the ass. All right, everybody. Uh, um, I'm going to take a short break and figure out uh, what I'm going to be doing. I might be playing a little bit later. Don't know. Don't know. It's just um, a gotta go afk and have a chit chat figure out uh what's happening so uh five minutes everybody do, 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 do.
Okay, one more hour. Then I'm going to break for dinner. And then I'll be back after dinner. Yep, that's it. That's what we're doing. Let me, uh... So I heal. We're going. Yep. We need to leave. There's some stomping in the distance. Oh boy. That sounds great. Let's get out of here. Just gonna walk slowly away. That's a lot of rats. I just want their fangs. Give me all the rat fangs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Assuming I don't uh, don't fall asleep or something. I'm, I'm planning on just doing more Daggerfall tonight. Like one more Daggerfall stream, maybe. I think that might be fun. Uh, continue this. That's, that's the thought, anyway. The reality? Don't know. I'll, uh, plug in my headset, though, so it won't, um... What do you call it, um... Uh, who said to play the Dragon's Dogma 1? Not yet. Not yet. I'm going to wait to play uh, until Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out. Then I'm going to play Dragon's Dogma 1. Um, in the meantime... We need to go straight and around. Mm -hmm. Now, um... I mean, I would consider playing other games. Not Baldur's Gate, though. Baldur's Gate will be tomorrow evening. Um... But, uh... I'd consider other things. Hmm. Straight ahead. When I am there, it's uh, 5.09 p.m. here. Yes. You need to play Elix 2 once. I enjoyed Elix 1. Um... Did I pick up Elix 2? Let's find out. I indeed picked up Elix 2 late last year for Christmas. Yes. Mm-hmm. You disabled the uh, footsteps. I reduced the footsteps significantly. Did not disable them. Uh, back up and through. This is the, the to the left is the ne the other module. Yes, we're in a different module now. Cool. Mm. We just gotta head back to the entrance of the dungeon now. I'm gonna double check for like fangs. If I can pick up a few of those, that'd be nice. I'm assuming that uh, I can't, but that's neither here nor there. Okay. Roll, lol, 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 lol. Done that a few times. Mm hmm. That adjustments, the footsteps sound like they come from everywhere. Oh. Interesting. I kind of want to explore the rest of that section before we leave. Let's go do that. Let's, uh. Let's fireball spam some people and have some fun. I just want to loop around here for a second. No, I've already been here. Screw it. We're leaving. Excuse the gloom. We're on our last hour. Um, I will pick up streaming again after I uh, get done with dinner, probably. But... Um, whether it's more of this or something else, I haven't completely decided yet. Nothing. <laughs> Did 
Den around. This way. What's for dinner? That's a very good question. I saw that beef uh, was uh, being defrosted. But I don't know. Okay, we're in the first module. We just need to get down to the bottom. Yeah. No, I don't always cook. In fact, I cook less than half the time. Okay. Looking at where we're supposed to go. This way. Looping around. We're basically there. So that was a dungeon and a half. There are more enemies in other sections of the dungeon, but I'm going to ignore them and focus on the exit. We're going to stay here. Make sure our camp... We got a camping kit. That's fine. We got uh, some meat. Let's eat. No, we, we should be fine. Um... I'm going to go ahead and cook up some more real quick before we go, just in case. So make our campfire. Then we're going to cook up uh, specifically two of these. Yes, one and two. Good. And now that we got those, let's uh, go ahead and pack up. And we are out. Uh, we're going to put away all the... Smelly and uh, moldy, putrid stuff. It's it's great. It's just, this is how we survive. Oh boy. Uh, what do we got? Okay. Okay, we're set. We're gonna leave. We don't need. Uh, we don't need to be combat ready anymore. So we're uh, uh, equipping. Whoops! I didn't mean to put that away. Oh ho! Equip it. There we go. Good, good, good. We just need those. And then we put on our cloaks. Perfect. We are traveling ready. At a guild for stealing eight, specifically. The, the wagon is just full of putrid meat. Yes. Yes, it is. That's true. That's absolutely true. Okay. We are leaving. Uh, grab our horsey. And we begin the journey back. Jeez, look at all the towns we've been by. That's pretty cool, but what we need to do is go north. So we're going to go to that crossroads over here. Uh, yep. Recklessly. Uh, I'm being watched. Okay, we managed to pass by it without a problem. Yes. Extra protein. Oh, boy. We should be fine. Yeah, I'll be uh, around for another 45 minutes or so. Good, good, good. Uh-oh. My lantern flickers and dies. A friendly group of adventurers! I, I don't need to talk to them. Unless I want to fight them or rob them, there's no reason for me to necessarily talk to them. So, what I want to do is go to the corner store here. Oh, boy. Yeah, so we go, we go like that. We travel there. And we're looking for a road. It looks like we found it. Damn right, we found the crossroads. All right, from the crossroads, we're gonna go this way. We're going up. Hell yeah. I'm gonna stop before we do anything else because this could be very bad, guilt for stealing eight. And um, let me uh, see here. 
go close a couple other things and we should be good to go yeah i just need to double check one more thing Right. Duck game? Holy crap, Duck Game is being taken down as well. Warner Brothers is a piece of shit. I didn't know it was possible for me to feel hatred at this point. Wow. Okay then. Right. Okay. Thank you. We are traveling. Shenanigans. That's all I got to say. Goth Path. Goth Path. What a weird name for a place. Let's go check it out. Mm hmm. Text to speech. Me. Illiterate. I do jumble up letters all the time, though. Seriously. Uh, let's see. Alms for the poor. 20 gold, anyone? Yeah, sure. Have 20 gold. Uh, he cries out in joy and bows before you, before, uh, continues begging to other people in the area. Yeah, that sounds about right. Alms to the poor. It's, it's fine. I'm, uh, I just finished a dungeon. I'm doing pretty well for myself, so. Uh, let's see. Let's go grab some bandages. And, uh, I guess that is pretty good so far. Hell yeah. Uh, what have we got? More bandages. Blessings of Mistara upon ye. Yes, we're looking for an armor or hammer if we can find one. I'm not seeing a whole lot, but we're going to keep looking anyway at all these different stores. Don't need a whetstone because we only use uh, staves, and staves require epoxy to repair. Epoxy on you. What? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I... It, they, they would say a pox upon you, whereas, like, a poxy upon you. Get sticky. All right. This store is open at 9. When is it? 6 a.m. right now. Crap. Okay. We're going to go to the gold goat and take a nap. That's fine. Right. Uh, hello. Neither of you are the bartender. Hello, Mr. Bartender. I need a room. 40, 47 gold pieces. Holy crap. Fair enough. Mm hmm. Nah, I'm freaking new. Uh, three, three hour nap. There we go. Uh, uh that, your rest was excellent. Yeah, so I, I had excellent rest. Uh, drink. Give me some mint tea and the royal breakfast plate. Hell yeah. Now we can go to the used equipment store. I think it's a pawn shop. Ah, crap. We gotta go bring our stuff. Wagon, get over here. Yep. We Our sleep was excellent. It's fine. Hello, hello. Where the hell are we going? It's the other side. Okay. Better appointed than many. This is it. Hello, sir. I'd like to sell you a ton of junk. I'm going to sell you more than you bargained for, sir. Uh, do not need steel brigadine. We've got regular steel, which is nine. Steel brigadine is seven. So it's, you know, acceptable. Nyah, nyah, nyah. Um, access the wagon and sell more garbage. So much garbage. That's a steel left pauldron. No, we don't need to worry about that. I'm just going to keep 
melting everything down. We'll get like 2,000 gold off of all this, which is A-OK -okay for our travel expenses. No big deal. That's for sure. Not investing in that guy's shop, that's for sure. All right, go down here. We're gonna start selling meat. Lots and lots of meat. Notes of Red Guard history. Don't need any of that. All the putrid meat. I believe we're not gonna get a whole lot for this, to be honest. Like, most of this is very silly. There's so much putrid meat. Who cares? All useful here. The best I can do is 500 coins. I know, right? We are the meat seller. It is the... We are very experienced in selling meat. Okay. Holy dagger. Fish. There's so much fish that need to be sold. Meat and fish. Meat and fish. I think that's about it. Um... Need those Guildhall location book. That needs to stay. The real Baron Zaya can be sold. No, sweet. Thank you for subscribing. That's awesome. Okay. Mm-hmm. Daggerfall Unity is indeed at 1.0 right now. They've, uh, they have completely finished. Um, ne any updates to Daggerfall Unity will be community-driven for the purposes of adding mod support and stuff. And maybe fixing any extra bugs the game may still have. But the reason, the reason for the um, 1.0, uh, why it wasn't there like six months ago, um, is because they were uh, getting localization features in. Now people can localize the game if they want. That's a big deal. Close to 100K? That's not going to matter. We're going to sell it. And you can see the best I could do is 7,000 gold. That's what I expected. Yep. I need an armorous hammer now. Thank you, game. What else? Buy a fish. I think that's about it. I'm gonna buy a second camping kit just in case. Mm hmm. Right. Scam of the century, yes. It's what I expected, to be honest. And I don't mind. As long as I can find some new stuff. We're good, we're getting out of here. Bandages. Ah, nothing else. We keep going. Goth path. Our trusty mount, Win R E R, is ready to go. How we doing? Uh, we are invigorated from our last meal. There's the Queen's Hedgehog. Everyone knows about the Queen's Hedgehog if they played the 2016 Sonic the Hedgehog's video game. All right, let's just get going. Uh, general supplies. We're gonna get some, uh, buy some stuff here. Yeah, this is a standard store. Wait a second. You're a dirty liar. You're not a real store. You're just a trig. Yeah, random man there. Pot adventurers. Pot herbs. Oh boy. Right, let's go do some alchemy. This is a cheap alchemy store. Looks like a purification potion. I'll take... Oh, jeez. That's like 800 gold. Fair enough. Whatever. Uh, What else? Resist poison. Don't need resist poison. Thank you. Uh, anything else? There's got to be more. More. Nope. Sonic and the Black Knight was an entirely different game. Yes. Okay. Uh, stamina potion, 39, that's worth it. I'm gonna sell him all the rat fangs that I picked up. <laughs> See how much I can get from him off that. True heal. 
water breathing potion. This is fine. The man has a lot of money now. So we're going to go down and uh, get some... Uh, we're going to sell him junk. We access the wagon and look at ingredients. We should be able to sell him 82 small teeth. 92 gold for that? That doesn't feel worth it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to sell you 50 small fangs. How about that? Fine, 56 gold. That's worth Whatever. Gets it out of here. Mm hmm. We're leaving. <laughs> Mangy Mages Guild? <laughs> yes. Where we're going, we're, we're leaving. Where did we get the quest from? Uh, archaeologist skilled sent me there. I must return to Gothway Garden within 12 days. Gothway Garden, all the way back. The Chow. The Chow Garden will allow you to create an evil Chow. Uh, let's let's head on up to Penfort Dairy. It's only going to take two hours to get there. We're going across uh, the wilderness there. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's like a Tamagotchi, but the VMU dies after a week. <laughs> oh, shit, that's true. I, I didn't own a Dreamcast in its heyday, but that happened to my friend. Seriously. I played a lot of Dreamcast, uh, but I didn't actually own one at, at the time. So, yeah, we're going to head on up over to Penfort Dairy. Okay, we had a little bit of a hitch. Let's take a moment and save the game. Mm -hmm. We got it. Ooh. Oh, I like fantasy. Uh, I, 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 you know, the, oh, we got a ho group of hostile foes. I love, um, fantasy worlds because you can, uh, establish early on that, uh, certain conditions, uh, in a fantasy world don't follow real life, uh, equivalents. For example, um, like, you could say that, um, Gun, like, gunpowder doesn't... Uh, you can't make gunpowder. It just, just doesn't work that way. It uh, creates a massive explosion, and, like, the, the, the process in order to make it should be simple, right? Uh, but no, it actually... Uh, it actually has disastrous consequences due to, let's say, magical currents in the atmosphere or things like that. Uh, d d what I, I'm just using that as a single not very important example what i'm trying to say is you can subvert the, the laws of nature and what is realistic using fan uh, a fantasy world uh, an, an alternate setting essentially and doing that can um create very interesting situations for storytelling yes you like creating your own rules correct uh, in order to have um uh, have a particular story play out in an unexpected or um, uh, interesting way. Basically, um, uh, the, the I find the over adherence to realism to actually be stifling to creativity. That's uh, in my opinion. Okay. Hmm. Yep, yep. Okay. You like it when fantasy worlds reflect the world we live in to get today? The, a, a fantasy world doesn't need to reflect the world we live in today, but rather... Um, the character interactions 
need to reflect our, um, like, the human experience. If it doesn't, then we can't relate to it. And it might as well be, uh, gobbledygook. Like, even if you're dealing with other races, like, you know, elves or orcs or goblins or whatever, ultimately, like, we are a human reading a story. We want to be able to relate to that story in some way. Yes. Anyway, let's see here. B -b 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 um, hello, hello. What else we got? Okay. Tyranny is interesting, yes. Tyranny is a good game. Okay, I, I gotta focus. I gotta focus. But yeah, like... Low-grade low pulp genre fiction is uh, my, my, my domain. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, but we're... we're uh, I am obligated to hate my own work. That is that that is life. Oh God, got, got banditos, banditos. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fuck. Jump, jump, jump. Too many uh, games look like modern day America. Yes. Whoop. I just hit them with a hard toxic strike. I need to actually just uh, transform here. Yep. There we go. I heard a dice roll happen. It was very strange. Aha! The writer just died. That's what I'm talking about. Second writer dead. We're getting there. We're getting stronger, faster, better. I believe the... Yeah, we've just killed three writers in a row. We can now grab all the fancy pants loot. Although I want to change that. Yeah. Definitely something a little smoother. Mm, yes. Mm. Yeah, this one's good. We're gonna keep going. Uh, you said you're too stupid to do any of the writing. That is precisely why you should do the writing. You may think, well, that, that doesn't sound right. No, no, you don't understand. You should do, like... You should do bad writing. You should. Absolutely. Like, people will disagree, but it is in your best interest to do, to write bad fiction, right? I'm serious. Because eventually, after you write enough bad fiction, you're going to start writing decent fiction. And then good fiction. I'm serious. No, no, no. I'm, I'm dead. I'm, I'm completely serious. You're not going to get smart enough to write good fiction until you've written a lot of fiction that you hate. Like, you will hate your earlier work. And that is... That is normal. That is what all artists... Um... You know, go through. You know, the... the um, people refer to it as a... Uh, like art, artists specifically, when they're doing painting. Not, not writing, but like painting. They Or uh, sketches. They will refer to it as a study, right? When they when they're like drawing a particular type of pose over and over, in order to get better at it, they will refer to that as a study. Okay, um, I'm 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 serious. Like, um, you need to write in order to get good at writing. It's that simple. Said you hate all your current work. Yes, that's that's fine. Okay, okay. Uh, um, twig snap. Yeah, we're, we're we're good. Let's get out of here. Do, do, do. Yes. 
Very good. Okay, we we need to leave. We need to get out of here. We fought all the banditos. Port, uh, we're going to Dairyland. Going there. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Wait, what? Mud, mud, mud crabs! Mud crabs! How how are there? How the hell are there mud crabs here? Hell. Okay. Mud crab is dead. Second mud crab is dead. There's a third mud crab from behind my wagon. Okay. Woo! Mud crabs. Scary. They hunt in packs, yes. <laughs> they are more vicious than you. Exactly. There's dead people here. They were killed by the mud crabs. Frightening. Terrifying. Incredible. Armor or hammer? We're not using that right now. We're going to Pinfort Dairy. Take me there. We did it. We've arrived. Essential shielding. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna steal these fish on my way by. Yoink. Yoink. Nobody notice me stealing all the fish in the world. Potions, grab them. Run. Run, run, grabbing the horse, grabbing the horse before anyone notices. We're leaving. Penfort Dairy was not my final destination. That was a lie. We're actually going to the east. Uh, jeez. No, we're already away, no problem. We yoinked all the things. If you wanna know the save file for the yoinkies, it's uh it's the yoinky boinky yes that that's where we steal everything uh, you wouldn't download a mud crib <laughs> jeez we need to go this way yes we're, we're safe we're gonna take the road over your stomach rumbles eight got grabbing free samples om nom 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 no raw fish for me Route. Human resources. <laughs> All right. Ooh. The crab, uh, the crabs of Kenshi. The problem is they need to eat a lot, like a lot of food. Uh huh. We've arrived in Cathmont. They greet you. Uh, for first edition find wares. We're going to that store over there. We're gonna sell our our yoinky boinky items from uh, uh, the other place. Fine. Hello. Straightforward. Hmm. Okay. We are good to go. Everything is fine here now. It's a lot of fish. I need to sell all that fish. There's no getting around that. Yep. Okay. Bandages. I'll take those. Thank you. What else? There's a vest and wrap. Hold on, let's try those. That's not horrible. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not gonna wear that, but it's not horrible. Okay. That's cool. Go. Hmm. Bandages. I'm gonna buy another armor or hammer. I need one of those. Yes. 
Yeah, the original design we went with was if I if I go over here, hold on, I'll show you what it was. Uh, scroll the way down here, hold on. Uh, do, 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 do. Our original thought was using uh, this outfit. We were going to be the um, uh, the sorceress. Uh, the, what do you call it? It was it was loosely, and I mean loosely, based on the sorceress from um, the covers of uh, EverQuest. Yes, but then we ended up. Uh, we end up with this nonsense, and the uh, the Khajiit suit is definitely uh, special on its own as well. So no no big deal there. Uh, yep yep. Anyway that that was the idea, but um, yeah we ended up playing around with uh, this outfit instead, which is equally fun. Yep. Okay. Someone. Uh, asked earlier about uh about daggerfall girlfriends like yeah yeah that that exists why not someone asked if i uh if my wife liked daggerfall and the answer is no she's not a gigantic fan of first person uh action adventure games um what do you call it uh we have a tendency to play the more conventional nintendo games together less uh Le uh, the the RPGs are more the uh, solo experience. That said, we do play uh, Final Fantasy XIV a bit. Uh, let me. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm I'm certain I have a picture here, a, a screeny shot. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, here here's a picture of our characters. Yes, there you go. See, mine is the one on the left. It's the cat boy. All right. Anyway. We need to leave. Where's the cloaks? Do that. Put those away. Pull them back. Good. One, two. Perfect. What kind of Khajiit suit is it? So, cat suits are called Khajiit suits in this, yes. And that's actually vanilla, by the way. Not not the appearance, but the idea that a, that a cat suit is called a Khajiit suit. That is a, a vanilla daggerfallism. Okay. Radio. Right. What else? Tell us a tale. I'm currently skimming, um... What, what do you call it? Um, I, I'm currently skimming uh, this particular social media feed where people are telling me about Akira Toriyama. I don't really want to see those posts. I was skimming for other ones specifically related to... Um, uh, what, would it, what do you call it? A particular like list of indie games. Unfortunately, instead of getting a list of indie games, I got... Uh, you know, more posts about people devastated, and that makes me sad, and, you know. I can easily forget about the bad things, but uh, other people have a tendency to remind me of them. It's a shame. Okay. Rusty Relics is a good place to sell things. It's a decent place to buy things, too. Hello, sir. Let me see if I can sell you... I'm gonna sell this guy everything we've got, actually. Yeah, just like all the fish, all the things. Yep. Anything we don't need right now gets a sold. Uh, yep. 
good. That's a picture of an apple. Mm-hmm. Another town with a hedgehog tavern. Yeah, there's a lot of hedgehog taverns. There's also fairy taverns. But my favorite is called the uh, Dirty Priest in Wayrest. So it's a good place. Every Everyone enjoys going there. Alright, that's about it. Sell me 400 golds. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just remember the good times, yes. The problem is, uh, the internet is in grieving. They don't care about the State of the Union when, uh, you know, uh, the, the anime guy, uh, passed, unfortunately. Which I understand completely. I, I really do. Um... I'm just saying it is a, a reality. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. My Daggerfall Guide. I really need to make a new Daggerfall Guide one of these days. Something a little more detailed. Ooh, we got a nice uh, blue formal brassiere. That, that's, that's good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. What else? Steel staff. I need to find better staves that are of different material types. This Khajiit suit is torn to bits. Look at that. It's all ripped and torn. Not a good time for us. Yeah, well. Duh, duh, duh. Is Camel Works canon? Yes. Camel Works is canon to the Elder Scrolls. It's true. My goodness. Buy the bandage? Yes. What else? Mm-hmm. Ringling a wing a ding. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, silly stuff. Just a lot of silly stuff. Bandages are good. What else? That vest isn't terrible. Go check out a few more things. You about to try Elder Kings 2? I've only played Elder Kings 1. I enjoyed Elder Kings 1 a lot. So I'm assuming Elder Kings 2 is going to be good, but, uh, yeah. You said, uh, most people have forgotten about Dragon Ball Evolution's existence. Yeah. It was funny, though. Like, I liked uh, Dragon Ball Evolution in the sense that it was comedy, right? If you ever have the, uh, if you ever want to really enjoy, um, like, ironic video games, check out Street Fighter 2, the movie, the game. It's real. Street Fighter 2, the movie, the game. Okay. Mm hmm Let's see. Right. This way. You enter the Adventures General Supply Store. Happy to be out of the cold. Re, uh, reskin this game to make a Starfield? No. No. Ooh, these tights look pretty good. Okay. We have broken the game. We are officially... We've won. We've won. The game will never get any better than this. This, this, this. We've hit peak Daggerfall right about now. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Where are we going now? <clears throat> do, 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 do. Let's go check out the other thing. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, a spiked form formal brazier. If we did that, that's that's extra spiky. Yeah, that that, that those are some spikes. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, we'll buy one anyway, just for fun. Uh, yep. That's fine. You're missing uh, gloves. Yeah, I don't think they sell any gloves. Sadly, I don't think that's a thing. I'm gonna buy an extra skillet. I know we're gonna need it. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. There we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, you said when. Um, we are at present, if we look at the affiliations. Uh, obviously, we're a field assistant with the Archaeologist Guild. We're a journeyman in the Fighters Guild, apprentice in the Mages Guild, and we are a hussy in the Red Lantern Guild. Already exists. Yeah. You thought I was joking. You thought this was... This was safe. Nothing is safe. Ever. Yes. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some mint tea on our way through. Herbal tea. That's good enough. Herbal tea rejuvenates us. What is that? You should go Google it and find out on your own time. Oh, boy. <laughs> What's the top rank in the Red Lantern Guild? That's, uh, yeah, exactly. What What is the top rank? I have no idea. It's all a mystery to me. I'm busy buying stuff. I'm looking at steel staff. I'm looking for better staves. Where is it? More bandages, of course, but, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, the missions won't have cutscenes, correct? That's, uh, that would be more of a, uh, a Skyrim mod sort of thing, wouldn't it? Oof. B b ma major oof. Okay. You know what they say, you don't need pants for the victory dance. What else we got? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. We're going north. Garim. You say more lover slab than um, a Nexus, but you need to understand that the Nexus has its own fair share of bullshit. And yeah, like it, they very much do not care in general. Not not always, but but in general, how much you uh, have in terms of erotic content. Provided that you don't have, um, you, you don't dip too far into certain, um, fetishistic content. They, they, they care if you go, uh, too far beyond the line of acceptability of, uh, uh, s simple intercourse. Yes. Now, there, there is stuff on the internet that like terrible mods that not even uh, the the lovers slab will will touch yes hey you you're scaring away all the deer get out of here really you, you, you doing okay sir uh he's like you get out of here i was checking to see if there was a bear there is no bear we're out of here we're going north on muds the Nexus had adult mods for almost a, at least a decade. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Is uh, when when you think to yourself that uh, the Nexus is safe, you are wrong. Ooh, ooh. the Nexus is uh, oof, full of stuff that. Uh, is very questionable. Oh, oh, of course, I personally wouldn't know anything about questionable content. Not even a bit. Okay. Ahem. We 
must continue to travel. Is there a main quest? Yes! We are mostly ignoring it. Let's see where this leads. That looks like a farm. Not quite what we're looking for. Yeah. We gotta get out of here. Gotta go a little faster. We're gonna go for the uh, crossroads here. I think. Yeah. About 45 minutes to the crossroads. We're cutting through the wilderness to get there. The wheel breaks. That's unfortunate. The wagon is broken. We must uh, fix the wagon immediately using a wagon wheel. Wagon wheel. Uh, there we go. Let's use the wagon wheel. We repaired the wagon. Let's go. It's getting dark already. We gotta continue the travel before we get attacked. Wilderness cannot be trusted, you see. There we go. 45 minutes. We're getting, uh... Hungry, tired, cold. We should be fine. Yes. We reached it! Finally! The crossroads are a town, you see. Van Ham Wood. Wood. Okay, Vanham is uh finished. Finished, I say. The essential pot herbs. We're going there. We're going to the essential pot herbs before we go anywhere else. Yes. Mm-hmm. This guy is rich. I'm buying your potions, sir, and your cure disease potions, and your stamina potions. And your true heal. God, this, this this shop is expensive. It's worth it, though. It's worth all the uh, the good stuff we're getting. Hell yeah. But yeah, the subtitles are definitely bad. I agree. Um, gonna probably go back to more real-time streaming. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, what's this? Resist poison, shadow form, chameleon form, resist fire, resist frost. Don't need any of this. Get out of here. I'm leaving. So. Next area. The first class market. Oh, I'm sure it's first class. And then after that, we get to go to the flying badger. Where the hell's the door? The door was over here. Better appointed than many. Oh, it's a guy's house. Is tobacco canon in the Elder Scrolls? Yes. The tobacco leaves are canon, but nobody seems to smoke them. Yes. Merchandise! Give me your bandages. It's getting light. Gotta be careful. Nothing I want here. Another uh, formal brazier. Incredible. I don't need any of that. Yep, doesn't look uh, that great, to be honest. Let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. Jazzy Wazzy. Okay. Yeah, no one... Uh... Whoa, is this a golden uh, formal brazier? Interesting. We'll grab that one for later. What else? Mm -hmm. Nope, no one cares about that. So, uh, moving on to the next area. Bring the horsey over here. Yes. Mm-hmm. You mean a healing spell called uh, Vada Kedavra? Which uh, heals you of your life. 
The healing spell. Of oh, Tomes of Arcane Knowledge. You do not have enough gold. Not enough gold for the Arcane Knowledge. Mm hmm. Got to be careful. How much money? Where's the money? Money, 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 gold, gold. Where's the gold? Where's the gold? I'm sure I have gold in my cart. I gotta have gold in my cart. There it is. Do I have enough now for the Tomes of Arcane Knowledge? I want to buy them. That's it. I have purchased the Tomes of Arcane Knowledge. Truly. Truly, this is going to be amazing. I'm going to have all kinds of Arcane Knowledge. Just you wait and see. But for now, we must get to the uh, nearest tavern. The Flying Badger is the closest tavern. we got to get over there. We're getting sleepy. The air numbs your bare skin. Well, of course it does. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, th there, there we go. Uh, cloaks. But not the red one, the purple one. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Flying Badger, here we go. Perfect. It's dark. Room for the night. 11 gold pieces. This is fine. We must immediately use the Tome of Arcane. Arcane. Here we go. Let's study. Yep. Illusion, Thaumaturgy, and Destruction. Incredible. Let us nap. Mm-hmm. You must rest until fully healed. We leveled! Damn right! Level 5, as it should be now and forever. We're going to put 5 points into Intelligence so we get a bigger mana pool. Then we're going to put a point into, uh, in, uh, let's go with strength just to increase our ability to clunk people hard. This is fine. You have ascended to level five. Everything you do is just a bit easier, uh, more instinctive, more satisfying. It's, uh, as if you suddenly developed, uh, keen senses and instincts. I see, I see, I see. Well, that was a good level loop. That uh, study, that arcane study was great. Let's see what time is it now. It's 3 a.m. We must uh, cast some uh, light spell. And then rest. Good. Should be like 9 o'clock. We should be good to go. Mm-hmm. Hello there. I'd like uh, some food. Give me your leftovers from yesterday. And uh, some app uh, spruce tea. You slept poorly. Oh boy. Definitely love sleeping poorly. Okay. Well, we're good to go. So let's head on out. And I say this is where we are done. Thank you all for watching. If I'm still awake after dinner, I'll be back streaming more of this game or some other game i don't, I don't know yet but uh, uh thanks for watching and uh i'll see y'all later